want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Make sure you go to our website www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. about Zena. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. You all right, darling, and you. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> Do you know, it go I, I swear it's been months again since I've seen Monica. It has, probably, yeah. It's, it's always that way, isn't it? Both Caroline and I were saying, like, we either see you or not at all. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. It's so lovely to see you oh, in the thank studio. You. Thank Have you, you been? been good good very busy with lots, busy busy actually workshops yeah. and things like that going on booklet launches yes today you did say it well, when we were sort of prepping it quietly in the background how excited you were about today's show i am yes i mean i, I said on my facebook post earlier i said there's so much sparkle today in all the kits in both kit hours oh it's, it's just brilliant you're loving love the kit. sparkle love so the, the set works really well with the kit it does it's like <laughs> it was put up especially for they are beautiful kits and yeah. it's stunning jewelry as you can imagine, because it's lovely, Monica. Oh. Should we show those first, actually? Because these oh, kits are, um, are are coming up. We've got what? Well, nine o'clock, obviously, and at midday. Um, but the booklet launch is happening at. Well, the booklet. This booklet launched last month, actually. Yes. But we have. I think it's in the nine o'clock hour. Okay. Let me We've double check. Roscoe, is it nine o'clock? The booklet. The buzzing bees. In the nine o'clock, yes, there we yeah. go, there we go. Um, so talk us through the, the, the buzzing bees. The booklets. Um, well, it's a, really, it's a really interesting necklace, this one, because I made it as, as two parts, so you can separate the two necklaces. Well, it's two separate necklaces as it is. Uh, so you can wear them on their own or you can wear them together. Um, oh, and then they've got the little bees in there, which are oh, really Oh, I was looking for the little That's bees. That's why it's called buzzing bees. <laughs> Oh, they're actual little bee, uh, little, little bees. Little bees, yes, they're human-type bee, bees. Bee that beads. Are... Bee beads, yeah. Bee beads. <laughs> I see. Oh, they're absolutely oh. stunning. And you have, yeah, let's, let's move over here so everybody can see. So this is happening at, at 9 o'clock today. If you miss the initial launch, then you get an, a second opportunity. So basically, I thought it was like one big wraparound necklace. Yeah, but no, right? this is a necklace, and then this is a necklace. Yes. I'm loving this detail. It's one of those where you just want to play with it when you're wearing it. Oh, it? my goodness, that's amazing. <laughs> and it gives it really good weight as well, especially with the hematite beads on there as well. There's some hematite on this as well. <gasps> little beads. Oh, my goodness. So the booklet is with the kit. Yeah. So you'll have all the ingredients, if you like, um, to make this piece of jewellery. Yep. And one thing I can absolutely say about Monica um, is she's one of the most amazing teachers. So if you've never, ever, ever 
um, had a go at seed beading, then definitely, definitely have a go today. Um, and producer Ross has just said in my ear that he's going to put these on pre-order. Oh, super. So you can shop ahead. You can choose your colorways. Yes. Um, and basically guarantee your success. Now, there's, there's, I mean, look at that colourway over there. Can you just pass me well, that one too? Because it's kind of hidden. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's put it. Oh, there we go. Let's put it, it just there, so uh, the our fin can color. show everybody. So like as you can see, you've well. got lovely different colourways in mm. this, and it just transforms it completely, doesn't it? It does. It does really. And actually, the colours, some of the colours work really well together across two kits, so you can actually mix and match the necklaces as Beautiful. well. Beautiful. And if I'm, if I am brand new to seed beading, is mm. this something I can do? I think. So, yes. And of course, if anybody gets stuck, I'm, I'm always there to help. So you're welcome to message me through Facebook and then, um, you know, I'm always help. She's a good help. egg. <laughs> She's a good egg. She will help you out. Absolutely beautiful. So they are happening at nine o'clock today. And again, you can shop ahead on the kits. You get the bees. You get the seed beads, obviously, um, to go, and you get also the uh, the booklet with, within that kit purchase. So you haven't got to buy that separately. Amazing. And then your 12 o'clock kits. Oh, my goodness me. Are we ready for Christmas or what? Or just a special occasion, if you like. Full of sparkle. Look at all that. Absolutely beautiful. That's oh, right. they're coming up at 9 o'clock as well. Yeah. And the 12 o'clock, this is in the 12 o'clock hour. Hang on, how many <laughs> kits have we got in this, in this show? Six kits in the nine. So those designs we've also got with pearls. Ooh. So oh, oh, how amazing would they be if you mix and match them? Yeah. Should we put them on pre-order too? Speaking well, of bees, you've got that lovely bee connector, which I love. Yes, and I'm, I was really tempted to put some pearls in with, with uh, these kits, but... I wanted to stick with a kit. Yeah. But I mean, the, the spinel, it just works perfectly with the pearls, doesn't it? It so, does. It um, does. Yeah, I would definitely mix and match those. <clears throat> well, they're available on pre order right now, so you Super. can shop ahead on those as well. And then, right, really excited today because it's my first experience um, in person with this long awaited collection that Wayne has been absolutely raving about for months quite literally for months it's the coveted collection hands down these are the best examples of these gemstones so i know you had tanzanite the other day with lovely carol these are the best examples that we have ever brought to air and just you know I, the tanzanite is an example for example i was literally blown away by the quality of that i mean that's first dibs quality all day long um, today we are launching your barrels. So we have the most breathtaking aquamarine. Oh, wow. Unreal quality. Oh, my gosh. Unreal. That's hence amazing. coveted collection. Wow. It's the best we've ever done. We also have, look at those. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. They're, they're off the chart. They're complete, you know, this is that, that's aspirational grade. Wow. And we also have it in Morganite. And we have it in your Himalayan beryl, your pure, beautiful Goshenites. Here are the Morganites. These are absolutely stunning quality. You've got the most beautiful, beautiful saturation within these drops. Through drilled as well, which I know are also very, very, very sought after. They'd be lovely, actually, in that necklace, wouldn't they? I was going to say, you just put one, one or two of them in there. Yeah, amazing in that necklace, maybe. Look at the Goshenite. Seriously, now this is, this is your, I think, titled as your deal of the day. Pure, colourless Goshenite. Your Himalayan beryl, completely void of any impurities wow. whatsoever. Talk about that, sparkle. I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, you know, do you know whether you if, you, if if we were just, never mind the gemstone, never mind the fact that this is Himalayan beryl. If we were to just discuss your colourless gemstones, that's one of the best ones I've ever seen. It is. It is. Because yeah. they're big as well. They are big sizes. Um, so they're all coming up at 10 o'clock today. They do come within these really lovely, luxurious boxes, as you can imagine, because of the premium grade of the gemstones. We've got loads of spaces with you today. We've got um, a closeout deal coming up on two of your Type A Jadeite Buddhas. Now, we've never done this before. Um, <clears throat> they've been on air. <clears throat> what I mean is that we've never done this price point before. They've been on air, and they've absolutely flown at, I think it was £50, which is an absolutely unbelievable deal for... For, for, for the two, um, because especially when you consider that this little chappy, we have physically brought to air for £129 in the past. Yeah. Then we did a deal on two of them, separate purchase, I should imagine, where you could get both for £49.99. Wow. Today, do I say it out loud, Roscoe? Okay, okay, not yet. 
<laughs> price per Buddha, it's going to be ridiculous, says Ross. Lowest price by an absolute country mile. They are drilled, that's why I'm tilting them forward so you can see really cleverly uh, disguise within the carving there. Look at how beautiful, and you do get both. So they're coming up as well as a big closeout deal. And we've got some amazing pearls. Honestly, it's just a show of sheer, sheer beauty and indulgence. And to start the show, it's your fabulous creations. It's the Wall of Fame. <laughs> I think it's, I've got different numbers to you. I've got different numbers. <clears throat> Mine start from 288. Bear with, bear with us. Bear with us, caller. We're just sort of... <clears throat> For those of you, by the way, who are wondering what the Wall of Fame is, let's use this time wisely, shall we? Yeah. Um, if you've never actually entered into the Wall of Fame before, it's a little competition that we've run, I think, since day one here at Jewelry Maker. And if you send a photograph of your wonderful creations, providing they are using Jewelry Maker uh, components, of course, and a message so we can read it out on your screens, you get entered into a prize draw. Now, this prize draw happens on a Wednesday morning where one of you will receive £100 credited to your Jewelry Maker account and another will receive £50 as the runner-up. The only stipulation is that basically they are jewellery maker products. Yes, and we get to admire your wonderful creativity. We get to, um, you know, be inspired by you guys at home as well because there's a wealth of talent behind the screens. There is, there really is. And we love to see the Wall of Fame because especially if you see something that, you, that was inspired by something that we've made. Yeah. Uh, for us guests as well. Oh, it's heartwarming, oh, isn't it's it? brilliant. It's really heartwarming. Right, okay, we're good to go. Starting us off this morning, and let's show you those examples. Number 288 is from Pam. Hello oh, to you, Pam. Look at that. Oh, they're beautiful. Wow. I think I know the kit that you got this from. And she says, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Please see attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a memory wire bracelet with the new spiral wire. Uh, emerald... Uh, Emerald beads um, and sea beads, everything purchased from Jewelry Maker. I hope you like it and wishing everyone good luck in the draw. Pam, they're absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Number 289 is from Olwyn. Hello, Olwyn. Oh, that's stunning. It's a little fish. It's a lovely little fishy. And she says, hello, everybody. This week, my WAF entry is a lovely bit of sea glass wrapped from a freeform sea, be uh, freeform sea beading. The sea glass came from my local beach, but the sea beads, pearls, and Swarovski crystals were from Jewelry Maker. Loved making this, and even though random and freeform um, are way out of my comfort zone, I am starting to get the hang of it. Love you all. Good luck to all this week uh, and to the entrance. Take care, and that's from Olwyn. We love you too, Olwyn, and that's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I saw that one on Facebook and share your makes. So that was brilliant. Really yeah. lovely. Absolutely stunning. Lo I particularly like the bale detail. Yes. yes. Clever. Uh, number 290. In fact, I'll pass these to you because there's two more there. So I can okay. pass them to lovely Monica. 290 is from Suzanne. Hi, all at JM. This week's entry to Wall of Fame <coughs> is a long lens but versatile necklace and coordinating bracelet. It is versatile as I have used a magnetic clasp and it can be wrapped around double to create a shorter necklace. I've used a crazy lace large pair for the pendant and Larimar and Sodalite chips with rose gold coated lava rock beads and rose gold spacer beads for a hint of sparkle, all from JM. I really love this and it is so comfortable to wear. Good luck, everyone. Oh, Stunning, really Suzanne. I love jewellery that you can convert to yeah. different things. Yeah, absolutely. It's my necklace as well in the book. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Look at this. Oh, look at that. 291 is from Michelle. Morning everyone at JM. This week's entry into this week's wall of this week's entry into this week's wall of fame is my first attempt at a brooch made using ombre amber beads and opaline gold cup chain to highlight frame. All components from JM. That's wonderful. Oh, wow. 
How beautiful is that? And that's really your first is. ever brooch. And that's with cup chain. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. See, oh, see what I mean? Look how talented you all are. Do oh. make sure you get those entries into the Wall of Fame and we'll keep everything crossed for the draw on Wednesday. That'll be with our lovely Carol. So you still have lots of time. Have a little look through your makes mill, maybe something that's in progress and send us a photograph. OK, now, without further ado, like I said, a show which is completely and utterly jam packed full of stunners. Shall we start with your Beryl family? Now, we know the Beryl family includes Emerald. Now, Emerald's the only gemstone that's not in this strand. And that's purely because it doesn't really, it wouldn't complement the pastel shades of this strand. Now, they are low in stock, so you'll have to be on it. Um, oh, actually, look at this. How often do you see Beryl, multicolored Beryl, firstly in your matte finish, secondly in the four mil round? It's not often. We tend to have these in the bigger sizes, don't we? Look at how beautiful. So do you see where I'm coming from? You get really lovely pastel palettes. Within this strand, you've got your aquamarines, the white are your beautiful pure goshenite, you've got your pink morganites, and I'm seeing some elements of your heliodor. Who wants this? Under £10. I mean, so versatile. Um, again, I'm thinking of your kits, Monica. Oh, definitely, yeah. It would work with any of the kits. Um, and I really love the, the frosted effect because especially with the pastels, I think it makes it look almost more pastel. Yes, yeah, I get um, where you're coming from. Oh, oh, $4.99. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're not even closing there. How many have we got then, Roscoe? We have 35 opportunities and in 60 seconds we're going even lower. So I would definitely be shopping ahead to guarantee your success. These would be stunning with absolutely every single one of your kits, Monica. They would, With the yes. pearls. Yep. Yeah. With the and sort of pinky uh, pinky bees necklace. It would, yes. And, and even uh, like the sparkly spinel ones. If you yeah, lovely. Sort of a frosted with a sparkly. I think it makes the sparkly <coughs> sparkle even more. Sparkly, sparkly. -er. Sparkly, sparkly, yeah. I know, say that fast. <laughs> say that fast. We're not even stopping. This is madness. We're not even stopping at £4.99. And, and it's multicoloured barrel. Not so long ago, we were talking about these strands. I mean, granted, when they first came, they were, you know, we were talking about the big, big sizes, but they were like £35 when we first launched yeah. them to air. Do you remember that? Yes, I do, yeah. They were, you know, they were £30 plus. And as if we're saying, <coughs> excuse me, we'll take them even lower. Four ninety nine. No, not happy there. Alison's multi-bought. Elaine, new customer. Tracy and Debbie, well done. West Midlands, Belinda, Anna, Joe, Helen, new customer. Hello, Teresa. Do text in as well. Come and say hello to lovely Monica and I. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what you're up to this week. What have you got up to over the weekend? We went to Pumpkins R Us. There's a place called Pumpkins really? R Us. Yeah, 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 with the girls. Literally spent a fortune on pumpkins. So I've got to get some recipes to use my pumpkins after they've but been carved. more than that on the pumpkins. Uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Actually, yeah. One small pumpkin was a pound and they're the teeny weeny ones that you can't do much with. Yeah. The big ones were 25 pounds. 25 pounds? 20, I mean, they were massive. Oh, I don't know I, I don't know how any, or, or why anyone would need a pumpkin of that size, but it was 25 pounds. <laughs> You need three a pounds a chainsaw to carve it. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Stand back, everybody. We're carving the pumpkin. Three pounds and forty-nine pence. That's madness. Wow. Look how pretty they are. On the verge of selling out, says Roscoe. Well done, everybody. Shall we do? Have I? Have I? Yes. <gasps> oh, they're pa they're paired up beautifully as well. Look at these. Oh. I'm sorry, I know our graphics don't say it, but the hot pink variety is referred to as rubelite. Would we all agree wow. that they're rubelite? Uh, look how perfectly colour matched these wow. are. This is high grade tourmaline. Look, on, look, at, look, under magnification, tourmaline is type three. We should expect it to have inclusions. Look at the premium wow. grade. I want to buy these. We're at 20 pounds, Ross. You're going to take it under 10 pounds? How many have we got? Because I want these. 20. Can you imagine these set into one of your big Baroque pearls? Oh, yes. yes. Oh. But also, I think the three colours work really well together. <coughs> that usually happens when it's the same gemstone. The yeah. colours will go together. So as a trilogy ring. Even. Oh, my goodness me. Or, or a pair of earrings, but with all three colours in there. And, and the, only the other day, Monica, I was saying that, particularly in the US market, premium grade, I'm saying premium because these are high grade, High-end tourmaline like this, you're talking $350 per carat. Yeah. Easily. 
We're at 20 quid and we're not even stopping there. I've made a price promise that these are going under 10 pounds. Wow. And again, I'll be completely honest, I always am. Uh, here at Jewelry Maker, here at Jewelry Maker, it's not one of our biggest sellers. I'm really confused by it though, because on our sister channel, only, only a like, couple of meters away, you can pay thousands for tourmaline. It is an expensive gemstone. We're clearing the vault, vault Ross says, even though it's grayed like this. I know who's in the gallery right now. What? <laughs> wow. Hello, Wayne. Hello. Wayne, look at the grade of this. I mean, you bought it, so I know you've seen it before, but this, this tourmaline is insane. Wow. Insane quality. Close out deals, baby, he says. Love it. I, I'm all over this. I'll be stocking up on them, even if I don't know what I'm going to do with them as of yet. Yeah, I mean, even if you just use one one colour and make a pair of earrings, that's, that's two, less than £2.50 for the pair of earrings. So £2.50. You're going to be, I even mean, with sterling silver findings, you're going to be less than £5 for a pair for of earrings. For a pair of tall earrings. earrings. I know, it's madness, isn't it? Absolute madness. Did I have many, did you say? 20. I've got 20 of them left within the vault. Wendy, Rachel, Zara, Susan, Helen, new customers, Mikey, uh, Wendy, new customer. Make sure you check out your baskets on those. Unreal quality. Um, we're going to dive straight into some more beautiful cut stones. Oh, these are princess cuts. Love it. You pay a premium for or, or square cuts, our graphics say, but um, anything that's like princess or, or um, emerald cut, Firstly, I'll explain why. You pay a premium for those, and the reason for that is because there's less facets in a cut like this than there would be in a round brilliant cut, you have to have a much better stone because yeah. any flaws or imperfections would literally jump out. They'd stand out, if you like, on the table of the facet. Look at, again, look how beautifully colour matched they are. You've got two beautiful natural Brazilian amethysts, a gemstone we actually don't see that much of these days. Do you see the flash of blue then? And that's because uh, amethyst is a pleochroic gemstone, so you don't just get the purple, you actually get flashes of pinks and you also get flashes of blues running through. We're at £9.99 only. That's almost a carrot and a half in each stone. Wow. Are we ready, says Ross. Ross, I was born ready. <laughs> no, I don't think I was either, no. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I wasn't born ready at all. I'm quite slow in actual fact. <laughs> <laughs> Four pounds. It's true. Uh, I'm saying it before anybody else does. Four pounds and ninety. That's for both of them. They'd be amazing wow. solitaire rings. Gosh, yes. And I think that the square shape makes it easier to set for a beginner. Yes, I that makes because, sense. Because you've got the corners to grab onto and you've yep. got a straight side. So, yeah. That makes, that makes total sense. And you can guarantee pretty much that when you've got some a variety of a square cut, be that princess, be that cushion, be that emerald cut, um, be that <coughs> even your baguette, you know, you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to have a much better, it, it, it's more of an eye clean stone just because there are that many uh, fewer facets. 4 99 make sure you're checking out those baskets. Robert, Yvonne, hello to you, Susan, Elaine, Dorset, new customers, Mirtha, Tidville, Mary, hello to you, West Yorkshire, Sue in Merseyside. How many did we have of these? 35 it's not a massive quantity never in a million years been anywhere near the price that's on your screens right now i think that's fairly obvious to say isn't it fairly obvious just under just under a carat and a half in each of those solitaires they'd be gorgeous earrings they would and, and actually if you think about it when you're setting it in a ring you can set it as a square but if you turn it Oh, a little bit. Then oh, it's, it's a diamond. It's a diamond, basically. A diamond. Love it. Is it. Love that. Say. For earrings as well, if you drop something underneath. Oh, that, oh very nice. Very nice. Pearl. <clears throat> Moving on to what? Sorry. Oh, zebra jasper. You can see where it gets its name. Dense stone, this. You get a really nice weight to this one. Um, perfect for your monochromes. Actually, you know, we talk about monochrome gemstones, which there aren't that many, really. Um, but this is that definite, isn't it? It is, it is. You can, you can really tell the white. Because sometimes... It's a pure get, white. Sometimes you get the monochromes and it's kind of more like an all-over grey. Yeah. Um, like with the jaspers and stuff like that. But um, I've just had a good one, idea. No, I mean, this is a jasper as well. What I meant was... Which, which was the other jasper the... Um, we had a few days ago the, uh, Ooh, uh, the grey picture jasper. Yes. So that's a monochrome as well, but you, it's kind of shades of grey. Yes. Whereas this is much more sort of dramatic, I think. Yeah, I get, I, I get where you're coming from with that. Do you know, I don't know why it's popped into my head, maybe because I'm well and truly in the Christmas vibe. I know it's early. Um, <clears throat> but what's the little guy from Nightmare Before Christmas? 
Oh, I don't know. What's the little guy with the little man on Nightmare Before Christmas? Does anyone... Text in if... What's his name? Is, is he called Jack Skellington? I don't know if he's called that. But anyway, uh, it, him. You know the one I'm on about. You could make little, little ones of those, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that I can see some of their faces in the markings of this uh, of this jazz. Is it Jack Skellington? I, I, I apologise, Adam. I didn't realise that was his name. Uh, him and his li and and then the, you've got the bride, um, the corpse bride as well. I, I don't know. We've got Halloween around the corner. And you've certainly got Christmas coming up. But aside from that, I mean, these are really beautiful with all of your gemstones because they are uh, monochrome. You definitely have that pure white and that definite, yeah. definite intense black. Um, I've not seen these before. They're lovely, aren't they? And it makes it really wearable as well. Because, yeah. You know, it goes with pretty much everything. Absolutely beautiful. Years ago, um, I went to. Um, have I got what? Sorry. I have, yeah. Years ago, I went to, to, to Disneyland and I bought a Christmas bauble of, of Jack Skellington. Oh. Um, because I love Christmas and I collect baubles. Um, and later on, like years later then, I found, I saw it on web, on in eBay and it was worth £100, this bauble. Oh. I can guarantee I did not spend £100 on my Christmas <laughs> bauble. No way near. Um, okay, can I just borrow a bust? Now, there are two of these available. I know that on Saturday, was it, you had, or Friday, you had an amazing show uh, with Zena and Dave with your Olmec Jade. Look at the length of the strand that you're actually getting on this one. Effectively, it is a finished piece of jewellery. Now, this is the lost treasure of Guatemala. Uh, you know, history, National Geographic wrote about this location, which was... Which was known. It was actually known um, to house this beautiful variety of jade, but quite literally, it got lost for centuries. Um, <clears throat> it is almost like an Indiana Jones story uh, um, that actually panned out the rediscovery of this beautiful gemstone. And in actual fact, the discoverers were, 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 were their, their theory. Uh, it was actually quash saying, "No, you can't have found it. We've been looking for it for literally hundreds of years." It's literally down to those individuals who I believe are a husband and wife team, actually, um, that we have this treasure once again. You get this really beautiful translucency. Um, Guatemalan or Olmec is a, a very rare colour. It's, it's like a blue shade, um, almost like a grandidiorite like blue. And the GIA actually wrote about it when asked the questions, um, when asked the question about jade, does it form in blue? And they actually physically say these words, yes, it does, Really, Guatemalan, described as Olmec blue, um, oh. is it, 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 it is available. However, it's incredibly rare and incredibly valuable. Um, now, you, there's two opportunities. You've got beautiful quality of colour. Um, to my knowledge, um, this is one of the only Rondell strands that we've actually done. I say strand because it, it is effectively a necklace. You could, you could easily wear that exactly as it is if you don't fancy doing anything to it. Now, we are about to open the auction. There are only two chances remaining. Once they are gone... This is not something that we've been really honest and really, uh, really open about the fact that we can, I'm not saying we can't ever bring it to you again, but it is super, super rare. So it's never going to be something we'll have vast quantities of. And this is the kind of thing that you could, uh, you could sell on immediately. <clears throat> and that's not unrealistic. It's not unrealistic. We've actually shown you necklaces of Olmec certified type a jade literally for for high 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 prices don't remember exactly what it was but high prices i know we aren't stopping there imagine this teamed between some high-end pearls some of which by the way we have coming up this weekend imagine this teamed with maybe a red jadeite or your yellow type A jadeite, two different locations, but that's absolutely fine. All certified natural type A. Five of you are showing interest in two. Do you want to see the price today? An opportunity. Did you notice as well, the old neck jadeite that we have brought more recently have been much shorter strands, much shorter strands. This is 200 carats, 190 beads in total. Seven of you have this in your basket for the final two. Here is your amazing certified Olmec Blue Jadeite deal. 
It's madness. Wow. It's actual madness. Wow. That's less than a pound per carrot. Significantly less than a pound per carrot. Hello to you, Suja. Hello, Eleanor. It's a lovely strand. I wear it as it is, yeah. um, and it's admired. I'm not surprised, Suja, and I bet that looks absolutely amazing on you, darling. And I know you've got, you know, an enviable collection. This is, uh, this is you know this, and this is such a rare opportunity, one for absolute collectors and connoisseurs. Hundreds of years, and I would encourage you, if you like, to do the research um, on your Guatemalan Olmec jade, because the story is, it's literally like an Indiana Jones. In fact, that, that, that character was molded um, around, and I'm desperately trying to think of a name. Go on, you remember this, Ross. The name of uh, uh, the lady that rediscovered it. Oh, we've all gone blank. Help us out. We've all gone black, but the mon uh, the actual Indiana Jones was literally molded, really? ar yeah, around her wow. um, and her quest, if you like, to wow. rediscover this gemstone. Because historically, we knew it was it, it was in Guatemala, but whereabouts? We have one left. They have to go today. They have to go. It's one of the longest strands I think we've ever done in Guatemala, and Jade, and probably ever will do, in all honesty, because it's full 360. Yeah. You've just heard Sue just say, I wear, it, I wear it as is. You don't need to, you know, to change this. If you want to, you absolutely can. It's also one of the only strands that we actually have in the rondelles. Such a distinctive colour, isn't it? It is, uh, and the shape as well, the rondelle shape. If you think about it, there's, there's more waste than if it was around, because obviously totally, the edge cut off. And, of course, that means you've got a lot more beads <coughs> strand as well so if you're using them individually or just a few pieces in a piece of jewelry it's going to go such a long way such a long way they've sold out well done well done amazing let me just put that necklace back there um i have seen the red it's uh, it's unreal absolutely unreal now these are huge if you're looking for a big carrot weight you, oh this is it this is the one that you're getting so the one I have actually in the studio here in my hands is the one that you're going to be getting. This quality of colour is unbelievable. Super rare. I think most of you know this, but for, for people that maybe are, uh, are new to the jadeite world, red jade occurs um, only and solely on the skin of the boulder, and that's where it actually has sort of oxidised um, over millions upon millions of years. This is our, there we go, thank you, Jay Ridinger. There we go, there she is. Oh, there wow. she is. So <laughs> she was the lady that actually re, uh, that, that rediscovered um, your Olmec Jadeite. So their husband and wife team, amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, now I've got one opportunity. We're gonna do it one price crash because straight away there's 10 of you there. 10 of you there. Absolutely exceptional colour and it's certified natural. Can I just say it is always absolutely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, when it comes to any jadeite, whether that's your Olmec or whether it's your Burmese, get your certificate of authenticity because the fact that it is type A jadeite, um, you know. Um, bears a, a big significance in terms of its overall valuation at 99 pounds these are enormous they are these are enormous in the past i've actually shown jadeite little snuff bottles i've shown jadeite bangle carvings where you get about 30 percent of it red the rest of it may be a white or a different color and that's because only a shallow amount of the jadeite will actually occur in this mm. in this red it's a really beautiful almost like a poppy red isn't it yeah oh it is yes it's, it's a really warm red isn't it yeah it's a natural certified natural wendy is that has wendy got this well done. Wendy, congratulations. These are on their way to you. They're absolutely beautiful, beautiful quality. So absolutely amazing. Well done, lovely. Um, okay, moving on to... Grand Digirite on silver? What, um, what does it look like? Oh, no, I don't have that. But I will borrow this. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Come on, gorgeous Dan. Don't worry. Just lean across. It's, oh, my goodness me, it's a finished Aww. necklace. Granted, you're right. Come on, you can all say it with me, can't you? This is one of the world's top ten rarest gemstones. And that, uh, and where it is, or was previously, if you like, say, last year, 
is likely to um, only go up, and that's because the uh, uh, the mine in Madagascar is all but deplete, deplete. Now, this is a finished necklace. If you want to deconstruct this as jewelry makers, you absolutely can. Again, the quality of the Grand Digerite is absolutely unbelievable. This is so, to totally natural, no enhancement whatsoever. There are 4,000 different minerals on our planet. 4,000 wow. approximately. Oh, gosh. Imagine being in the top 10. Gosh. So this is 100% a collector's dream. Um, a, a, a gemstone, in actual fact, that many collectors can only uh, you know, aspire to own, particularly now, given the fact that the Madagascan deposit is all but run out now. Beautifully rosary-linked. And, you know, if this was aquamarine or if this was, if this was ruby or if this was, I don't know, a zircon or a topaz... That in itself, right, you, you've got to buy the strand of gemstones, then you've got to buy the sterling silver wire, then you've got to buy the sterling silver class, and you've got to factor in the time that it takes to rosary link something this. this. And, with, and with rosary link, linking, you have so much wire waste yeah. as well, because with every link, you, there's a piece that you have to cut off. Which is sterling silver. Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, you could do it. Of course you could. But I don't think you'll be able to do it as cost-effectively as what we're about to today. No. no. You know, so giftable. And imagine if you are gifting this to one of your nearest and dearest. You're basically gifting one of the world's rarest gemstones. Ah, I'm, I'm going to say it. Diamonds aren't rare. They're not rare. Particularly not when you compare them with a gemstone of this, uh, of this exclusivity. And it's ombre as well. So if someone had to pick out the gemstones, yeah. ombre them, plan out the whole necklace. Facet them. Facet them, yeah, and then do all the rosary linking as well. It's a huge amount of work in there, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. And personally, and this is only my opinion, I don't think I'd do anything to this. I think I would literally wear it exactly as it yeah. is. Um, because it showcases the gemstone. You know, when people do come to ask about, oh, what's that? Or, you know, what's in, um, what's the gem in your in your necklace? You say, Grand right? Chances are they probably won't have heard of it, yeah. you know, um, because it's not one of the big five. And that's only marketing. That is only marketing. Diamonds, not rare. They're not, let's be honest. Some of your, your D colourless, of course well, yeah. they are. This is uber rare uber 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 rare this is what the collectors the connoisseurs aspire to own we're at 99.99 we've got 11 opportunities available you're getting the most beautiful beautiful tennis style necklace for 11 carats of grand did you right this is absolute madness never mind the silver never mind the workmanship that's gone into this we're under 50 pounds and we're not done I've, I've bought Grand Digerite. I haven't got this piece, unfortunately, but I've bought Grand Digerite. I haven't done anything to it. I've got some loose stones. Um, and I, I might well do something moving forward, but I've bought it because I know this window of opportunity is... Well, in fact, Wayne's even said, I can't buy it anymore. We're priced out. It's oh. too expensive oh, now. Yeah. We're in single-figure quantities. So our gemstone buyer says, look, I, can't, I can buy it, but it's astronomically expensive. Really, and that's where it should be. Yeah, yeah, and it's a similar colour actually to the old myth blue jade as well. So I think the two would work really well together. Oh, well. beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We've got eleven of these left. The clock is ticking because we are going even lower. You know, that's the reality. <laughs> and this sounds almost quite blasé. You know, I think we can, if we have the budget, we can give a diamond necklace if you've got the budget. We can give a ruby necklace if we've got the budget. Yeah. Even with the budget, not many people could give a grand digerite necklace. Yeah. Because, because Mother Nature holds it very close to her chest. That's crazy. Actually crazy. If these don't sell out, then I'll be joining you on this opportunity because I can't, we can't afford not to. We're not, we're not buying any more Grand Digerite just because it is too expensive. So that's us literally passing on sort of the, the, the market information of this gemstone. The Madagascan deposit, which as you can see on the graphics, which is where this came from, is run out. And that was the only source. So, you know, we talk about Tanzanite saying, oh, one locational, it's going to run out, one generational. And that's half of the, half of the conversation that you have with that yeah. gemstone. This is already there. It's gone. It is all but gone. Unless by, by chance one location literally pops up, unlikely, it's gone. It's already mined out. Amazing. Well done. Well done, well done. Now, <clears throat> we've got the most amazing pearl coming up. It's an Edison pearl. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful uh, quality. 10 to 11 millimetres. It's going to 
blow you away on the luster. Wow. What time are we doing this? In a couple of auctions time, not too long to wait. And also, at nine o'clock, we have a collection <clears throat> of all of those silver-plated base metal spacers. Spacers, not just your, uh, your round spacer beads. You've also got a mixture of your tubes in there. You will be well and truly stocked. Wow. Um, they're brand new, never been on our screens before. They're available on pre-order right now. If you go to all the W's at jewelrymaker.com um, and you click watch live, scroll down to coming up on today's show. Yes, I do look like I'm growling there, don't I? <laughs> <coughs> look at where we are right now. A thousand pieces. Gosh, that's, that's a good price for that, isn't it? We're at £20.99. It's not what you're going to pay today. Wow. We're going lower than that. For 1,050 pieces, there's the different selections that you're actually getting um, of your spacer. Bumper pack. Look at them all. I admire the person that lined them up like little soldiers. You didn't, did you? Nobody lined them up, did they? Oh, you did, Adam. Well, okay, fair play. Fair play. Um, so you can shop ahead and pre-order on those as well. Um, you can shop ahead and pre-order on all of Monica's amazing kits today. Um, and don't forget, close out deal on those two type A Buddhas. Now, what, sorry? But, uh, oh, yes. Nephrite. There's only five of them. Um, my bangle, jade bangle that you might have seen me wearing is actually nephrite, is nephrite jade. I, I just really like the spinach green colour that you get from this. Um, because when it comes to uh, jadeite, you talk about the imperial green, don't you? You talk about that really um, um, amazing sort of glowing light green. But it's very, very different to that of your nephrite jade. Nephrite jade is actually referred to as the original jade. And that's because it's the old, it's actually older than jadeite. Um, and when we talk about sort of the, the history and the Chinese history of this gemstone, it's nephrite more than likely we're discussing. But it's got a different colour. So when you talk, imperial jade is the aspirational green in the jadeite world. With nephrite, it's spinach green, which is what's on your screens right now. You've got 110 carats. Sadly, I only have, um, how many did you say? Five. Five left. T uh, snap it up today because this is an absolute closeout deal. Spinach green is what imperial green is to the jadeite world. Spinach green nephrite is what imperial green is to jadeite. That's crazy at 20 pounds completely and utterly natural again absolutely you should be getting your certificate of authenticity alongside this as well we had just five opportunities monica again these would be lovely with your kids it would yes i mean you, you could space those out with uh, some of the spinel um beautiful you, you could put them in the in the bee necklace in place of the bees if you oh want that to. would make sense yeah that would make sense they are on the verge of selling out look how beautiful they go with pearls as well Oh, yeah. Just give you that gives you that lovely warmth. Amazing. L I absolutely adore nephrite. It's uh, one of my favourites, particularly the spinach green light -like colour. is one of my favourites. Well done. Those spacer beads that we're launching today um, that are going lower than $29.99. They are actually, uh, they are going under £20. They're on the website currently at £20.99. Uh, just to give you a heads up, they're flying on pre-order. Um, you get over a thousand pieces. How many do we have in terms of quantity, though? 150. So they will absolutely be a one-show wonder, won't they? Yeah, I th uh, they're coming up at nine o'clock. So uh, make sure you're with us for that opportunity. Oh, this turquoise, though. So a price point on nephrite that you'd never ever see. We're going to do that pri uh, a price point on. Arizona and turquoise that you never see. This, wait, that's, that's Arizonian turquoise. Let's take this to a pound a carat. They're huge as well. Absolutely huge in these gorgeous free form shapes. They remind me of the Megan Fox necklace that I sometimes show, <clears throat> you know, where she literally has, I think they're knotted in like a, a sort of a, a almost like bib style necklace that's a pound per carat how about no this is silly under 20 wow 
We're not done there. How many do we have? The final 26. They're enormous. Yeah, we're at 14 by 12 millimetres. Do you remember when a strand like this would have been, I don't know, 69, 79 pounds? Yes, and I mean, the colour of these, I don't think it comes across on screen. It doesn't. Well. They're so bright, the aren't they? epic. It's very vivid, isn't it? Super, super, super bright. You know, we, we, again, when it comes to, um, there's an article I've read in the past that describes the colour so perfectly. You know, when uh, when the land craves water, that's when turquoise is born. And you are you're looking for, you know, the most intense, what's described as a robin egg blue. That is some of the most intense. Yeah, you've got your matrix in there, but don't you think that actually showcases that it is genuine turquoise? Get your certificate of authenticity. These are huge. It's a, it's a gemstone that, generally speaking, forms in sort of cracks that form um, down uh, sort of the, the, the mountain terrain, always in arid locations. So that's why Arizona is very abundant. Not, uh, not abundant. That sounds like it's plentiful. It's not plentiful. But it has, uh, you know, multiple different turquoise mines. That's crazy. Uh, absolute craziness. I mean, s switch the seven and the one around, and I'd still say that's a fantastic deal. They are huge, huge. USA, Arizona turquoise. Yeah, it, it, it won't take you long if you've never actually purchased turquoise before. Do be careful where you're sourcing it from because, you know, it, it is quite often imitated because it's beautiful and of course because it's very expensive well here we go here's megan fox wearing free form shades i'm going to say this yours is better color yours is actually much better color because hers are quite green i like the green i do like the green in turquoise but the more desirable gemologically speaking is this robin egg blue i've got five of them left caroline uh, adeline hello to you, margaret elaine pearl lorna and cheryl you've got yours well done sit back and enjoy i've also got on the web uh, sasha diane hackney new customer essex cumbria and i've got people on the phone lines as well for the final five again i've got to say it not that long ago a strand like this would have been really 70 pounds and that's on our screens and that would have been an amazing price it would have it would have i mean these shapes these organic shapes are really uh, lend themselves well to things like uh, wire work yeah so uh, you know wrapped pendants and that sort nice. of thing and, and i mean one of those pendants if you put it in like antique silver or bronze or something like that you could easily sell one of those for 70 80 pounds yes for, turquoise. For one stone because it's like it's like diamonds it's like pearls it's like sapphires and rubies people know turquoise exactly. is a genuine gemstone yeah. and they know it's yeah. expensive it's it's on the verge of selling out well done oh i do have herkimer i do do you know it's funny my uh, um what night was it anyway one night uh, uh in the week, Tom was like, oh, have you ever heard of Herkimer Diamonds? I was like, of course we've heard of Herkimer Diamonds. And he was like, it's cool, isn't it? Again, for my husband to say that, oh. he, d he's not, he doesn't get overly excited about gemstones, but he was like, I like Herkimer Diamonds. I said, actually, then, you know, obviously then that leads into a whole education process that he might not actually want. But um, <laughs> anyway, I'm like, oh yeah, doubly, doubly terminated gemstone, really cool. It's actually a variety of court. You get these really beautiful sort of black inclusions that occur naturally within the gemstone. It was discovered in, uh, it was actually discovered in uh, New York um, which is where this is from, actually, consequently. Oh. Uh, so discovered in New York, one of the few gemstones that's actually still mined in New York as well. Totally and utterly natural. So, yeah, you get these really beautiful... It's faceted by Mother Nature, if you like. Um, can you see how you get these termination points at either end of the gemstone? I know I won't have many of these available. Um, Herkimer Quartz is always astonishingly popular. Well, not astonishingly, it's beautiful, isn't it? We're under £10, we're not even closing there. I don't think you need, design-wise, you don't need to do that much with a Herkimer because no. the design level's there. It does, and there's so much interest there already, you don't really yeah. want to take away from that. It's also one of Carol's favourites, isn't it? Yeah. Last time I was on with her, we had some Herkimer course. We call her Herkimer Gurk. Herkimer what? Herkimer Gurk. Herkimer Gurk. This is Carol McGurk. Oh, yes! <laughs> I love it. 
I love it, love it. I hope Carol's got some Herkimer then. I'm sure she does. It is beautiful. I always I always imagine it as being like the skyline of New York City. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. can you you know yeah, because with, with sort of the sharp. Yeah, movie. it's yeah. and often gemstones will actually demonstrate the beauty of their location. I know oh. the gemstones were there before the skyline, but yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> but, but they have that they have that sort of beauty about them and that link, don't they? We're at nine ninety nine for genuine Herkimer quartz. Often referred, more actually, frequently referred to as a Herkimer diamond. Technically speaking, it's not a diamond. However, you can see that similarity. You can see that definite link. This is crazy. Herkimer quartz, again, they're, uh, they're not a single figure price tag gemstone. I've shown you pieces before that are wow. considerably more. I don't know if you've got those, Roscoe. You know, it's, it's like, I think there was like five pieces on one necklace. Certainly not seven ninety nine, and and I know that our lovely viewers could easily be inspired by those pieces and recreated at a fraction of the cost. Um, how many did I have left of these? Twenty. There was only twenty available. It's uber cool. Here we go. A millionaire? Question uh, mark. Sadly, no. Uh, indulgence of Herkimer diamond quartz for only sixty pounds. One, two, three. Put five pieces five pieces on that necklace. It's beautiful, isn't it? £60 then for that necklace, £7.99, and you could probably recreate that multiple times over or a version of Caroline, Nancy, Elizabeth, Mary, Maureen, Hackney, L hello Lincolnshire, hello to you, Karen as well. Do make sure you check out 20 isn't a lot, and there's a lot of you there. It's always one of our most popular. This would be cool with that um, zebra jasper that we had earlier it on. It would, yes, but even just on its own like that is so contemporary, isn't it? Just wearing stunning. it face out like that. It's really stunning. I also, th also think they look lovely with pearls don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They look amazing, dotted in between your pearls. They're coming up in the next hour. This is actually one of Monica's kits. You've got six kits in the next hour, so we're really spoiling you. Um, and, of course, the relaunch of Monica's booklet. Yeah, beautiful, dotted in between your cultured pearls, um, if you feel so inclined. £7.99 only. Well done, well done, well done, everybody. Congratulations. So, OK, it is time for your early bird. And I am going to repeat myself to a certain degree because, I think it's so important that when we're talking about gemstones that firstly we don't assume that everybody knows the same everybody everybody automatically goes oh I like pills that means I know everything because there's always different degrees of quality so I am going to focus on um, the quality factors when it comes to a pearl because um, that then will absolutely in time reiterate reiterate a how good your pearl is and secondly how amazing the deal is Okay, um, you can even say this with me if you're regular to our channel, but of the pearl world, there's a few different factors that will bear an influence on the, the price of a pearl. So first you get your freshwater and your saltwater pearls. So your saltwaters being your uh, South Sea, being your Tahitian and your Akoya. Um, but that's not to say that freshwater pearls aren't also valuable or very, very expensive. And it was actually Edison Pearl that kind of paved the way to uh, that being the case. You know, because uh, this article I found, and I think it describes what an Edison Pearl is all about, describes why they're so exciting and why they're so valuable. So let's read it together. A little while ago, I promised you a small, a small primer on the newest, hottest pearl in the industry, the Edison Pearl. Edison pearls are the latest in a long line of freshwater pearl experiments um, are aimed on taking on the legendary white and gold and South Sea pearls from Australia. These pearls are produced by a few radical pearl farmers in China uh, and have only been available for two to three years on the market. Traditionally, freshwater pearls have always been what we call tissue nucleated. This forms a, a solid nacre pearl, but the pearls are always being characterized by their off-round or oval potato shapes, which, me, uh, which many in the industry uh, found not to be ideal. Well, I don't know if that's the case anymore. I, I think, you know, we embrace, embrace pearls for all of their beauties and their anomalies. However, 
yes, they don't command as high a price point as, say, um, your perfect rounds. Salt water pearls, your Akoya, your South Sea and your Tahitians are nucleated with a perfectly round bead nucleus, which gives the oyster a template to form nacre around. This eventually leads to a perfectly round pearl, or I should say hopefully. Pearls that are perfectly round and symmetrical are pretty much the gold standard in the pearl industry. And again, I, I'm to challenge that to a certain degree, Yes, they, they are the most expensive, but it depends what you're looking for because your fireball pearls and your baroque pearls can be, keshis can be astonishingly expensive oh, yeah. as well. Uh, <clears throat> now, they debuted in Hong Kong um, only in 2014, so it's not that long ago, the Edison pearls, and, and now they really are known to be one of the best. Um, the initial harvests were priced at sky-high premiums, especially the perfect rounds, well into the high thousands. Now, firstly, look at that photograph. Look at the luster. Would we also agree that they're not really perfect rounds, are they? No. Um, but they're beautiful, there's no denying. There's some pitting in there. You've definitely, definitely got a little bit of rippling on the surface. They're beautiful, don't get me wrong, but they're saying high thousands for a harvest like that. Okay, moving on. Most freshwater mussels produce many pearls, while Edison mollusks can only uh, produce one gem per mollusk, wow. which is why these pearls can become huge. Superior quality of the Edison pearl. The first cultivated pearls were farmed successfully in 1916. We're talking about all cultured now. Yeah. Um, these early pearls were of low grade, but over the years, many improvements were made in the cultivating process and the quality improved um, a lot. But the quality was taken up a notch with the introduction of Edison pearls to the market. The size, shape, luster and colour of Edison pearls are phenomenal, putting these pearls in a class of their own. What makes them even more remarkable is the fact that they are surprisingly affordable. Oh. Here it is. Same quality factors if you were talking about your South Sea or your, your Tahitian size. Edison pearls grow to a large size and can reach up to 16 millimeters, much like a South Sea pearl. This is possible because of two reasons. One, the pearl is allowed to grow for longer, so more time is invested into that mollusk yes, and the pearl. Number two, only one bead at a time is inserted into the muscle. Wow. So they grow to much bigger sizes. The company is trying to recreate smaller versions of the Edison pearl to compete with the Akoya pearls, but so, hard, so far haven't been successful. Number two, the color. Edison pearls come in a range of colors, including white, metallic, pink, gold, lavender, plum, and dark purple. Some pearls can exhibit a grayish color. However, all black Edison pearls have been dyed. The pearls also have excellent orient, that's the luster basically, um, and beautiful overtones that accentuate the beauty of the stone. And you want to talk about orient? Wait until you see just how beautiful the overtones. Now I only have, I'll take that lid off in a second, you see that pinkish overtone which is actually the most sought after colour when it comes to your pearls. This is completely and utterly natural. Again, I would absolutely recommend that you get your certificate of authenticity because this isn't just any cultured pearl. This is an Edison pearl and it says that in black and white on your certificate of authenticity. It will also say not enhanced. Look at the size. All that, you know, that article is writing about all the traits really that we, should, we, we, we aspire to own within an Edison pearl. Let me just double check. It's half, it's stunning quality. Look, look, look. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Stunning quality. Incredible. Half drilled, perfectly spherical too. Wow. Look, literally as I roll it between my fingers, look how perfectly spherical that shape is. And the Orient, which is basically the luster, you know, you can see the reflection of the studio within this pearl. Yeah. I've got a hundred opportunities and they will all sell out today. Not just because they're beautiful, there's that half drill, by the way. I'm going to show you a price point and I'm going to tell you it's no way near where we're closing. Wow. 
for an Edison pearl. We sit you. Sit you there. No way near where we are closing. Look at how flawless it is. Look at how flawless that pearl is. And it is certified completely and utterly natural. Now, lovely jewelry maker viewers, I'm going to show. Oh, you've popped back in your little hole, haven't you? He's that perfect. <laughs> he rolled back in. Look, stay there. <laughs> Come on. It's because he's so spherical. There we are. Sit there because we want to see you in all your splendor and glory. Lovely jewelry maker viewers. Now, I, I, I haven't told Monica this. Monica, I'm going to show you what we're taking an Edison pearl. So how many times have you heard me say in the past, the big, the big names in the pearl world are South Sea? Yes. Tahitian? Yes. Akoya? Yes. Edison? Yes. They're the, they're the big four. Definitely. Okay. They are the big four. You know yep. that. Yeah. Our viewers know that. That's why the core screens are already, already stacking up. We've got 100 opportunities, but I want you to see Monica's reaction. <laughs> I'm scared to look. <laughs> Honestly. <gasps> I know, for a 10 to 11 millimetre. Seriously? Perfect. I'm always uber, uber, uber cautious to describe wow. a pearl as flawless. Wow. And that's because, you know what? They're an organic gemstone. They're like you and I. They have, they have little wrinkles. They have little blemishes, which, which absolutely adds to their appeal. But very, very, very few pearls will actually be flawless. I'll ask you a question, lovely jewelry maker viewers. Whilst you're dialing through and adding this to your basket, do you see a flaw? I can't see a single flaw. No, no. no. It's and, perfect. And there's so many ways that you could show this off in a piece of jewellery. Um, you know, you can go really simple just with a, with a bail yep. and a chain. Yep. Or you can put it in the centre of a, a sort of a more elaborate pendant. Look at that. The studio lighting here is dreadful for all gemstones concerned. We're at twelve ninety nine. I wasn't going to believe that price until I saw it on the screen. I, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I showed you, though, right? Yeah. Twelve ninety nine for an Edison pearl oh. that is certified completely and utterly natural. Imagine this sat, and I, I, I am going to use your platinums and your golds and things like that. Imagine this in an eighteen carat gold bale that you can buy, you can buy those. We don't sell them, although I say all the time that we should be. You know, imagine a really simple 18 karat gold split bale clasp. That would be, I, I don't even know, hundreds upon hundreds of pounds in most establishments. But then that color looks uh, amazing with gold, doesn't it? Or even with rose gold. Rose well. gold. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. What the, the reality is, I'm used to seeing pearls like this surrounded in parve diamonds oh yes i'm used to seeing pearls like this with your high precious metals yes uh, what i'm not used to seeing is an edison pearl that is perfectly round certified completely and utterly natural that is a milestone measurement at 12.99 40 of these have gone we had a hundred that's not what it said on the sheet. It's not what it said on the sheet. On the sheet. <laughs> Ross is saying in our ear, we're going to go lower. And I think you know what that price point's going to be. Completely unplanned. Ross likes to be a bit spontaneous. I call it rogue. <laughs> but you know what? All the better. Because right now, a hundred quantity, it is half drilled. So if you want to put this on a pendant, imagine those in earrings. At this price point, you can get Edison Pearl earrings. I was going to say, a <gasps> pair of those for stud earrings, get a stud finding. Like oh, my goodness. Wedding. That would be amazing. Wouldn't it? I want to buy some of these. I want to buy some of these. And they would be, they would be Edison Pearl earrings for me. Because uh, pop along to our sister channel. Never mind Bond Street. Never mind Hatton Garden. Never mind Milan and Rodea Drive. Pop along to our sister channel that deal with high-end quality pearls like this, like you guys are right now. That would have a halo of diamonds all the way around and it would be set in gold. And it would probably be, I don't know, £500, £600? Mm -hmm. Not £9.99. £9.99. <laughs> If these don't sell out, I am absolutely all over them. Well, actually, I wouldn't put it with diamonds because it's, it's too beautiful to... It doesn't need them. ...distract. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't need them. them. I totally agree with you there, Monica. And I, I, is, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely thinking the pair of earrings, I think probably the matching pendant. 
Yeah. And, and if I had the wealth of, you know, talent that our lovely viewers do, then it would probably be a really beautiful ring as well. Yeah. Unreal. No, that was completely spontaneous, completely unplanned. It was meant to be. Twelve ninety nine, which let's be honest, is just mad already. Um, it is the big four. You're sourcing. Never mind. When I say the big four, I'm not talking about diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. I'm talking about the big four of pearls, Edison pearls that have only been around since two thousand and fourteen. When they say challenging your South Sea pearls, they there. They've achieved it. They've they've done what they set out to do. Yeah. The only difference really is that one forms in salt water and the other one forms in fresh water. No difference whatsoever, um, other than location, I guess, and those kind of things. The quality that you're getting here for a tenor is just madness. Chantal, you've got two. Vera, you've got two. Devon's got four. I did see some. Janice, you've got ten. Well done. Angela's got ten. Heather's got three. Nicole, you've got two. Catherine, you've got three. Rachel, well done to you. Vera, Karen, and East Sussex. Super busy. Suzanne and Kent have snapped up a couple of these as well. I don't blame you. Mary and Cardiff, congratulations. Lanark sure I can see you there on the app Tracy Susan Claire Lynn Brenda Jacqueline uh, Nicolette Irina Alison and Ali well done there were only just so you know literally 100 on the nose on the nose how are we doing in terms of stock levels 20 less than 20 actually um and there are people with twos threes and fours in their basket as well so make sure you check those out absolutely stunning quality can i can i just hold it up to the ear so you can imagine these are studs and this would be super easy to create wouldn't they it would yes i mean you can get the the stud earring findings with the posts and you just put a tiny drop of glue on there and it's done how oh, perfect they would be that wow how perfect they would be in earrings oh. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to hide it with my hair, so I'd definitely have one under, on the neck. Uh, t and a tenor, you can wear it wherever you want, couldn't you? <laughs> That's a crazy, crazy deal. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check out those baskets. Now, do not go anywhere um, <clears throat> because we have got... Monica's amazing kits that you can shop ahead. In fact, you have been shopping ahead and pre-ordering on with the relaunch, only the second relaunch of your buzzing bees. Also, take a little look at this amazing bundle. It's available on pre-order um, at £20.99. pence. Brand new premiere, never been on your screens. We have 150, 33 have already gone on pre-order. Um, you've actually got 1,050 wow. different spaces. Um, we are going lower than £20.99. So, yeah, get yourself well and truly stocked up on your spacer beads. So much more to bring you this morning. It's going to be a really exciting show. Join Monica and I after this. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Make sure you go to our website www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay.
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. I literally just said that I think I'm going to need a bigger board. Because there's one over a thousand spaces here. Wow. Uh, uh, yeah, so I was like, I'm boards. I need more boards. Are they not just plain folk? No, they're not just your, your little rounds. Loving these designs, I, and I will tip them out. Dan won't like me for it, but sorry, Dan. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. These 1,050 spaces we're going to tip onto the boards. What time are we doing these? Should we do them now? Shall we? Because they're flying on pre-order. Not £20.99. pence. They are going lower, but shop ahead, and that guarantees you success. Um, everybody pays that final low, so it's not going to stop there. Do you want to see the selection of these that you're getting? Because over a thousand, a thousand and fifty to be exact, in different in, in different designs. So starting with these, you've got the lovely little kind of like rondelle-like shape. Can you see? Gorgeously textured, lovely patterns within those. Then I'm going to put these ones next to them, only because they look. Oh, Dan, you're going to hate me, aren't you? Sorry, Dan. Look, you've got your little two mil, but almost look like little pumpkins, don't they? They're lovely. Then, scoochy, scoochy, you've got your two mil. Are they plain rounds? Yes, they look plain to me. Then, I'm not going to have enough space. There's so many spaces, there's not going to be enough space. You've got, I don't think we've done this design before. Oh, no. You've got this kind of like... A matte brushed effect, like a satin effect. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Like little snowballs. Yes, beautiful. Then, love this shape. I don't know how to describe them other, other than as a rondelle kind of wheelie shape. Or like a heshi. A wheelie shape. <laughs> a wheelie shape, yeah. <laughs> Technical term, as uh, didn't you know. Then we've got the slightly larger in that matte effect. Look at all of these. Oh, gosh, I need to get these. Um, if you've got your mobile phone, I would do it now because they're going to sell out today for sure. Then we've got the slightly larger of the other ones. Oh, this makes sense now. I get it. I get it. Ah. Then you've got your classic plain rounds. I can't fit them all on the board. They're not all going to fit on, are they? Then you've got... I'm, mo I'm over here. You'd think I would do this in some kind of systematical order, wouldn't you? Um, there you go. Oh, they're nice. Can you see the shape on those? They're a bit more elongated. Oh, yeah. They're nice. And I tell you what, I definitely can't fit in. I'll just hold these in the pot. Are your tubes? Oh, wow, look how many. So you're getting a load of those lovely tubes. Now they are absolutely flying on pre order. Absolutely flying on pre order. We're going to give you 60 seconds just to. That's basically until we queue your graphics. That doesn't mean that you can't dial now, because you can. Uh, <clears throat> you can add them to your order. Everybody will pay the final low. They are not stopping at £20.99. These are a brand new premiere. They've never been on your screens before. How much do we love a spacer? Uh, for me, they're a must. 
an I'm, absolute must. And they, they just accentuate whatever you're making. You know, you don't need to use a lot of them in a piece of jewellery. Um, just the central piece on either side, something like that, and, and it really sort of um, highlights something yeah. in your piece of jewellery. But at the same time, they also look amazing if you just make a stretchy with just spaces, oh, different shapes that. and sizes. And it's really, um, it gives it a lot of interest and texture. Totally. Um, so that's really pretty as well. Do you know, do you know, uh, only, um, I went down to see my mum on Friday, just gone, and I wore literally a sterling silver spacey, a space, spacey, um, stretchy bracelet that I'd made out of our spacer beads. Yeah. Um, and, and my friend commented on it straight away. She said, oh, I love your bracelet. I was like, I made it. Yeah. Just out of spacer beads. No gemstones, not a single gemstone in sight. These are silver plated, so you've got your precious metal plating. Um, when we say bumper, my goodness me, you've got either, uh, uh, you've got 50 in the rondelles, uh, from 50 to 100 to 150 in terms of the quantity. They vary in their size from two to three to four to uh, the rondelles being six by four millimeters. So you've, and the tubes, by the way, um, which are uh, 30 millimeters in their length. I mean, that's massive. The phone lines have gone completely and utterly nuts. Do you remember when we used to do spacer bead, but like little packs that would be say 10? Yes. And then they went to 30, yeah. then they went to 40, and now we're dealing with 1,050. <laughs> Look, you're, you're, you're purchasing at £20.99, pence, but believe me, every single one of you is not paying £20.99 pence before. They're brand new. I call these one-show wonders because I don't think they're going to see a second show. And whenever we've had larger bundles of spaces before, they've always just been the plain ones. Yeah, which true. Are, which are really nice as well, but the textured ones are, I think, much more interesting. Yeah, I, I love these. Can I have a closer look at one of these? The wheelie ones. The wheelie want. ones? Yes. yes, you certainly can. Certainly can. Now, we promised we weren't stopping at this price tag. We should be higher, let's be honest, for 1,050 different spaces. I like those. Can you imagine them with things like your magnesite um, heshies? And this is really interesting because it's concave on both sides. Yes, yeah, so a bead so will sit into it. A bead will sit into it really nicely. Yeah, if you put it between two round, larger round beads. Like that. It's like that. really beautiful. Um, I think these are my favourite. These kind of like, they almost look like the matte gemstones that we have. Yeah. Are you ready? Because there are so many of you there. At this price point, should have really started at $39.99. That, I think most of us would agree that would have been a fab deal. Oh, I like those little bobbly ones as well. Yes. They're cute, aren't they? Are we ready? Because we've already got three rows of names. One show wonder. Well done to everybody that's already secured theirs, those. Some of you are actually multi-buying like twos and threes. So that means you've got 3,000 spacer beads on their way. Wow. At nine, <laughs> this was meant to start at 39.99. We're at what, sorry? Two, that's two pence a bead. Goodness me! I mean, I mean, that's going to go such a long way, especially if you use it, uh, you know, sparingly, just for uh, sort of accent pieces between your gemstones. I mean, that's going to last you for for ages. But but I would really use them sort of a little bit more because I like to add lots of sparkle and lots of extra silver in my jewelry. So yeah, and, and I mean, if you have a box of these, you don't have to go sparingly with it because it'll just keep going on and on. And the, tu the tubes as well. The tubes spaced out with the um, the long tubes spaced out with the with the round spacer beads. That also creates a lot of interest as well. Just like that on its own, there's a necklace you could thread them on, and just use those um, as a necklace without even any gemstones. Or if you have one really special gemstone, you could just put one of those in the middle, and it's a really it, it would also make a really lightweight necklace as well if you don't like wearing heavy jewellery. So there's so many different ways you can use these. They're really versatile. And across all your mediums as well. Of course, yeah. All yeah. mediums, all techniques, all, all, all sort of skill sets. We've got 50 left. 50 of these left. Mm. 
over allocated look at the call screens there are literally tons and tons of you there and look we should have started this auction by the way we did actually set it lo to lower than it should have been um 39.99 should have been the start of the auction i don't think any of us would have argued that that's an amazing deal even if we were to stop there uh, but at 19.99 they are skyrocketing out this is why i said i do believe they're going to be a one show wonder because regardless regardless of you know what technique you seem to do whether you prefer to do your your sea beading or whether you do your stretchies or whether you do your wire work you know you're going to use these you're going to use your spacer beads look at the quantity there that's all we have left literally we are live quantity right now a live quantity right now so please don't leave it in your baskets all around the world getting involved as well and um, well done to each and every single one of you so yes yeah, susan and warwickshire you got 3150 <laughs> on their way to you hang on maker you've got 4,200 wow. on their way to you. Well done. The bar, the tube ones, yes. The tube ones, yeah. These tubes, 50. No, you get 50. Wow. The 50, goodness me. <laughs> everything, everything in here, less than a pound. Wow. You get 50, I mean, but hang on a minute. Look at all of these as well. I mean, Look at the selection that you're getting. Two pence each. If you, even if just with your stretches, if you just put two in there on either side of a middle stone, I mean, that's going to cost you 4p extra. 4p. And it's going to be a whole different uh, piece of jewellery. Totally. It? Totally. Also because they, uh, spacer beads do tend to have quite large apertures in yes, the centre. Yes, they, they cover the knots really Cover well. the knots yeah. in, your, uh, yeah. in, in your stretches. We've got 29 of these left. They will, it will be, I can say this with absolute conviction, this will be a sellout. For, sell, for sure, because there are so many of you there. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but our call centre are amazing and they will get to you as soon as they possibly can. So do bear with us, Susan, uh, Maker, London, Lincolnshire, Gloria, Jay Marie, Catherine, uh, Kathleen, Julie, Ellen, Judith, Lorraine, new customer. You have to check out those baskets because whilst there's 21, 19 now, if you think as soon as, say, 10 people phone in wanting two, that's it, it's gone. Um, and we have hundreds of people calling um, at any one given moment of time on the li online um, or on the phone lines. Did you know here at Jewelry Maker, the bulk of our audience will actually shop online? So 80% of our audience yeah, will shop online. I do. I do, yeah. I do. I was a bit slow to the party, but yes, I do now. <laughs> um, I do. 17 chances remain. Uh, Pamela, you've got two. Patricia, you've just got two, so see my point. Olwyn's there. Hello to you, Vicky. Hello, Jay Marie, Judith, Tracy. Cheryl's just got two. Well done to you. Gloria, you've got yours. Uh, Elizabeth, Susan in County Down. Well done to you, lovely. Uh, Anne and Patricia, you need to check out because there's single oh. figure quantities. It will be literally a live sellout. I think this is going to be live on screen sellout. Like a race to the finish it line. It is. going to get I start going a little bit, a little bit horse racing <laughs> when, when it gets like this. I'm like, I'm going to make her come over to Sandra in Kent and the East Lothian and London and the Susan in Surrey and Susan in County Down. I do start going. <laughs> and Pam in London, she's over the finish line. As is Sarah in Cornwall, who's got three. Well done. Well done, Mary and Cardiff, Sharon in Lanarkshire. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. Congratulations to you all. Sorry, I don't want to shout at you. Just got a little bit carried away. Knew it was going to be an on-screen sellout. And that is exactly what it was. Well done, everybody. Congratulations to each and every single one of you. Right then. Oh, beautiful kits. Really excited. Are we going to start with this? Or the spinel? What do you think? Shall we start with this one because it is so limited? Okay. Now, Monica, if you've never bought one of Monica's booklets before, you really should. She's an amazing, amazing teacher. And I know how much work goes into these pages. It's quite a lot, yes. Yeah, hours upon hours upon hours. Now, um, also, if you've always wanted to start sea beading but haven't really know where to start, these kits, you've got all the perfect ingredients. The only thing you're really going to need is maybe a wildfire or a fire line and, and a beading thread. A be and a needle, yeah. And a needle, yeah. yeah. Sorry, needle, yeah. yeah. Um, and then all the instructions are within. So um, not only is it sort of the written word, it's also um, in a diagram. So people learn in different ways, Monica, don't they? You they know? do, yes. Of course. I'm quite um, picture illustrated. Yeah. Because um, I, I proofread a lot of things. Yeah. So um, if there's pictures, then I'll follow that much easier. Yeah. 
visually. Um, but you can literally, every single step, every single stage of this amazing necklace, and I don't want to fix hold on it too long because otherwise you uh, you can you can get the you can get the information but this comes with the purchase of your kit so the only thing you need to add is your beading needle and your wildfire now it comes in three different colorways this is the necklace well really it's plural isn't it necklaces is, yeah because Be i mean if you take this one off you can see you can wear just that one on its own beautiful like or you can wear just this one on its own take off the other one Oh, I love it. Yeah. Or, or you can, put the or two you can wear the two together. Absolutely. Do you know my favourite bit? Yeah. <laughs> I think that is absolutely beautiful. That's stunning. And you do have in there, can you see the little bees, little hematite bees yeah. that Very come with each of the kit? Now, should we start with this colourway? Yeah, let's start with this colourway. So this is all about the black and gold, which typically I've said that and it's the furthest one away from me. Uh, <laughs> I like to make things difficult for myself, don't I? And I'm going to show you the bee strand. Do you know what? I, I, I buy this kit, obviously, for Monica's booklet, but, but, but for this strand. You know, I only used half the bee strand in the, in the design, so you still have the other half left. You've still got loads of bees left? Yeah. Look at the detail. This is a genuine gemstone. It's a beautiful hematite that is carved into, uh, into your hematite. And um, those little bees are double-sided, so it doesn't matter if they actually pivot. Look at the detail, even down to the little, I don't know what you call them, the beady boppers, the little antennae. <laughs> They're little beady ante boppers. <laughs> <laughs> I always visualise that bees are wearing beady boppers. Um, so you get this lovely strand of hematite, which is 135 carats. And I, I will count the bees in a second. Then you're getting these beautiful colours of your seed beads. Um, I'll read the description of those because I'm not great with it. So you get silver lined gold AB 11 O's. Then you get your black my Yuki 11 O's and you get your bronze. OK, that's straightforward in your 11 O's, all of which are uh, 20 to 24 gram tubes. Still not done, though, because you have a little selection of your faceted glass. So I'm going to tip those out on the desk before, um, which really give that beautiful pop of vibrant yellow um, that you would expect within your lovely little bumblebees. So they are there we go. There we go. So these are um, glass, faceted glass, six mil and four millimeters. So the yellow are obviously six mil, the four mil are your bronze. You're getting 30 uh, each of those and obviously a lovely little bumblebees. But we're missing one very important defining feature of this kit. So not only do you get, do you get these beautiful, beautiful components, you're also getting the wealth of knowledge, um, the, tu uh, the tutorial of our fantastic, fantastic Monica. Now these are limited there's not a huge amount of these no, available no and uh, there's a few things i try to do in my booklets first i try to assume that no whoever's doing it hasn't done any seed beading before uh -huh. so i start with the you know thread on so many beads tied into a knot that sort of thing yeah um and the other thing i do is i try to put in several different techniques so you can take bits of it out and use it okay. in a design like for example you could take one of the uh hexagon shapes and turn it into an earring Oh, yeah. uh, or something like that. Or you can just use the, the tassel bit at the bottom, or you can just use the rope in a different design. So, so actually, the, yes, it's a project, but you're getting multiple different te yes. techniques within yes. that project. exactly, yeah. Amazing. We're at £49.99, but that is not your price tag. For the, for the, for the knowledge that you're going to get within those pages alone, I think that's absolutely amazing. But you do get all these lovely, lovely components. The perfect. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, this is... Yeah. Seven, seven components at least. Seven components well, at less, least. Less than four pounds. Less than four pounds per component. Yeah, yeah. So, that, so those hematite bees, which I've never seen before. No, I haven't. Outside of this kit. I'd pay twenty four ninety nine for the carved bees yeah. on their own. Shall I count them? Because you said, what, what about half the strand you've used in yeah. one of your, your projects? But you could always be a little bit more frugal. Of course, yeah. And I mean, if you, if you think about it, I've made the two necklaces. Um, I've used up almost all of the seed beads, but I did have enough left to make a pair of earrings, as I said before, which unfortunately I didn't bring them. But I made two more of the hexagons and I turned those into earrings. So I still had enough seed beads for that. Um, and I still had half of the uh, bees left over and quite a few of the round crystals as well. So if you take that price at twenty four ninety nine, and you consider this is two necklaces, that's £12.50 for one necklace. 
And then you still have these left over at the end. Yeah, it's twelve pound fifty per necklace. I'm just thinking about the tutorial. That's then, amazing. Then but you're getting all of those components yeah. as well. Yeah. All of the there's forty bees. that are hand carved. Oh, wow. <laughs> forty individual bees. I mean, can we can we can we, can we just yeah, twenty four ninety nine just for the bees on their own. That's sixty two p per bee. Per bee. <laughs> which is absolutely amazing. How many's left? Ah, okay, yeah. So you do need to be, uh, you do need to be quick dialing through. We've got a message as well coming into the studio. Hello, Wendy in Herefordshire. Oh, my neck of the woods. Uh, morning, Monica's booklets are absolutely the best. So easy to follow. Highly recommend. That's lovely. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's lovely. Um, yeah, I, I have to say, I've always said Monica's just one of the most amazing, amazing teachers. Um, so if you've never, ever, ever embarked on your seed beading journey, then have a go. All you need to do is get a beading needle. Yep. And what, wildfire? Wildfire, fire line. And away you go. I mean, Hello, Mikey, saying good morning, beautiful ladies and team. Oh. Monica, your jewellery never fails to leave me in awe of your incredible talent. Oh, oh isn't that you. nice? <laughs> it's, it's, she is amazing, absolutely amazing. Oh. They're just beautiful. And what I also love, Monica, is that they're so wearable as well. Yeah. Really wearable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's why I made them as two separate pieces, because each one on its own is, depending on what you're wearing it with, you can have a short necklace, a long necklace, but then if you want something really statement, then you can put them together. Go all out. Go all out. But I like the fact you could easily make, I don't know, you could do those big tassels as earrings. Yeah, you could. You do could. the hexagons as earrings. Yeah. Yeah. You could you could make bracelets. That's the thing. It's this, this is these are techniques that you can sort of customize at the same time. And you will have enough seed beads left over to make a pair of earrings or a, or just a rope bracelet, for example. You Lovely. could do that as well. Lovely. And um, we had fourteen. Single figure quantity. Uh, hello, Christine in Worcestershire. Say, uh, says, uh, and she says, sorry, uh, I have a few um, kits with Monica's instructions and they are brilliant. So clear and precise. <clears throat> Many oh. thanks, Monica. With very best wishes from Chris. Oh, um, just down the road. Well, actually, could be just up the road in our same county. Um, we're going to leave those final three with you. Congratulations, because we do have other colourways to bring you as well. Now, all of these kits come with Monica's booklet. And that is, to my knowledge anyway, the only way you can get hold of the booklet yes. is with the kit. Uh, and to be honest, save yourself the hassle. You've got all the ingredients there, plus you're getting the bees, yeah. which I do think are kind of like a defining feature of this design it is it is yeah i it mean is. that's why it's called the buzzing bee yeah, yeah well yeah that <laughs> that does make sense but of course after you've used up the kit you'll still have the booklet left so then you can use other beads and make it yeah because you get bees in silver and things like that so you could always always yeah, replace it let's do the blue always a popular one them around oh lovely oh beautiful so actually this that's way at uh, this time are oh, they're gorgeous Blue is always a very popular colour when it comes to your uh, to your jewellery. Um, you know the price point, so how many do we have? 50. Limited, limited, limited. Love the colour of the glass beads as well. They're almost yes. like a deep, like a deep plum, aren't grape, they? A grapey colour, yeah. Yeah, This beautiful. is one of those where usually when I make up something in different colours, I have a favourite. Yes. But this one it was, I made up the black one first and I thought, oh, that one's really nice. And then that's why that one went on the booklet because that was the first one that I finished. And then I made uh, the pink one. I thought, oh, no, that's my favourite. And then I made the blue one. Oh, no, that's my favourite. <laughs> well, if you get, I mean, let's be honest, £75, pounds, you can get all three kits. Yeah. Yes, you're going to have duplicates of the booklet, but that's not a bad thing because, you know, heaven forbid if you did lose anything. Um, but, I mean, that's a great price, even if it was just for the kit. Yeah. Just for the components yeah. on their own. Um, so with this, you get your, your, your beautiful little boot, uh, blue bees. They're pretty, aren't they? You say that very carefully. Blue bees. Blue bees. <laughs> Bl definitely pronounce the la. <laughs> la. Blue. Oh, hang on. It is blue. No, that one's in the. It pink. is. It is. That one's in the pink kit. Oh, those ones are in the pink kit. So blue bees. Good point. Yes, make sure you pronounce that right. <laughs> Alison, hello to you. Angela, Alwyn, Vera, you're there. Nadine, Pam, new customers getting involved as well. £24.99. pence. I'm happy for the bees on their own. Yeah. More than happy for those little bumblebees. Um, genuine gemstones again comes with the kit itself. And I've got... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I've got one more kit to bring you. Um, I, and this... Oh. It's hard. I normally will gravitate towards a gold, but I do really like this colourway. Yeah. It's so <laughs> pretty. 
It's very so, summery, this one, isn't it? Yeah, um, and I, I think the bee colour on these is, is really beautiful. Um, okay, so this is hematite, but with your multicoloured coating. Uh, you know where we are going in terms of its price point. So let me just bring that kit over there. I'm going to start with, there's the glass beads. You've got this really lovely, delicate pink, and you can almost imagine the bees buzzing around it, can't you? Look how pretty that is. Love it. Then you're getting your fuchsia in your faceted glass beads. You get um, 30 of each of those. Look at this colourway of sea beads. So pretty. Oh, and then you have your multicoloured, it's coated pink hematite, actually, to I be think described. These, I think these are my favourite bees, if we're just looking at the bees. They are sweet, <laughs> aren't they? Because you've got that almost like an iridescence that yes. you get within their wings. Yeah. Plus you get the booklet that is included within these kits. Do you know, Monica, I'd be happy at £24.99 for the booklet. Yeah, I mean, if you if you look uh, for patterns on, on Etsy or somewhere like that, that's 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 a reasonable price to pay for a necklace. Book. Yeah, because how long does it take to make something like this to do to well, for me, to do a book? It's a it's about a week doing nothing else, just that start to finish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's quite a long time. It is, yeah. Um, and you're not talking short days here, are no, you? No. You're talking like whole days, <laughs> solid days of work. Um, in the hive, twenty four ninety nine. Again, we only had a limited quantity of these remaining, so we've got. Um, a couple of other kits to bring you as well. So <clears throat> are we doing that now or? We'll get into them now um, so that you can be shopping whilst we're actually demonstrating. We'll stick with the bumblebee, shall we? Yeah. What's, I, I don't know this for sure, but I think maybe um, it was Alex Monroe that really started, maybe or maybe not, but um, using sort of your bees or certainly one of the most recognised bee designs, I think, in jewellery wear. Um, and I think they say on their website actually as being one of the most iconic. Now there is only 40 of this this bumblebee, um, and a lot of interest on pre-order. <clears throat> now let me just show you firstly this little chap. The detail that you have within this little bumblebee is amazing, um, even down to the wingspan. Look at that. Yeah. Um, what you might be able to spot on your TV screens if I put my fingernail just behind it, there's just a little peg. Yeah. That peg is waiting for your half-drilled button pearl. So all you need to do, and you'll see it in Monica's design in a second, is glue it into place. But if I tilt him this way, you'll also see that it is a fastening. So this you can, it's removable, it's interchangeable. It is, which is brilliant because you can change it from one necklace to the other. You can change the uh, sort of the orientation of your necklace. Um, you can put it in different places. You can put it in the middle of the necklace. You can put it on the side. Beautiful. Really lovely. Um, yeah, and it kind of almost gathers, doesn't it, the necklace it does. itself. It does, yeah. Um, then... Uh, seriously, Monica, you must have been very good to get these kits. Cause I mean, this is what I was talking about when I said sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous, this kit. Absolutely stunning. So you haven't got just one or two strands here. Seven strands of multicoloured spinel. I adore spinel for the reasons that we're seeing here on your TV screens. It is that beautiful paparazzi flash it's that constant performer and then when you lovingly coat it with beautiful treatment processes you can also see um, sort of a magical almost iridescence on the surface seven strands 160 carats on each of those strands wow that's amazing wow. isn't on it each one is that right am i saying that right three millimeters is that in total Either way, well, it's three a lot. mil, it's a lot, yeah. <laughs> three millimetre faceted rounds and you get seven strands. Each of those strands are 30 centimetres in their length. Yeah. So, I mean, again, it, when we admire your jewellery... Um, I mean, the necklace it, I made from this kit with the B on, Yeah. Uh, those, I just restranded them and I spaced them out a little bit with size 15 seed beads. Only because I think if you space them out a little bit, you can see even more of the sparkle. Yeah, I agree. So I've used, I've used six of the strands there because I used another strand for a bracelet and, and the earrings. But also, if I can turn it around for a second. I was going to ask you about that. So I've put it on a clasp, a multi-strand clasp like that. Okay. And the reason I did that is because you can wear it just as I've got it here. But with a multi-strand clasp, you can also give it a twist and then close the clasp. Ah, uh, lovely. So it's lovely. not going to untwist when you're wearing it. 
So I think that's the best way to do it if you do a multi-strand uh, necklace like this. That's a great idea. So then you can uh, create, well, something like this, yeah, basically. Exactly, exactly. And have your little bee hidden in amongst there. We're at £69.99. That means that each of these strands are £10 each and the bee is for free, oh, wow. which is crazy because that's a lot of sterling silver in that bee. Yeah. Um, you know, he's not, he's not small. If I, put, you know, if I put my hand behind the bumblebee, you can see, an idea, you get an idea of scale. You're getting this, and the pearl, let's not forget the pearl. Yeah. You're getting this entire beautiful, decadent, luxurious kit, seven strands of spinel and your sterling silver bumblebee, which by the way, wow. has a genuine pearl inside. I mean for 50 49.99 that would be the price for the bumblebee wouldn't it it would be yeah because he's he, he's a, there's a lot of silver in wow, him oh yeah a lot of sterling silver within him as well and then, uh, sorry no and, carry on and then the strands the strands are slightly different color coated which you can you can tell from the from the tassels it kind of gives you a clue what color coating is on each strand so you can use it in two different ways you can either use them individually and then have sort of more of a brownish tone to them or a blue tone or mm -hmm. Um, one is just um, black with like a silver silver sort of coating and then you can have slightly different shades depending on what, what you put it with. Or um, you'll see in the next kit um, that I did, uh, I just mix them all up and then it just sort of gives yeah, us sort of a, a very slight multicolour uh, effect which is oh, it was really beautiful. It's just can, I, can, can, I, can I just, because another one of the kits that we're bringing in this hour as well is some pearls. And black spinel and cultured pearls Definitely with that bee together. would just be the most beautiful. And on that basis, with that, with, 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 I don't know, because, because some of you might want to do that. We're going to take that price even lower. If you want the pearls, you can shop ahead and pre-order on those as well. Seven strands of genuine, beautiful black spinel, August birthstone, one of the most glamorous gemstones that's out there. And the sterling silver B, which is parve set and features a cultured pearl. Because so many of you are there, and maybe because a few of you would like to mix and match these kits across maybe the pearls as well, we've taken that into consideration. I tell you what, that bundle on its own, what the, what, what, what the, what? This Spinel bundle has sold on its own for £29.99. And yeah. guess what? Over a hundred of them. The bee on its own and the entire stock allocated sold out. At what price? Yeah. 29 Yeah. So we're already £10 less than what we should be paying for each of these items separately. I tell you what, if you buy your bumblebee, You're getting everything else for free with this kit. That's, uh, oh my goodness me. Wow. That's basically buy the bee and all the strands, seven strands wow. of spinel for free. Or you could say you have seven strands plus a bee. That's eight components. <laughs> that's five pounds. <laughs> five pounds. <laughs> Never in a million years would this beautiful bumblebee be anywhere near it's that price tag. Sterling silver is not plated. <laughs> no, no. And he's, he's, he's weighty it's as well. Substantial, yeah. You can see it's really simple. You just sort of open and close. If I put him back that way and flip him this way, open and close. Uh, it's kind of like a brooch clasp, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> so, and he just clips onto wherever you want him to be, if you like, on the necklace or maybe on the lapel of a, 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 of a coat. You could wear him that way as well. You can interchange him across different pieces of, yeah. of jewelry. <clears throat> and he would look amazing alongside the pearls that we've also got coming up. We've sort of considered that, and that's why Ross is taking it a little bit lower, just because he's like black spinel and pearls. It's a dream, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. An absolute dream. So you can shop ahead on those kits as well. They're coming up in a few moments' time. How many do I have of these then, Roscoe? 40. That's how many we've got left. 34 of you have this in your basket. I absolutely love this little bee component. I oh. think he's beautiful. I think, I think, by the way, buying team, we should be having him in. We should have a like dragonfly version. Yes. We should have a butterfly version. We could really go to town on this little and collection. And he's got a little sort of loop under his head as well. So if you just wanted to thread a, a, thread sort of a chain through there, you can wear him as a pendant as well. Oh, yes. So if I hold him that way, can you see just underneath his head? Yeah. Oh, yes. Look at the detail of him, though. 
or you could thread him onto a selling silver chain and then create a tassel which you then hang onto the, the clip if you wanted to. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then obviously this won't be, it's not going to be no, secure. It, it fits on there. But he lit, that just literally yeah, sits there. Beautiful. Look at the quality of that pearl. I mean, I, th I think we all agree $39.99 for this on its own is absolutely amazing. But you don't just get the bumblebee. You're also getting seven strands of your beautiful black spinel. Do make sure you check out, though, because we are down to single-figure quantities. Well done. Hertfordshire, Angela, Susan, Alison, Patricia, Tracy, Linda, Robert, Tracy, Tessa, uh, County Atrium, hello to you, Antrim, sorry. Uh, Hertfordshire, Sandra, you've got yours. I've got Sharon, Barbara, Olga, Julie, Nita, Carol, Angela, Dorset, Christina, Nicolette, Jacqueline, <laughs> loads and loads and loads of you there well done okay um which one next oh the other black spinel kit so basically it's exactly the same bundle in fact i might as well keep that one there yeah but with the celestial star yeah. this is beautiful it is absolutely beautiful so that's a genuine well, obviously sterling silver, but with white zircon, which is encrusted within, not zirconia. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, you have seven strands of your multicoloured spinel, all of which are three millimetres. I remember the first launch of these strands. Um, it was Claire McDonald and I, and we were back in, uh, back in Ivy House, and I launched a three mil faceted strand of black spinel. And immediately Claire was like, oh, I can, I can, do you want me to, do you want to challenge me out with that strand? And she made just a couple of simple stretchy bracelets. Yeah. We both wore them for <laughs> I don't know how long. I still have mine right now. Um, and I'm fairly sure they were about 14 pounds per strand. Right, yeah. When we so first launched right. your black spinel. Yeah. Sounds about right. It's, a, it's spinel. We've just done what? An amazing kit for $39.99. We're about to do another amazing kit. The spinel on its own has been $29.99. The star on its own, it's a big star and has a lot of sterling silver, has been $29.99. Today, you buy your bundle of sterling, uh, uh, of, sorry, of spinel, and you get the sterling silver celestial star for free. Oh, God. <laughs> so for those of you that were paying attention, you know where this is going to. Angela and Devon, straight on this one. Well done. Wow. Straight on this one. Actually, speaking of Claire, she had similar kits. Um, I think on the first of this month, she made some really lovely pieces of jewellery. So if you want to look back at that. Yeah, and we saw some, we, oops, we saw some on uh, Wall of Fame. Wall of Fame, yeah. yeah. As well, saw some of our lovely customers creating with it. I think it was Kathy, Kathy Lockett. Uh, um, I'd actually uh, created on the wall of fame with these kits. They are absolutely beautiful and I totally get that. It's one of those kits that I would get home and immediately want yes. to start working with. I mean, every time when I was working on the other kits as well, every time I moved the bus that I had this necklace on on my, on my desk, it was, I was like, oh, look how sparkly that yeah, is. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> like, absolutely beautiful. What's the technique on this necklace that you've made with this well, kit? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in the demo. <gasps> are you? You're going to demo this very piece? Yeah, because I thought you, you can go classic with these, but you can also go a little bit more contemporary. So I thought that that design was a little bit more. That's beautiful. Almost creates like a really lovely, almost chevron-like design. It does, yeah. yeah. Stunning. And it's uh, you know they you know they're definitely arranged just there rather yeah. than just threaded. You can see yeah. like they're, they're, they're exactly. arranged. Exactly. Well, that's why I went two different ways with the two different kits. So the one is is kind of uh, more organic, mm. and then this one I thought was a little bit more sort of planned out. <laughs> again, again, I'm just thinking out loud. Seven strands of spinel yeah. at twenty nine ninety nine, but you're getting a huge piece of that. Um, that beautiful star was so popular in jewellery design, yes. especially as we sort of lead towards Christmas. I mean, that could be looked at quite fest in a festive way, but um, also the sentiment behind yes. the star components. Definitely. Definitely, yes, yes. Twenty nine ninety nine. You can buy the star on its own if you want, because we always get that question: Can I buy the star on its own? Yeah, you can, but guess what? It'll be twenty nine ninety nine. So you might as well get the kit where you get seven strands of spinel alongside it. Yeah. Yes, you can buy the black spinel on their own. You can get this bundle of black spinel, but guess what? It'll be £29.99. Um, or you can get the kit and get both of the, oh, well, all of these components for that same price tag. Well done. Um, I've still got the pearls to bring. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those as well. And any questions that you have for lovely Monica, then do feel free uh, to message us in the studio. So I'm really excited. So. 
this is the beautiful necklace that Monica is going to be demonstrating. Um, and I'm really intrigued to know. Well, it's really simple, actually. It's just a right angle weave. Um, ah. The same way as you make the, uh, the beady beads. Yeah. Except you don't join it up at the end. So I'm just going to show you how to do it with a one, one needle and also how to do the little turning at the bottom. Amazing. Okay, over to you. I'm just going to move this over a bit before I knock sure. it over. <laughs> so, um, so you've got your little star and then you've got all your, your spinel. So uh, I just used a beading needle and some fire line. You, you can use um, monofilament even for this if you wanted to, but I find it easier always to use uh, a needle with a fire line. Maybe it's just because that's what I'm used to. But um, also the fire line is really, really thin, so you can get it through uh, your smaller beads uh, several times without any problem. So I've just threaded in, um, you would need quite a long piece, probably uh, two arm lengths uh, to do each side of the necklace. You might even need to join in uh, to that as well. So just thread on as much, as much thread as, as you're comfortable working with. And then you're gonna start at the, in the middle where the star is. So you're not starting at the clasp, you're starting in the middle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up two of your spinel I pick them up, you can pick them up in different ways. You can leave them on the thread and then take them off the thread and then thread them on that way. But for this design, because I sort of need them one at a time, I took them all off and then I just picked them up the same way as I would pick up uh, my seed beads, really. So bring those down. Then I'm going to go through the loop on one end of the star. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up another two of these. You just chase them around for a little while <laughs> until you find the hole, which is a lot easier when you can look at it closer. So that, mm. there we go. You're doing this at arm's length. I am, you? yes. Okay, so then you're going to bring those down and then you're going to tie these into a knot. Okay. So just tie them into a double knot like that. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to go through the next bead, but don't put it too tight because you don't want to um, pull the knot into the bead because if you have a knot inside the bead, uh, it's going to be difficult to go through that bead a few more times. Actually, I'm going to tie another knot because it's not holding very well. So you can do a surgeon's knot as well. So put, put it through the loop twice and then that'll hold it securely like that. Okay. So then you're going to go through the next bead. And then actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through all of them again. But as I say, don't pull the knot into the bead. Just go through all of them because if you'll notice, uh, I have this loop of beads and I have the loop on the star. Let me turn it over so it's the right way around. Okay, so my loop of beads goes this way around. So it stands side on to the star. So we need to find a way to make it sit flat against the star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the beads again. But when I get to the loop where the star is, what I'm going to do is... So initially, my thread here where the star is goes through that way, okay? So this time, I'm going to turn it onto its side and I'm going to go through the star loop in the other direction to the way it was going before. Because that way, and then I'm going to carry on going through the rest of my beads. Because then this way, you've got one thread that goes over the top of the of each side of the loop on the star, and you've got one thread that goes underneath. So if I show it to you in a second. So can you see? So I've got the thread going through the loop that way from front to back, and I've got it going through from the back to the front. So that makes your beads sit in the same direction as the loop on the star, okay? And then I'm gonna work my way across. So this is gonna be the bottom end of my necklace, okay? The top end you would do the same way, but I'm gonna show you the bottom because the bottom's got the little turn in it. So I'm going to carry on and I'm going to keep going until I get to this bead here, okay, which is where I'm going to carry on with my necklace. Actually, I might use this as the other side because that bead's closer. So in that case, I'm just going to go through to this bead here, which is where I want to carry on with my needle, with my, with my beading. So just keep the tail thread out of the way. Right, so now I want to carry on with my beading in this direction downwards. So now I'm going to pick up three beads. So as I say, this is just a normal, it's a right angle weave or a ladder weave. Um, the same as what you would use if you were making a beady bead. I'm just using one needle instead of using two to do the same technique. So I'm picking up three and then I'm going to go through that same bead that I'm coming out of, but in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go this way around. 
Okay, so that creates my sort of second set of beads there. And then I'm going to carry on around the beads until I get to this bead, which is the direction that I want to be going. So you always want to be coming out, before adding new beads, you want to be coming out of the bead that is going in the direction that you want your beading to go in. Okay, there. So I'm going to add another one of those. So pick up three more beads again. So one, two, three beads. And then again, my thread is going through that bottom bead in that direction, so I'm going to go in the same direction again to create another loop. Okay, so I've got three sets of loops there. Just make sure you pull your thread tight so there's not too much thread showing. So now what I want to do, I want to carry on with my beading up this, in this direction. So I don't want to carry on straight again. I want to turn this way. So all you need to do then, again, is to come out of the bead that's pointing in the direction that you want to carry your beading on. So I'm not going to come across to this bead as if I was going straight. I'm going to come to this bead here to make a turn. Okay. So I'm going to carry on going through that circle of beads that I just made, but I'm only going to go to this bead here, which is on the side. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. So again, I'm going to pick up three beads. Two, three, and then I'm going to make a loop again. So this bead I'm coming out of, my thread is going downwards. So I'm going in the same direction again. Okay, so now you can see that my beading is, is turning in that direction there. So now I want to carry on straight. So I need to carry on through my round of beads until I get to that bead, which is pointing in the direction that I want to travel in. Okay. And then again, same thing again. So it's just repeating the same thing again, adding three beads each time. Um, uh, there's two, the third one, and then come around. Just like that. So you can see now my beading has turned in that direction, just like that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side here. And then at the top, you don't need to turn, you just make the straight pieces at the top uh, to go up that way until you have your two sort of bands. Uh, Shall we pop the necklace in, uh, on the board so we can yes, see? Yes, of course. So if I show you the middle of my necklace. Actually, what I think uh, I did on the necklace, actually, is I only used three beads in the first circle. Because if you look at this one, um, can you see I started with four beads there when I was showing you just a second ago? Mm -hmm. But actually here, I only used three beads because otherwise they would have gotten in each other's way. So do the same thing as I showed you, but just start with three beads there. Can you see those three beads? Yeah. So one, two, three, circle of three beads. And then you carry on from the bead that is pointing away from your star, come down to here, and then you turn just like I did here, and then you go up that way. And at the top as well, also start with three beads. Okay, so circle of three beads. And then you carry on from those three beads there until you have um, your shape. Now, I did count how many loops I did, but obviously that will vary depending on how long you want your necklace to be. So just lay it out on the desk like that, and you can work out how many loops you want to do on each one until, if you sit your necklace flat on the, on the board, it will sit quite similar to how it's gonna sit around your neck. So you can kind of get an idea of the lengths that you need to make. Those spinels are insane, aren't they? They are, yes. Well, so beautiful. One. There we go. Just like that. So you can see that it sits quite similar to how it's going to sit around your neck yeah. when it sits on the desk. So you can work out the lengths that way. And then at the top, all I did was um, I joined the two of them. So when I have my two strands next to each other like that, I, I joined them up going around in a circle. So if you see where well, you've got your beads touching each other there, I went around there. Um, over here at the top to make a circle and put a bead in the center mm -hmm. to sort of bring them together and taper them together at the top and then just join them to a jump ring and a clasp at the top. So it's actually a really simple technique. It's just, you know, the same, as I said before, the same as your, your um, beady bead. You just keep going with it. Yeah, instead of actually sort of turning it round, exactly looping around, it's it's and stunning, Monica. As make, per usual, you can make different shapes as well because obviously you've got the four beads. <coughs> so whichever way you want to travel, 
um, and you're beading, you've got your four directions there, so it makes it really easy to turn because you just carry on from a side bead instead of from the... So you could almost create like a, like zigzag, a zigzag effect. Yes, of course. Oh, that would yeah, be For beautiful. a bracelet, that would look great as well. I mean, if you look at the bracelet I made, this one, if I just bring it over to the overhead, maybe. So this is the same stitch again. Oh, amazing. Okay, so I've got the same stitch on the two ends. Uh, and I carried on in the middle, but then I added squares to the side. So I added three more squares to the side, and then two more, and then one more. And then that's how I got the sort of the, the square effect there. Beautiful. Look at that. So all you, you, you're basically using your spinels in a manner that we would use a Mayuki or a glass exactly. bead, effectively. Yep. Exactly. Um, thank you so much, oh. as always. I mean, you've got so many beads in these kits. I mean, you've got about 100 beads on each of those strands. Yeah. So, you know, you can use them like seat beads because they're just Definitely. on and on. <laughs> so that means you've got about 700 yeah. spinels exactly. in that one kit exactly. for 24.99 and also the sterling silver yeah. components. Now, we've still got another kit to bring you that would look absolutely amazing. Not just with the spinels. Can you imagine these with Monica's booklet kits? Oh. So maybe you could put a few oh. pearls in the bottom. Yes. <coughs> that would be pretty. Now, you don't just get the one strand. You're actually getting three strands of beautiful white freshwater cultured pearls. They vary in size. You've got four to five mil, which you can see oh. here. They're slightly smaller, um, really petite. I wouldn't call them seed pearls, but they are the smaller size. Six to seven, and you've got seven to eight millimeter, all 38 centimeter strands. So well over a meter of genuine cultured pearls. But we don't just want to bring you that. We're also going to bring you one of the most beautiful, beautiful connectors. Um, it, it, it can be curved. Do be careful because these are gemstone set and it's set with none other than stunning topaz. Look at the quality of that oh, topaz. Oh, wow, look at that. It would be gorgeous alongside your spinel kit, but also it would be amazing um, with the first kit. And let me just show I know what, Monica, I, yes, could, I can tell what you're say. thinking. <laughs> Um, look, if you put, if you turn it on its side, I can read your thoughts oh, there, yeah. so lovely. Um, if I flip it on my on the side, you can see that you don't just have the connection points at top and bottom that you would do, say, with a normal connector. Yeah. You've actually got multi sort of uh, uh, apertures, I suppose. That, that's really easy to make a multi-strand necklace with that because you just go through. It the, keeps the holes in yeah, the and it keeps yeah. them in lane, doesn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. Effectively, um, and there's what one, two, three, four, four uh, um, apertures running through this this topaz connector. So three strands, genuine topaz in nine two five sterling silver. Really beautiful design, don't you think? Super, super, super high end. A real peachy colour to these pearls. I love that. At the overtone. Right, okay, straight away, we're at 25 pounds per component. That's cultured pearls and genuine topaz. These aren't CZs, it's topaz. Wow. It's colorless topaz. Plus, yeah, if you wanted to create that almost, uh, um, I mean, I could, I, I could name probably countless different uh, um, historic figures who have all chosen to wear sort of the multi-layered pearl necklaces. Yes. I, I guess Jackie Kennedy is probably one of the first that springs to mind with her sort of tr quite traditional three strand gathered together by beautiful diamonds. At 99.99, three strands of beautiful culture pearls and your topaz connector. How many do we have of these available? We've got a hundred. Three strands piece of silver with topaz how about okay i'll say this fast there's a hundred of these quantity is making uh, is impacting the price in a good way how about 10 pounds per component imagine your pearls mixed in with your beautiful spinel well do you know what i would do <laughs> go on tell us i would get this kit and i would get maybe the spinel kit with a b yes and then i would make a three strand pearl necklace using the connector and the top three holes on the on the spacer that you've got there nice uh, and then on the bottom hole you could either you could either hang the bee yes or you could make a tassel using the spinel and hang that ah oh. oh, lovely lovely Be and that and that's achievable <laughs> for what what well it's significantly less than 100 pounds oh, if you yeah, get yeah. those two kits which are luxurious kits 
10 pounds per component. These are not cubic zirconias. It is the sizable colorless topaz in that beautiful graduation, all that sterling silver, plus then you actually have that multi-row connector within. And you're getting the three strands of beautifully lustrous. Look how reflective this pearl is. Beautifully lustrous cultured pearls, all for 39 pounds and 99 pence. Yes, if you manage to get hold of any, any of the spinel kits, they would look absolutely stunning alongside that too. Let me just grab hold of one of those. Because you can see pearls and black spinel, I just think they're a dreamy together, aren't they? And we are coming into the season where, you know, you get your, your posh frocks out yes. and it's all very much the season of celebration and whatnot. You might have parties to go to or just because, you know what, you don't have to save it for a special event. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh. Quite 1920s, isn't it? Yeah, love it, which beautiful. is actually one of my favourite eras yeah, in too. terms of jewellery design. <laughs> yeah. Love it, love it, love it. And don't forget that is Topaz just there. If you manage to get hold of the little bee, where's he gone? There he is. Hang on. He's not so little, actually. So it, it's a perfect combination because he's got the culture pearl as well. And of course, the. That is pretty much the same colour pearl, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And then you've got your lovely little gemstone set he's got a little little gemstone oh, set bottom perfect and perfect. wings they look beautiful together don't oh. they as if you can buy all of these components for less than 100 pounds well i'll leave it with you make sure you check out those baskets lovely jewelry makers and do stay with us because like i said we have a very exciting show more from monica in her master class that's happening at 12 o'clock today but right now i'm really excited about this next couple of uh, um, next couple of hours we've got your coveted collection coming your way that is with the, with the uh, beryl family so you have your himalayan beryl you've got your aquamarines and also your morganites all coming up these are creme de la creme the best that we have ever 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 seen dave troth is going to be joining me for those amazing opportunities but also yes ross uh-huh um also we've got a few additional opportunities coming up the sterling silver etc so don't go anywhere monica and i'll be back after this <laughs> It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Make sure you go to our website, www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page jewelry maker happy to help buying with jewelry maker couldn't be easier here's a quick overview of how to get involved 
When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. Super, super excited about the opportunities that you have before you over the next couple of hours. We were talking about uber, uber, uber high end. And I think most certainly, we say those two words, high end, we will absolutely immediately think about our number one top selling gemstone here at Jewelry Maker. That is the joy, the splendor, the enigmatic jadeite. And there is no better person to bring you these opportunities to air than our very own, our wonderful Dave Trough. Well, thank you, Al. And uh, good morning to every single one of you uh, that is tuned in uh, with us right now. It is the, the coveted collection, which, as you said, is quite rightfully our, our high-end offering. There's nothing more high end than the, the most expensive gemstone on the planet. We're talking about Taipei Jadeite. It is the most expensive gemstone in, in, on the planet. You know, at the high end, at mm -hmm. the imperial end, is $3 million a carat. Yeah. Okay, it is one of the most coveted gemstones, the most desirable gemstones, and right now, one of the rarest gemstones on planet Earth. I've been saying for about six months that it's going to be very difficult for us to source Taipei for you guys, and that we might have to diversify into Type B and Type C. And that's not going to necessarily mean that it's more affordable. Because when I was in Bangkok um, two months ago, about, maybe just less, I was trying to source Type B for you guys here at Jewelry Maker. And I met with a wonderful vendor um, who, who is from China. And she had some wonderful, um, incredible pieces that we would love to bring to you. This is one of them, an incredible bangle. Um, and you can see, it's, called, it's a natural jade. It's certified 2017, but it's clarity treated. So it's Type B. Okay. It's polymer yep. impregnated. And I've shown you this before. But I want you to understand the, the wholesale price for this, okay, the market price, which is 220,000 Thai bar. I might just need the clicker, sorry, Ross, my fault. There it is, 220,000 Thai bar. And just so you can understand the, the actual value of that, that's five grand. Wow. 5,223 pounds two months ago. And, and you think about how fortunate we have been now to offer our collectors yeah. type A which is the only material that carries value long term. You know, as pretty as that is, as beautiful as that is, in, re in all actual reality, it carries no value long term because, mm -hmm. of course, it is treated. This might be our final offering of Taipei Jada. Not this show, but this year. Okay, yeah. and I've explained the same to our collectors over next door at Gemporia. I know I'm meant to be joining you right now for a collection of a wonderful Himalayan barrel, which is ex extremely rare. 
and beautiful and desirable as part of the coveted collection. But when we hear you know, news stories, when we hear what's happening, because we're live and reactive, we're not some infomercial that's filmed on the outskirts of London six months ago and played on ITV at 2 a.m. Because we're actually here and we are moving and we're dynamic and we're reactive. If we have to pull a planned show, then we will. And that's exactly what we've done. Yep. So I'm here to talk to you about Beryl. And I said, let's bring you guys some incredible Jedi. And I've been mentioning last week about what's actually happening in Myanmar right now. Mm -hmm. and what is happening is the mines are closed. So the actual mines, the government have, have released a statement, they have closed the only mines on earth that produce wow. this wonderful material. And that changes everything because even when it was the most expensive gemstone in the world, there was 20 tons, literally 20 tons. I've never said to you, it's going to disappear. I've said, look, once the markets resume, we're going to be priced out. But right now it's disappeared and we're priced out. Wow. So the, 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 the dynamic exists that 20 tons of jadeite crosses the border every single season from Myanmar to China. When we talk about the jadeite market, we're talking about China. Mm -hmm. That's the reality. Of course. It's where you buy your boulders from, your rough, is Myanmar. That's a different season. Where the Chinese vendors, the carvers, the jewelry houses buy their jade from is the jadeite market in China. Yeah. Right? And quite, quite literally, quite honestly, if you were to walk down into this market any time over the last 50 years, there are tables of incredible Taipei jadeite laid out. And I'm talking like million dollar pieces, $10,000 pieces. Uh, four hundred dollar pieces, you know, all of that incredible material. These are these are the tables I think I've seen you you stood, stood in front of. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now, the only thing that exists is Type B and Type C. Wow. And the price for Type A, it's li quite literally in the very definition of the word, it's priceless. They will not sell Type A. They're holding it back. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to share with you a clip of film. I've been promising to to give you the market update straight from China. This was filmed days ago. It's taken a while to get it all edited together for you guys. Obviously, we've had to have it translated into English because it is in Mandarin. This is Sally Hewer who provides the jade I'm bringing you today. And she, I said to her, when she told me the news, it was on Monday, last Monday, a week ago, I said, you need to film something. You need to address our collectors because Sally Hewer is the person that's, well, forget me, she's the one that's responsible for the incredible collections you've yep. got. And I said, you're telling me, that's fine, but I'd rather you tell the collectors. So she's filmed it, her team have, have sent me the translation, we've edited it together, and she's also sent some footage. And there will be a part in this clip of film where you've got the jadeite market on one side of the screen in 2021 with all the incredible millions of dollars of type A jadeite, and then the jadeite market in 2022 right now, which is, it looks like the same amount of jadeite, but it is type B and type C. But you don't need to hear it from me. What I am gonna say though, please pay close attention to what she's saying. You'll be reading along. And when we come back, I'm going to give you the most limited but incredible offering of Taipei Jadeite. This is Sally Hua. Uh, Dawei, you want to show me to give you a message. I want to let you know that the Yuquang is now officially closed. And some of the materials can easily go over the border and enter our market. But now it's already closed. There's no fake gold that can leave the market. 我们只提供我们的老矿翡翠来供国际出口，但因为我们不能把价格恢复到原来了，在最近的几个星期里，这个价格先是翻了两倍，然后又是三倍，呃，现在呢还没有降下来。当地的预期市场现在只提供 B 货和 C 货，这种材料比我之前给您提供的 A 货要贵。我们还有 A 货，但是即使是在本地，我们也不进行售卖了。呃，这与所这对于所有的玉石经销商来说都是一样的哈。这是历史上我们第一次如此的缺乏翡翠，呃，价格非常的不稳定哈，我们都买不到了，这是非常恐怖的啊，这是我们以前也看到过很多次了。我对您收藏家们的建议是呢，在市场上来获取少量的翡翠，因为它真的会消失。我们已经看到了第一次看到这种情况，对吗？第一次在我的生活中买不到翡翠了，呃，我希望这种情况能够得以好转。否则呢，我们将是终结翡翠的一代，买不起翡翠的一代。This is it. This is the most important、um, programming we've ever done. It wasn't planned. It isn't meant to be here today, but it is here. Four thousand years of history with jade. Eight hundred years history with Taipei jadeite jade. Yeah. The the the, the, the top stone, the the king of jade, and she's literally saying, forget. The Western market. She's saying that literally, if the situation doesn't change, it's the first generation、yes. in Chinese history that will never get to own jade. 
or at least type A, type B, type C, okay, but type A JDAC. And we have this opportunity because of this tiny moment of, of, of opportunity that we had where we managed to secure some JDAC. And if you widen it out to the 4,000 year history of JDAC, mm -hmm. this is like a frame. Oh, totally. It's, 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 so, it's, it's so minuscule, yeah. this offering. And you, you might look at it and go, we see jade a lot. Yeah, okay, you've had a year of jade, type A jade. And you've had 800 years without it. <laughs> that, that's the reality. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to bring you everything I've got right now. The material that I absolutely know, you've just heard from the person that I buy jade out from, I'll never be able to get for you again. She's saying, she is literally saying, we're not selling type A jade and we're not buying type A jade In fact, I'm just going to go through again. This is, I'll, I'll read this first and then we'll read through the video again. But she said to me, the jade mines are closed, so there is no jade out mining as of this last month. I, I brought this to you before I could edit that video together. She says there is nothing in the market here in China. Even her team are now almost exclusively working in type B, and the prices are more than the previous type wow. A. They're more than the previous type A to me. I'm not selling any type A for my inventory because the prices are sky high, and all vendors now are holding back material. They're not selling it. They cannot replace it. Is this her saying to you, Dave, it's been good, good while it lasted? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 100%, yeah. And I've been, I've been telling you that this moment's been coming. Yeah. This is the official statement out of Myanmar. It's in their national newspapers. Jade mining in all the provinces where jade comes from has been uh, banned. There isn't zero jade mining. There isn't 20 tons to nothing. It's just stopped overnight. Wow. Okay? She says, we're not, we're not buying anymore because it's far too expensive and she doesn't think that it's sustainable. Um, she goes on to say the situation here is very bad if you're a buyer and very good if you're a seller. Guys, I'm a seller. I'm a seller of JDOT right now. And it's, you know, she's saying it's very good if you're a seller, it's very bad if you're a buyer, and you're a buyer. We're going to turn around the dynamic. It's, this is going to be amazing for you. Because we're the only uh, person holding JDOT right now, the only person that will offer it to you at the deal we got it for, which makes zero business sense. She, she literally says it's unsustainable. We're not buying it anymore. Very, very uh, good if you're a buyer. Salah, very bad if you're a, a buyer. She goes on to say, and I want to read this to you because I, everyone on next door on our other channel has heard this. I brought um, a brand new collection of Olmec Jade yeah. to our collection on Wednesday evening next door mm -hmm. as part of our birthday. And she said, two months ago, literally two months ago, eight weeks, I could buy and sell a top Olmec, right, the, the best Olmec material, for like a mid-range price of a Myanmar material because you know it's not as revered okay. as the Burmese material. She says, and now it's the most expensive in the market. Wow. It's the only material being mined because Guatemala mining isn't banned. So it's the only material being mined. And she says, it's the only jade in the market and they're asking silly prices. And, and this is just how it's affected Olmec. Imagine how it's affected the material that's banned. This is the material they can still get. And I'm just going to be honest, I'm going to tell you about what I pay for Jada. I'm going to let you know right now. I've got no problem hiding this. We don't make big margins on Jada. We make tiny margins. Yeah. You know that. I can't give you a number, but in two months, pieces that I would sell to you are Blue Jade for, say, $200. Mm -hmm. That would be more than $2,000 today for my stock. Wow. So maybe, maybe one of the strands or something. Yeah. That I, maybe, maybe for cost. Maybe we sold it for 249 or whatever, but yeah. we, we would have acquired that. Not, not particularly jewelry maker. She's talking about gems here, but whatever. Say I paid $200 cost for it, yeah. and we bring it, you know, we don't even sell it for $2,000. Now I can't buy it for $2,000. <laughs> yeah. That's the reality. She says, this is the situation right now. It's the reality. And I'll be honest, you know Jake very well. Yeah. Right? Jake Thompson, our uh, commercial director. Okay? I think he goes by the name Gemstone Investor but he is our commercial director here. Mm -hmm. That's his official job role. So he has to explore, his job role is to explore commercial opportunities, right? So he works with, with other networks, other vendors, okay? Because we're a manufacturer as well. And so we work with the networks in North America, in Eastern Europe, around the world. Mm -hmm. We travel a lot and go and, we go and sell on other networks, okay? Yep. So they come to us and they order like a collection. They'll be like, we really like your Tanzanite. We'd like you to come and do a show and host it. And Jake will get that all yeah, set you, up. Yeah, you've been to and America. Absolutely. And, and we'll go on and we'll, we'll bring that material to vendors in America on behalf of another network. Well, they've been in touch with Jake over the last six months saying, look, we want some of that incredible jade out that Dave's getting because we have amazing relationships. And Jake's saying, saying to me all the time, price up a collection, you know, see what, see what we can do and we'll offer it to the American networks. Okay. So they wanted to do that. And she, uh, the, and she basically said, and I brought a gold project next door, jade in gold. Okay. Okay, and she said, the gold project we have worked on is something we will never offer again. That was pulled from years of rough, and we can't waste that material now. She says, if they are serious, this is the American network, about having that, 
I would have to buy new, and the price for the size and quality would be over a thousand US dollars today. If this if this is something you still wish to per, uh, pursue, please let me know. We cannot provide quantity. Would one of a kind pieces work, right? So I said to Jay, I said, mate, that, that material that you've told them is like two hundred dollars is now like a thousand dollars. Okay. Um, and Jake's gone back to the network, and Jake came back and said, fine. They're all right with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because because it's, because, still... because it's still the best value yeah. in the world for Taipei Jadeite. This material, every single carving in front of you, there's four carvings in front of you, every single one of those should be over $5,000. Wow. Right. And that's, the, the, I mean, they're huge carat weights. Yeah, massive. They're translucent. You've also yeah. got the, the intricacy of the carving. If we can, I want to, one more time, and then I'm going to open up everything. You can get whatever you want, and we're going to do incredible deals, even though I know I can't replace it. And I'll be really honest, there is anything, any jadeite that is currently on a boat that is coming to us that we've already ordered will arrive. Okay? So mm -hmm. you might have a bit, a bit of jadeite in November. Yep. And I've said the same to our collectors next door. Yep. But there is no new jadeite. That I can't make any more orders. What, this has changed in a week. Anything that's already left China is on a boat. It will arrive, and we will honor those incredible deals we got. But we can't make I can't go to Sally and go, I want some more. Well, Please no, this is more. global. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you through this. So we're not going to have the sound. I'm just going to read along with you so you can understand. I wanted her to film this for you. I'm going to play it for you right now, and I'm going to read it to you. So it's the global Jadeite market update. And Sally's saying, David, you have asked me to film a message for your collectors, okay? Uh, which is, I want to let collectors know that the jade mines are now officially closed. This is the market. There is still some material entering the market across the border for a little time, but that's now stopped. There is no Jadeite leaving Myanmar. Wow. We only provide our old mine jade for international export because we cannot replace the price in recent weeks, first doubled and then tripled, and right now, it is not coming down. That's the, the reality. The local jade markets, can we just pause that a sec? Right, the local jade markets here are only offering type B and type C, and that material is more expensive than I provided type A to you. We, sorry, Adam, we can continue to play. On the left is, is last year, that's all type A. On the right is, look, type B, um, and, and in a moment you'll see this material, that really bright red material, it's type C. Yeah. Um, I still have type A, which, pause it, sorry, Adam, because I forgot to read this. I still have Taipei, but we're not selling, not even locally. So it's not even selling in China wow. to the, 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 the market that pays the most. Um, this is the same with all jade dealers. We are just offering treated goods until we know if situation improves. Thank you, Adam. This is the first time in history that we are starved of jadeite. The prices are unsustainable. Even we can't buy. It is many, many times what we have seen previously. My advice to your collectors is to get what little in, is in the market, because this will disappear. We have seen this here, first time we can't buy Taipei in my life. We hope the situation gets resolved. If it doesn't, this could be the end for jadeite for this ger generation. It will be the first generation that can't afford jadeite. That is even, so pertinent. It, it, her face, you can yeah. see almost... I mean, I don't need It's a somber to... moment. It is. It, it is. Anxious. That's her life. I was going to say, she's, she looks quite anxious. Yeah, well, that's her life. You know, this is yeah. it. I mean, like, imagine, imagine if, um, yeah, this is our life. Mm -hmm. Not just Jade Up, but everything we have. Imagine if, um, you know, our team came in and said, yeah, there's no more gemstones. There's just no more gemstones. That's the reality. Changes everything. Everything. Um, so that's why I'm not bringing Himalayan Beryl right now. This is important for you as collectors. I've been telling you for a week, I am going to share with you the news. You've seen the official statement out of wow. Myanmar. We have priceless material. Forget, oh, how much is it? I know I just said $5,000, it's priceless. I cannot buy this. I cannot buy this. No one in China can buy this right now. Anyone who's got jadeite, amazing. For you guys who got jadeite, amazing. We're going to bring you this collection. It's, it goes against everything that anyone else should be doing, but it, is, it defines what Jewelry Maker is all about. And we often say it, and this is proof. This is not someone building a wall around a Tanzanite mine. This is the end of jadeite. And we are literally looking at the first generation that might not ever be able to afford type A jadeite. Wow. Okay, and you are the first generation here in the West that has access to type A jadeite. I don't know where you want to start, Ross, but I'm telling you right now, you're not ready. Because when I showed this clip of film last week, about well, two days ago, it's literally 48 hours old, when I showed it next door, we had an unbelievable jade offering. It was, it was all, all old material. Yeah. Nothing was brand new. But when I hear that news, I'm going to bring you everything I've got. 
and it sold out in about 90 seconds. Of I'm course. talking in total, in total, that like we had like 18 pieces, some of them had 50, some of them this. I reckon in total there was 1,000 yeah. Jada opportunities. It sold out in 90 seconds. Of course, because our viewers... I've, we have collectors, Al. You probably yeah. hear from them as well. That I've, I've got collectors like, you know, like Sonia, like Caroline, who's been collecting since child. Yeah. These are all you guys. Suja. You know, I've got, yeah, Suja, we've got so many of you that have been collecting, some of you since you were children, some of you just with us, and um, have like almost 200 pieces of Taipei Jade. Yeah, which is wonderful. And, and you hear that news, and we bring you this material. You're never going to see this again. This is like, wow. this is that right there. This Pixu, this incredible, wonderful, auspicious, massive carat weight jadeite carving. If you just put that on that black board for me, okay, that could be photographed in Bonhams right now. Totally. And that's it. One of the last jadeites to leave China. Do you know something has just dawned on me as well? Go on. Everybody that collects. Everyone that collects, yeah. Bringing it closer to our... But also, I'll be honest, everyone... There is going to be a massive audience tuned in right now. Yeah. Like it's not just jewelry makers. You're going, you're going to see names that you don't usually see. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to see names, um, and we're going to see our, our you know, collectors from uh, across the, the 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 hallway, which is Gemporia. Mm -hmm. You're going to see everyone. You know, we are a family-run enterprise. You know, we have we have a million customers. Yeah. Unique customers. Nine hundred twenty-five thousand customers we've had in eighteen years, which jewelry maker wow. is part of. We ship to twenty-seven countries. I had people yesterday, when I brought the last of Gemporia's jade out, as part of our final day of the birthday, um, had a lady called Jessica in Nevada who said, I sent my alarm at uh, 4 a.m. this morning to join this show. That's the reality. Hazel. Absolutely, I will do, 100%. That's the kind of level of access you get. You walk into a jewelers in Bond Street or New York and they have a priceless jade out like that. Are they, are they gonna let you video call? one of the most important jadeite dealers in the world? Are you going to be plugged into the market? Are you going to understand what's happening? This is what Jewelry Maker is all about, OK? We're not afraid to rip up the rule book. You see the, the clip of uh, whatever it is behind out where it says coveted, which is yeah. a wonderful new high-end collection. That's great. That is amazing. But I'm telling you right now, this is far more important. And this is why we're here doing it right now. This is your opportunity Wow! for every single one of you. And, and Ross, just so you know, we have not capped anything. If the trade come in and buy 15 of these, it's, it's open to everyone. Do you want to start with this one? Let's do a, yes. third, let's do a minute clock to open the pre-orders on there are There's less than 100. OK, well, they're gone. I'm telling you right yeah. now. Like, regardless, you could tell me we have 500. The money oh my no God. one is ready for what's about to happen, truly. I, I, I have I, an inkling. I, believe, I, I, I have an inkling because I've spent all weekend with our collectors across the hallway offering everything I've got of Jade Act. Like some pieces I just had two of. I just brought them to everyone. And I'm doing the same for you guys. The China is starved of Jade Act. Jade Act is about to disappear. There, there is the wonderful Pix who sat on the gold coin. The gold coin rests on his back. You can see his wonderful antler. You can see the wonderful folds in his face. You can see everything. He's One of the most me. auspicious symbols the in, 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 the, in the world. And do you know what? We're, we're going to honour our incredible deals that we always do for you, which makes zero sense. Do you know, this, uh, th this show is always excitement, Dave, to be mm -hmm. doing a show like this yeah. with you. But this also is not a normal today, show. Yeah, this is not today, like a normal Earl and Dave There's girl. a hint of sadness. Oh, 100%. It's, it's going to be really bittersweet. Graphics are open. And um, I don't know how many we have, 97, 50, it doesn't mm. matter. These are, these are going to be in your collection right now. These are going to be yours. Oh, we, we have got messages coming into the studio, Fantastic. sort of sharing my thoughts, actually. There's uh, Margot. Hello, Margot. I thought the same. I thought Sally, Sally looked quite sorrowful. Yeah, she does. And, and I get it. I get, I get why. That... <sighs> are you what you're holding there? We, we, like, we cast your mind back years. We never had access to material like this. No. And you see material, uh, you know, like this, uh, at the, the auction houses, <clears throat> like this. Obviously, it's a much brighter colour. It's a carved jadeite pixie. It sold for like $40,000 in 2015. The mines are closed now. No, well, so what would it be now? Well, add a zero, maybe. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. That's the reality. That exactly. is the reality. We're going to do an incredible deal for every single one of you. Um, the pixie, as you guys know, dates back to um, thousands of years. 
They have, they have their origin from the Han Dynasty, which is like 206 BC. Oh, they are found and mentioned in the Book of Han, okay? There used to be a male and a female version of these, but now it's over the thousands of years, it now kind of is this legendary creature with the single antler. Um, and, and this is something that Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty declared that the Pixu, who obtained and guarded the master's gold, would be forever known as the treasurer of the emperor. It is said that the emperor declared that only royal personage could possess a Pixu. And it was strictly forbidden for all of this to own one, including officials. This law was kept through to the end of the Qing Dynasty. It was, it was kept for thousands of years, okay? Um, I want to just give you a little bit of um, the history of this wonderful carving. Um, the story of the Pixu's ability to attract wealth for his master also explains his ability to accumulate great wealth. So one version of the story, which yeah, goes back thousands of years, is that the Pixu had an accident um, on the palace floors. The enraged Jade Emperor scolded the Pixu so loudly that he never defecated again. And the Jade Emperor condemned Pixus to only have a diet of gold, silver and gems. And obviously now with no way to process these riches, the Pixu retained all he ate and his masters became exceedingly wealthy. Wow. This is the reality. Um, now, Pixus have a reputation of being fierce creatures. The large fangs visible in their mouths, you can see that here, yeah. are used to attack demons and evil spirits, draining their essence and converting it into wealth. Pixus also guard against disease caused by these evil spirits. And it is written that Pixus patrol the heavens to keep demons at bay and to protect their owners from all harm. It is believed that the, the ferociously devoted Pixu would always and constantly guard its master, even after he passed from this life into the next world. It is believed that the Pixu would help their masters ascend to heaven by flying them up to heaven on their back. Wow. And if we just go back to this piece here, which is obviously, you know, the finer materials, just say it. This highly translucent jadeite, intense green color, is a, a carved pixu lying on the Chinese coins. But yours is lying on that Chinese coin. Yeah. Got it under his front uh, paws, he's got it on his back. The classic carving. There's the coin. I'll do a minute clock. How many do we have, Ross, or how many did we have? We had 98. Okay, these are all gone today. These are all gone for Oh my day. goodness. Okay, straight away I want you to put Five thousand dollars or four four and a half thousand dollars on the on the screen because I don't think I could replace that for this. No, no, um, no. I mean, you could, you could you literally could see it in Sally's face. Yeah, you've got an opportunity right now, of of perhaps a generation. Beautiful. Hundred carats of Type A jadeite. He is, in terms of wear, because he is actually drilled at the top. You could wear him just like so. On the decorative. This is a hundred carats. You can see it's lavenders running through the mottling of the lavender and the green. Top polish, 100% natural. Of course, this is type e A. Even when we had, the, you know, the, 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 the amount that was coming from, yep. from Myanmar, the deals that you offered us were absolutely unbeatable. Yep. Absolutely unbeatable. I'll tell you what's unbeatable. But now more than ever. Yeah, I'll tell you what's unbeatable. Um, take £3,000 off the price. Okay, 1,500 pounds is ludicrous for a 100 carat jadeite carving. It's ludicrous, and we're gonna do that. He's not a small carving, is he? No. He's huge, absolutely huge. And the detail that you're seeing within him. Okay, well. guys, I'm gonna do a minute clock, and this is gonna be, if you trust me, I'd get on the phone lines right now. In fact, if you trust me, I'd multi-buy. Yeah. This is gonna be the most insane deal you will see. No one in the world, anywhere, whether it's Geneva, whether it's London, whether it's New York, whether it's Rodeo Drive, right now, no one is going to do what I'm doing in, in light of the current market. Um, that is the, you got, yeah, that certificate's brilliant, uh, Ross, because we talk about the water content of Jade. Yeah. Even on the lab report, they yeah. refer to it as aqua. Aqua, yeah, yeah which absolutely. Which is the top, top grade, you know, 30 and a half grams. It's a natural jade, it's certified by a, a lab in Hong Kong. And you can see color aqua. Aqua, amazing. I hope you're ready. I've given you as much insight as I can. This is an incredible deal, but you wait to see how amazing this deal is going to be. And no one is gonna believe it. And you're gonna see people buying maybe fives and, and tens of these. Yeah. 
And that's what's crazy. Ross, I'm going to 99.99. I'm going to 99.99. I've warned you, I've told you, this is type A, it is natural, it is the real deal, it's the jadeite, the mines are closed, it's 100 carats. Closed. 100 carats, right? Yeah, now. wow. And you're gonna get it for double figures. Wait, wait, something's just dawned on me, Dave, right? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be in a massive queue, I don't know how long that queue will be, it could be minutes. The Tanzanite mine hasn't closed. No. Nope. You wouldn't get 100 carats for £99.99. Nope. This is closed. This it's is rare. Well, it's the world's most expensive gemstone. Yeah. There's never been a Tanzanite mine that commands $3 million a carat. There has been jadeite that are sold for $3 million. Absolutely. And then when you factor into that, the, the audacious carving, the craftsmanship on display, this is the, the best of the best. And I'm telling you right now, if you're not multi-buying, you're not going to get an opportunity like this again. No, absolutely not. I, I, I love the fact that, and, and I thank you, Dave, for literally coming on here. On, on such, and I know you're tired. I know you've worked incredibly oh, hard over the birthday, etc. But when we hear, when we hear news like this, we have you know, to share it with our. Clients. You were the first person to say, "I have to come on. I have to yeah. speak to uh, the jury maker audience because this needs to be, this needs to be, uh, you know, shared yeah. um, for for our collectors." So I really do thank you for that. I, honestly, guys, I, I, I truly wish we had a thousand of these, but we don't. We do not have a thousand. We've got. Um, let, we have. You started with double figures. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of you on the phone lines. I want you to be successful. I want you to be able to own this material. It is a giant carrot weight. We, we keep mentioning the fact that this is a hundred carats. A hundred carats of type A. It's the ultimate. This is a collector's edition. Well, is it, I mean, it's a sculpture, isn't it? At the yeah, end of the day, absolutely. it's it, it's something I can imagine him being sort of sat on like a little wooden carved little wooden plinth, hundred percent, all day long. If you want to wear it as a piece of jewelry, I mean, this is amulet. this is an auction house piece. That's that's totally. the reality. Totally, I think one of the most beautiful carvings as well. I yeah. love the fact. Look, there's little ears. There's beautiful ears. The the, the ferocity that is captured so perf uh, perfectly. Never seen this piece before. The money coins there. You can see that that, that the fortune beast. You can see all that that mythology, all that history, all that sentiment uh, caught in, uh, caught within. So there it is. Um, my goodness me, jewelry makers, what a moment! So we have heard literally from and Sally Hugh, by the way, is really one of, if not the biggest names when it comes to your jadeite. So if she's well, got a, got an expression of concern and is announcing this. Can you have a minute clock, Ross? I'm going to go again. Um, there's half of the stock is gone. We've got about 50 remaining. Um, this is already the craziest deal that I've done this year. Already, in light of the current news, it actually makes zero sense. But I am going to go again, because like I said, we are live, we are reactive, we have a responsibility to our collectors, and if we can do this, if we can, then we're going to. You've got half a minute, though, and I'm telling you right now, Sean, Margaret, Jenny, you've got two, congratulations, Regine, Karen, Virginia, Anne, Maker, Karina, Linda, Julie, Angela, Tracy, Irene, Marie, Elizabeth, Susan, and Essex, I'd multi-buy. We're going again wow. for this huge, incredible, 100 carat, top water, aqua coloured jadeite jade. Look how beautiful he's going uh, to sit uh, on the neck stunning. one as well. Absolutely gorgeous. That you just feed it through a cord or a chain. Absolutely. And I'd get anything you can today. Sally's advice to all of us was get what little get is in the market because you're not getting any more. Ross, 79.99. That is the lowest I can possibly even entertain doing for you guys. Yeah, it's it's 100 carats. Be, oh, or just, Ross just be as like, quick as you can. Even Ross is like, ooh. Yeah, I apologise, Ross. That um, is low. This is what we're about today. This is what we want to do for our collectors. You can see the beautiful, beautiful modelling of colour. You can see that wet look finish on the top of the jade. That is not waxing. That is the stone. That is the gem. Tightly packed crystal structure. You know, this is what they refer to as old mine. This is top, top texture. Do you know Cardiff's got two, South Yorkshire's got two, Bristol's got two, Lincolnshire's got two. That's like ten, that's more than 10% of the stock gone to just those few Yeah, pieces. yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, Ross has just made a really good point. He was like, you know, you know, jade even as like a boulder without yes. any master carving on its own at that price tag would be absolutely awesome given the news. 100%. Um, but and, you know, these days aren't going to happen again. Yeah. I'm really sad about that. But too. this is why we are moving into other avenues like the coveted collection. Yeah. Because we know now we have esteemed collectors mm -hmm. and we can't offer you jade out, but we know you want the rarest of the rare. So of we are looking to, to secure legacy acquisitions of you know, high-end gemstones, 
gemstones. Perry uh, in Kent says, I love Pixu, Dave. Uh, I bought him as a pendant from gems, and now I have bought him as a carving for my son's birthday. Thank you. And I love the auspicious nature of what it means as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Prosperity, you know, gathering wealth for you, deflecting, you know, uh, bad intentions, converting it into wealth. Um, I think it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful idea to get one for your son. Um, so Jenny's just said, I hope Sally's not watching, Dave. You'll be breaking her heart. Thank you for the bottom of mind. No problem, Jenny. Look. Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, you know, That's I, I lovely, understand Jenny. Sally. I think Sally would be just, she gave us an incredible deal, this moment in time. And I think it would be much better for her to see that I'm not making huge, massive profits on yeah. this by going and charge the market rate. She, she looked after me. She did an incredible deal. And we're going to look after you guys. So exactly. as much as you know, this doesn't correlate with the actual price of this material in the market, I actually think she'd be happy for a lot of you. And that's why she wanted to you know, come on camera and speak to you, tell you what's happening in the market, allow you guys to be able to make an informed decision. Um, and that is exactly what you're doing today. Uh, um, and you said earlier on, uh, you know, we are recognizing um, a, a lot of GEMS customers also getting involved. I told involved. you, you're going to see this happening. I don't blame you. You just I heard from one right there who yeah. bought one from GEMS and now is here yeah. or getting the, the unique, wonderful carving. Exactly. That's all we have left. Yeah, sorry, guys. I wish I had more. Like I said, it's gone are the days of the massive quantities. That is not going to happen. We are just going to bring you everything we have in our inventory, everything we have in our vault. There are 20 opportunities. You can see the antler. You can see the gold coin, the, the wonderful detail. He is beautiful, isn't he? Yeah, I love it. He's absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it. 17, 17. chances. And 39.99. The fact that we were... we're 40 we, quid. It's crazy, isn't it? It's a it? joke. Uh, oh, can you see the underside? Of course absolutely. you can. Sorry, There's you, the gold coin again. There's that gold coin. Still carved on the underside as well. Yeah, you so you've got the little gold coin that he's actually sat on. There's his little feet. Yeah. Beautiful. It's absolutely a special, beautiful. special piece for every single one of you. He is amazing, isn't he? Sorry, yeah, showing you all the way around. And again, you can see. Top, top, top. Top gem. grade. Yeah. Stunning. I was really, really thrilled for those of you that have the opportunity to multiply on this. That you're getting 200 carats. 200 think carats. About that, of, of the top, top carving. Certified. Yep, certified. You saw that certification there. You know, the aqua colours, um, natural type A jade act. He is stunning. Absolutely stunning. That detail, even down to the little whiskers. Yeah, everything. That he has. He, and his mouth, his, his teeth, his eyes. Wow. Um, Traditional Chinese carving. Amazing. Now, um, I think he's pretty much sold out. Now, we have one more Pixu to do. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, what I've really enjoyed about, and I'm talking about it past tense here, Dave, because let's be honest, it yeah. probably is going to be soon. But what I've loved so much about the jadeite fever, as you, put, yeah. as you put it the other day, is just how much I've learned in terms of Absolutely. their, you know, what the Pixu yeah. is, what uh, the it's Nine exactly Dragons Exactly the same, is. you know buying into that culture, you know, yeah. understanding the significance and the auspicious nature of the, the traditions. You know, this has 4,000 years of history. Yeah. And um, I think this is my favourite pixie. He's lovely, isn't what he? Is the, how many of these do we have, Ross? Because it's going to go wild. We have just under 100. Oh, God, okay. He, this is where he's, like, curled up. He is, he's... You know, he's and it's, it's... There you go. You can see him right there. I'm just looking at him, his face. This wonderful material, translucent. Oh, the God. antler again. The He's teeth. beautiful. Yeah, this is a special piece. Um, okay, let's bring the graphics in straight away. Look, we've got hundreds, if not thousands, of collectors joining us on the phone. And again, we're at 100 carats. You get one of each if you can, or get the one that you prefer. This is wonderful. This really is. And I love Adam capturing the, the, the wonderful essence of its translucency in the daylight recording. Um, this is as good as it gets. It is the best of the best. He's amazing, isn't Can he? Can I just do... He looks... I know you said earlier yes, on that thank Pixu you, is yeah. quite... He's, he, you know, he's feverishly uh, loyal and yeah. very uh, aggressive. Yeah. But here he looks almost cute. No, he is. Yeah, he is. He looks he's, really he's like my dog. He looks, I, my I, dog I is very cute, but he's... <laughs> Fiercely loyal and ferocious. <laughs> Just ask the postman. Um, can, can, we, um, can we dim the lights for a second, Adam? Is that all right? Let's. Um, thank you so much. We should pay a massive premium for this. You will never see a carving like this again. I, there's a reason I didn't pick up the previous piece and do this. Um, again, this is combining the, the aqua colours with the lavenders. Ross will happily show you the certification. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. But what really makes it stand out? Oh my goodness! What really makes this material stand oh, out? Oh wow! Is this is gem? 
Look at him. Okay. When you get that kind of grade in a carving, you think back to that Christie's piece. Yeah. That was $41,000 in 2015. And you get this kind of polish, this kind of translucent. And this, genuinely, when I said there shouldn't be a piece that's like $5,000 in front of L right now. Yeah, definitely. It's actually very similar to the Christie's piece. Yeah, look at that. There's his face. Look at him. Okay. Thank you, Adam. Um, I'm going to do a minute clock. Well done to everyone who's already secured this on the phone lines. You have the opportunity right now to do that. Um, it is, again, around the 100 carats mark minimum. <laughs> um, going to do something crazy. Ross, Jenny, you've got two of these. Well done. Congratulations. I mean, you know, Al is, is completely right in saying, you know, they're drilled, you know, how to wear these. This, for me, is just put in a safe. Put in a safe. Right? His little toes. Yeah. And he's clinging. You he's can, clinging. See this can you see the money coin etching? It's like ice jadeite. Top, top polish as well. There's the gold coin, the classic yeah. gold coin. That symbol. Um, yeah. Um, you've got like half a minute to, to, to really make your mind up on this. We don't have a big quantity again. Oh, he's absolutely beautiful. And to gift a Pixu as well. Yeah. And, and look, we should price this higher. We should be doing a, a huge price on this. Yeah. Especially in, in light of what we're hearing in the market. There you go. Look at that. Just beautiful, Dave. Absolutely Plus, do you know where we, beautiful. even in the context of this showcase, I'm not even going to mess around at £1,000, you know, whatever. In the context of this show, look at these scales. We should be, I'll tell you what I should be selling this to you for right now. 199 Mm-hmm. 199 do you know what that is? Two pound a carrot. Ma no, no. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm serious. Like, that should be a deal. Let's put that deal on the screen. 199 everyone's happy at that. That's ridiculous. You want to get Taipei, Translucent, Jada, and a Master Carbon for two pound a carrot? It's on your screen right now. It's on your screen right now. It's your opportunity. And then I'll take a minute clock, and I'm telling you right now, I'm going to absolutely destroy that price. It is for every single one of you. You've heard the, 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 the live global Jada market update. If you're not buying four or five of these, then I, I don't know what's going on. This is gonna happen. It is the, the, the more considered of the two pieces. This should really be your deal. And uh, you yeah. wouldn't even get a deal in four figures for this elsewhere. But I'm going to absolutely look after every single one of you. It is one of those wild shows. It's a live show. It's what we do. It's the reason we've got a million unique customers around the world. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is your opportunity. Taipei, certified. Jadeite, the lavender and the green. Here yeah. you've got, you can see a lot of that wonderful lavender glow coming through. This is translucent. Absolutely. You've got 20 seconds. And I'm telling you, I've not even capped it for the trade. And trust me, the trade will come in. This is going to be sensational. This yeah. is going to be the best of the best. I wish you the best of luck, every single one of you. If you're on the phone lines, congratulations. If you're in a queue, please stay holding. If you can use our app or our website, then I would do that. We are giving you all the information to make an informed decision. Ross, mate, go to 79.99. This is happening. You wait, want to, wait, you wait. Want... This one's actually more yeah, yeah. detailed, though. More detailed. It's translucent. It should be considered. And I am and doing the, the craziest deals for you today. Unmissable deals. Wow. You know, unparalleled deals, unrepeatable deals. Can't replace it for 10 times the price. I couldn't get this for 790 quid. Yeah, literally, like, yeah, like, you can see that. Linda, see that Pauline, content. Irene, Christine, Libby, Amazing. Marie, you've got two. Jenny, you've got two. I would exclusively just be multi-buying in this showcase. You're seeing the kind of deals that we are doing for you. you. You know what we're about today, and we don't have enough to go around. We know there's thousands of you tuned in and yeah. watching, mm -hmm. and here we are at 39.99. Get it while you can. This is one of the last showcases of its kind that you will see on your screens here at Jewelry Maker. It's one of the final times that we're going to be able to do something like this. We can't get this material. We can't. We, and like you material. said, we knew it was coming, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. knew this moment was coming, mm -hmm. and perhaps, maybe, or oh, certainly, I can speak for myself. I was a little bit blasé, going, "Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming." I don't think any it's of us, here. none of us, foresaw the mines closing. We knew the markets were, were up and running again. We knew that we were going to get priced out. We we wanted to look at the kind of opportunity to acquire Type B and Type C jadeite. But the mines closing has changed that. Now type B jade out. If I wanted to get you type C, dyed jade out in the same carving, yeah. you're going to be probably at $1,000. Wow, yeah. So like, I can't, I, I'm not like uh, uh, immune to the market. 
No. Like, I, I cannot get it. And of when I can't not. get it, you can't get it. That's the reality. Of course not. And I've literally held the two Pixus together so you can actually see the difference yeah. if you want, if you have to choose one. Um, if you can get both, do it. Uh, absolutely I mean, you can it. get both. You actually can get both. Yeah, this You're is at the thing. Like 80 pounds yep. on split pay, yes. you can get both of these home. And they are they are both drilled, so you can actually wear them. Cumbria, you've got two. Angela, you've got like two. This. Anne, you've got two. Caroline, you've got two. This is sublime. Really is one of the best deals you've ever seen on your channel. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So this was the previous Pixu. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. The detail yes. that you're actually getting in here as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so if you wanted to wear him like so, yeah. you could wear him like so. If you wanted to wear him through that drill hole, then you can do that as well. He, I, I love this one, the fact that he's curled up, literally yeah, curled 100%. up. I, I, I love the translucency. Yeah. Is, is what I really. You've got 29 opportunities, there's 29 genuine opportunities. Doesn't matter if it's in 100 baskets. No. Because that doesn't exist. There isn't 100 no. of them. So it's an illusion. You can call up and just take it straight away. You can be one of the 23 people to get this into your collection. Susan, Mary, Lee, Karina, Lynn, Maker, Karen, Sonika. You're on the phone lines in a queue. Lots of ahead of you. Joan, you've just jumped on. You can get it. There's 18 opportunities. Like I said, a lot of people are multi-buying as well. I think all of us realize the importance of this opportunity, this window of opportunity that mm. we are you know, right now experiencing. A collector's opportunity for the most coveted, the most desirable uh, gemstone Absolutely. on the planet is available today for 79.99. Absolutely. And and if you have just tuned in lovely jewelry makers we have learnt from Sally Hewer herself Absolutely. that this opportunity mm -hmm. it's gone. Yeah. The mines are closed. Unfortunately. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Well done. Well done, well done. Now we have Oh. Wait, I've not it's just an, a very, very intricate carve. And we have this and the donut as well coming up. I'm going to show the donut as well, if that's okay. This is sensational. Oh, my goodness. And let me show this. Okay. What's the carrot one on the donut as well, Ross? 40. Okay, 40 carrots and a single donut. And you've got that level of translucency. Oh, an apple I'm green. I'm just letting you know what's coming up. 40 carrots, brand new. 27 You won't see millimeters. materialising. It's like tracing paper. That's yeah. how translucent and gemmy this is. That's amazing. Honestly, quality. you. I mean, this should just have a diamond set in the centre. Yeah, it should, totally. It should just be on an 18 karat gold chain. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Okay, sorry, Adam. Let's uh, let's bring the graphics in for for either one of these carvings, Ross. Whichever one you want to do. I just wanted to allow you guys to understand that this is coming up. Um, that's this is the, be our the wellness carving is coming. This is the, the this is coming up. Okay, so that's again, the finale. Oh. Right. you can show that as well. Look at the translucency of this wellness carving. Again, it's a certified aqua. It's top water material. How many do we have, Ross? There are ninety of these. Okay, these are going to go. Wellness Thirty carats. talisman. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's sublime. Do, do, that's like lace. Yeah, it's like tracing paper. Yeah. Wow, it's got these beautiful, beautiful floral carvings. Yeah. Okay, do you know what I'm gonna do? You guys know the phone number, don't you? You guys know the phone number, okay. Can we hear from Sally one more time? Yeah. Let's hear from Sally. This will be available, it will sell out. It's the really intricate, beautiful wellness carving. Um, you guys are gonna have to call if you wanna own this. We're gonna do an incredible deal. This is Sally Hewitt giving you the global market update. We might have to remove the graphics for the, for the um, uh, subtitles, but you guys know the phone number and I'd get in early. Good luck. Uh,大卫,你想让我为您的收藏者来拍一段信息,我想让您的收藏者知道呢。玉矿现在正式的宣称关闭了现在还没有降下来 
，这是历史上我们第一次如此的缺乏翡翠。呃，价格非常的不稳定哈，我们都买不到了，这是非常恐怖的啊，这是我们以前也看到过很多次了。我对您收藏家们的建议是呢，在市场上来获取少量的翡翠，因为它真的会消失。我们已经看到了，第一次看到这种情况，对吗？第一次在我的生活中买不到翡翠了，呃，我希望这种情况能够得以好转，否则呢，我们将是终结翡翠的一代，买不起翡翠的一代。The first generation that won't be able to get involved in Taipei Jade, and you know, here we are, completely turning that on its head and saying to you, you are the first and last generation to be able to get Taipei Jade, and this is one of the most divine, intricate carvings that you're going to witness here on the channel. It is like you said, it's like so beautiful in terms of the fact that it is complete ice jade. It is translucent even without the torch. You're talking about a level of jadeite that looks like tracing paper. It looks like a, a, a slice of frozen ice with that classic auspicious symbolism, you know, the wellness carving. And this is your opportunity to acquire this right now. I've got 90, well, I had 90 chances, got 80 now. I was just looking then, you can see the money coins across the top yeah. in the carving. You can also see the sort of, uh, well, the Chinese writing there on the side. Minute clock, Ross. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to do something wild on this for every single one of our collectors. That I've, is what we are about. And I've not seen this symbol before. No. This beautiful talisman. I've, no, I've not seen it. It's stunning. Yeah. It's the quality of the jadeite for me. Yeah. It's 30 carats in a single piece. It's, it's, you could probably read a newspaper through it. Yeah, That's probably. how clear it is. It's got it's that translucent. Level. There you Look go. That. Just absolutely close. I don't think anyone's ready for what's about to come. I'd, I would multi-buy. I would get in early because we don't have the 200 quantities that we have been used to before. Um, we're going to do something very, very special for all of you. In light of the current news, we are going to do an incredible deal. 20 oh, seconds yes. to make your mind up. Something like this today, you know, if I was at JCK, even outside of Hong Kong, if I was at Tucson, if, if I was at the, the Bangkok Gem Show where I've just been and I saw this level of jade, I'll give you the honest truth. I wouldn't expect this for less than about $1,500 no. right now. So you can put that on the screen, Ross. It's not the price we're going to. But genuinely, I've seen pieces similar to this that are $1,500. I mean, it's a 30-carat Taipei jade, and it's not opaque. It's not like just some slab of jade. No, yeah. It's the, the it, finest. You don't find jade out that looks like this very often. It lit up. Yeah, I absolutely. I don't think I've ever seen a jadeite right, respond quite minute clock, quite minute like clock. That before. This is all about the quality of this jadeite. That unbelievable polish. As you can see here, that yeah. undeniable transparency. The veining of color. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the kind of material you might be able to read a newspaper. Through. Yeah. That's how good it is. Wow. That is jadeite. That's what you're getting right now. And even in the, the studio light, you can see how translucent this is. Completely. You can see the polish on it. You can see through it. It is like tracing paper. And it's a 30 carat gem. You're gonna get split pay, you're not gonna need it. That's what I'm gonna tell you right now. But I don't know how many have, Susie, Susie, Susie Menem has, has got two of these. No, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, Susie. And I've not seen this before, so I bet I bet you haven't oh, Susie either. Susie would know exactly the, 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 the real the symbolism and the meaning behind this. I'm just talking to the quality of the jadeite right now. I'm probably holding it upside down. Yeah, maybe. Is, maybe we are. Probably. That's probably it. There okay. you go, because you've got the money. I think, I assume there are money coins at the bottom. Look how beautiful. Ross? 49.99. 49.99. Oh so you're not going to see deals like this going forward. You're not going to see deals. 30 carat gem, top translucency. <laughs> I've, I've said it. We're doing it. We're taking you know so so much money off that price. Yeah, Ross is saying I'm, I, I don't actually want it to be on that uh, on the screen. I've just for we've very just took over 1,400 pounds. Let's do a minute clock to win it. 
24.99 on yeah. split pay. Let's get this going. Let's get a minute clock on the screen. I agree with you, Ross. We shouldn't be looking at this for too long. Lynette's got two. Susie's got two. Rupal, Virginia, Angela, Patricia, Irene, Cheryl Ann. We've got Margaret. We've got Linda. We've got Ella. We've got Marie, Dagmar. Yeah. We've got Suja, who we talked about earlier. Agnes. We've got um, so many of you joining us. Virginia in Hampshire, you've just bought three of these. You've got 40. Uh, everyone's buying three now. Angela's got three. Virginia's got three. We've got every single one of you is multi-buying. Margot, you've just jumped in from five. Um, 40 seconds to own this. And, uh, and again, it's just making me think my brain's ticking over. I'm thinking there'll be, uh, we'll look back on this show and this wonderful opportunity yeah. with immense gratitude, but also... Oh, for sure. Maker and Cumbria's just got two of these as well. Well wow. done. Yeah, but also, you know, sadness if, you know, that unfortunately... But you, we're not how happy be, will you be when you've... Spoiled 100%. Show that's fine. But you'll have your collections. Yes. You'll have that incredible material in your jewelry yes. boxes. You'll have created wonderful jewelry with this material. We always like to, you know, let you know to inform you so you can make an informed decision. Um, you've got three seconds and we're going to be moving on. Stay holding on the phone lines to try and secure this. Well done and congratulations to every single one of you. If you've pressed your option one key, you'll be okay. We can guarantee you one yeah. um, as a minimum. Um, if you want more, then just, like I say, hold that line. So, uh, again, just because we've ended the auctions, the graphics have disappeared off your screen doesn't mean you've missed out. So yeah. just stay where you are. Dave, again... How long has the mine been operational in... in 800 years. 800 years? 800 years, the, the, the mines in Myanmar. I mean, when we talk about jade, nephrite, that's 4,000 years. 4,000 years. But the jadeite, which has risen to the top in, in, in China... And has, now? Has, ...was found in the jungles of Myanmar, in Kachin State, and that material has been coming out for nearly 1,000 years. And now the mines are closed. So there is nothing. It used to be 20 tonnes, there is now nothing. This is my favourite piece. And actually, I'm annoyed because if I hadn't shown it, I, I don't think I'd want to sell this right now. But we're not going to... I know you guys want it, so we're going to bring it to you. This is one of the best jades I've actually seen. One of the best jadeites I've ever seen. It's top, top gem. Translucent. The supreme polish. And you're going to see that glow. It's like a ring light. Yeah. OK, Ross. Let's bring the graphics in. Let's give everyone the opportunity right now. Wow, there's 150 available. That's fine. Can They're you... all going today. 40 carats. Can you imagine as well? Like We've heard this information from Sally Hewer, very new. Yep. But, you know, we are probably one of the first people in the world, really, mm -hmm. a group of people, to know that news. Yes. Can you imagine what's going to happen to the price of your jadeites when the likes of, uh, um, I don't know, the GIA start writing about it. And oh, yeah, for sure. Jewelry editors start writing about it. Mm -hmm. Look, can I just say right now, I, if, if this is material you want, if you want that classic carving, if you want that supreme polish, if you want translucent jade, if you want 40 carats, if I had to get something like this again, genuinely, it would be more than two thousand dollars yeah it would be that's the that's the, probably way more as well if i'm honest so i'm gonna go half the, the the kind of market value of something like this in china right now i'm gonna go to a thousand pounds wow just remember this is 40 carats in a single translucent jadeite gem it's got the supreme polish it's the high goo carving which is where that central hole has to be exactly in the center it has to be one fifth the diameter mm -hmm. it's the best of the best You've got that wonderful divot going in. All of this is fine, fine craftsmanship. And for me, I'd, I would, because I know the deal I'm going to do, I'd buy four of these. I'd have the pendant, okay. the earrings, and a ring. Oh, can you imagine them? I, honestly, I would, because you, have you seen, we've seen donuts, we've seen this, we've seen that. Have you seen anything that looks like this before? You know, this type of supreme quality. Look at that. It's like liquid across the yeah. surface, isn't it? Okay. Just beautiful. Minute clock. It's time to get four of these. I've got 150. We always say, don't we, the bigger the quantity, the bigger the deal. That's what's going to happen for every single one of you right now. Yeah, again, the certification, you know, once again, is talking about that natural material. There you go, the diamond in the centre. Perfection. How is that not a £5,000 piece of <laughs> It would be anywhere else, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. And I, I, if you're calling through, I'd only buy four of these. That's the reality. And we've had round brilliant cut diamonds, Dave, that would literally yes. just go into the centre. Yeah. 
Oh, it's beautiful. It's uh, this one, the color is just... Yeah, it's the aqua color, isn't it? Again, uh, certified by the, the independent laboratories over in China, who are the guys that just certify jadeite. Jadeite, you know, we're talking about that kind of carrot weight and then aqua natural inclusions. Four seconds, three, two, one, with that glow. Ross, go to a deal right now that we should never, ever, ever do. Take 900 pounds off the price. 99? 99 pounds. And I would this say- This quality? 100%. And it is about the quality. I know you've seen bigger carrot weights today, but this is the best quality. Linda, you've got three. Lynette, you've got two. We've got 150. This is right now into double figures. Into right. double figures. We've got Maker, Crazy. we've got Rachel, we've got Virginia, we've got David, we've got Cumbria, we've got Northamptonshire, we've got bidders all over the world. Right, right. Ross uh, and Adam, minute clock, please. I'm gonna tell you right now, we said the bigger the deal, the bigger, the bigger the quantity, the bigger the deal. Now, you'll see oh, you haven't got nice. split pound this piece. That's for good reason. You're not gonna need it. Virginia, you've got four. Lynette, you've got two. Linda, you've got three. Uh, I'm so happy that Virginia's taken me up on the, the, the idea of acquiring four because you'd have, what, an 80 carat pair of earrings, <laughs> a 40 carat ring, and a 40 carat pendant in the type A high goo design with translucency, the aqua color, the best of the best from Manama, from the mines that are no longer produced. You've got about half a minute to make your mind up. If you want to join Virginia in multi-buying on this, then I would do it. Patricia, you have. Linda, you have. Lynette, you have. Obviously, Hampshire, you have. 18 seconds. 150 of these are going to disappear. Dave, I'm just imagining the valuation, you know, with the end result. You know, oh, if yeah. you do choose to put your... your, your the thing is, your, I always your, think... Your, your diamond in the yeah. centre and surround it in 18 and, carat And the thing platinum. is, you, you, you only have to go very small with the diamond. Yeah. Because the hole is so small, you're going to need something to set it in as well. Yeah. So you can afford to go much higher in terms of grade on the diamond. Absolutely. Right, I'm going to do something. This is my final deal with you, and you're going to see the most sensational deal. This is how we're going to end this incredible, momentous, news-breaking showcase. 150 of you on the phone lines. Take a look at that with, the, with the, the light coming through it again. Or at the ear, yeah. We look at this at the ear and with that coming through it. I'm gonna to say to you right now, for every single one of you, my final deal, 49 pounds. And that's a 40 oh carat gem. Me. A 40 carat gem. And if every single one of you gets three of these, that's 50 opportunities. And a lot of you are getting three. Lynette, Linda, Virginia, Patricia, uh, Amela in Greater Manchester. Every single one of you right now has the opportunity. The they opportunity at, to acquire this. At 49 pounds, like you said, it is that full suite of yeah. jewellery. That, that, I mean, that is... True legacy jewellery. I cannot believe that we've gone this low. You know, had this been on gems this weekend, just set, it would, I mean, into silver even, for one of those, for one, and our deals are amazing over there, you'd be looking at probably 179. I, I, 40 carat, probably 199. Could be absolutely. a lot higher, but we've been doing crazy and deals because of the birthday. Deals. Yeah, they, they were crazy deals because of the birthday. Deals. But right now, you're getting the opportunity to acquire that for 49 pounds. Well done. Which is Lynette's so just many... got four. I mean, which is why we have Gems customers getting involved with us right now. Mm -hmm. You know, the, with, with the donor, it's it's not hard to turn that into a high-end piece of jewellery, is it? No, I mean, that is the archetypal car carving. It is the, the, the iconic carving that we're talking about. And I'm literally just putting put my engagement ring behind. Yeah. Virginia's just got five. Oh, yes. Stunning, stunning, Duncan's stunning. got two. Worcestershire's got four. Bristol's got two. Devon's got two. Manchester's got two. We've got uh, Patricia's got two. What, what about, what about, um, you should get your certificate of authenticity. Uh, we would say, always okay, say... Okay, do you know what? Well, you're going to get it for free on this. Ross, make sure they get the certificate of authenticity for free okay. on this piece. And then give me a minute clock. I said it's my final deal. It's going to be an epic deal. It's going to be an incredible it. deal, okay? You've got no, six... it is an incredible deal. No, no, I know, but I'm going, I'm going to squeeze everything out of this. And the reason why? Because I asked you to get four. So Virginia's got five, okay? Lynette's got four. They've got Linda's got two, Amela's got two, Susan's got two, Cumbria's got two, Duncan's got two. I'm going again. Should I? Absolutely not. What should we do? Put this back in the vault or create a wonderful piece of jewellery ourselves for it and offer it on our sister channel. We've got another collector who's just bought four. This is happening. In yeah. half a minute, I you're going to have this so. opportunity. It's 150. They're brand new. Never been seen before. Translucent, epic, incredible, top polish, top crystal, top material. I am going to take everything out of this. Do you know what? Four, and then just get your diamonds, yeah. purchase your what, whatever. Or your zircon, or a sapphire. Imagine oh, like a sapphire. pink sapphire in the center. Oh. 
It would be sensational. Rubelite or... Yeah, rubelite. Anything. Pop of colour in the centre of that. Oh, beautiful. Would just be sublime. Absolutely beautiful. I, I can't believe you're saying you're going lower. Yeah. And I'm probably going to have to face the wrath of Wayne on this, but um, we've broke the news to you. It's my final deal. And right now you're going to get it for 34 99 which is ridiculous. <laughs> pay more for a pizza. You actually do. Do you know, I'll tell you something. We you pay more do. for the balloons that we have to replace every three days for our birthday next door. Yeah. And this is why the balloon lady drives a better car than I do. Uh, <laughs> no, it's true. It's that true. is true, 100%. Do you know what my daughter said to me the other day? Um, Wayne, you know that wonderful priceless um, like slab of jade that we've got that that bangle was carved out of? Yeah. I took that in my car to show my daughter, right? And yeah. I put the light through it and I was showing her how translucent it is. And she was like, I was trying to explain to her, she's 10, I was like, you know, this is. And she said, um, as, as if you just drive around with that in your car. And I said, I know, but it's, I've only, it's literally here. And she went, to, honestly though, it's probably because you don't drive a nice car that no one would think it's real. And I went, no, and she went, if you had a Range Rover or something, <laughs> I bet they would steal that. I said, yeah, I don't have a Range Rover. Do you know why? Because I sell Jadeite for 34 dollars <laughs> That's why. Yeah. You're and we never... call the balloon lady up and we go, hey, those balloons are sagging. Can we get some more? And she's never going, do you know what? They've just closed the only factory that makes balloons in Stop the world. Balloons. The price has gone sky high. We can't get any balloons, I'm afraid. We're going to have to double the price. That doesn't happen. She just no. goes, no problem, tomorrow, yeah? And then she just brings them in. She, she wheels them in. She sticks them in the gallery. Literally. She brings the couple of helium balloons in and we, we pay her more <laughs> than the price on your screen. She rocks up in her Porsche. She hasn't got a Porsche. I don't know. She might do. She wouldn't it's, get many balloons in it. I have to it. say, I've seen her because they come early in the morning. So they're yeah. here when I'm oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. have got a fairly nice van. There you go. Fairly there nice. There you go. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's the reason why. It's, not, yeah, it's a posh van. Yeah. Well, there we go, there's money in balloons, clearly. Well, yeah, there's a damn oh, sight more money in balloons than there is me. in Jadeite right now. Not for anyone else. Everyone else is absolutely, uh, you know, bringing the world the finest Jadeites yeah. with diamonds. And, and, of course, it's the world's most expensive gemstone. And here we are on Jewelry Makers. And it's $34.99 if you want it. It's crazy. It's 40 carats and as well. And the, and the mine is closed. 800 yeah. years. So, you know, just to put that into perspective, that's like... The Burmese, like the, like that, like the uh, Burmese ruby mine. It's far, far more far-reaching. Do you know why? Because there's a Greenland ruby mine. There's uh -huh. a Madagascan ruby yes. mine. Yes. There's a Tanzanian ruby mine. That's true. There are rubies, you know, in every continent on Earth. There's one even, place even like in the world. Even like in Kashmir sapphires. We still get Burma blue. You can we still, still get yeah. Madagascan blue. Top Diego material is indistinguishable from Kashmir. They get certified as Kashmir. The top, top Madagascan stones. We, you've never seen them here, but they are certified Kashmir. Wow. A lot of the time. Whereas this, there is literally only There's Kashmir. one... It's, it's Kachin State. It's the only place on Earth where Jadeite comes from. Obviously, wow. you get the material from Guatemala as well. That's sky high. Yeah. But that doesn't look like this. No. It's a very they, different they colour so and a very different crystal. This is... Genuinely, there isn't really a, 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 a kind of analogy I can think of. I mean, people say Golconda, but there's millions of carats of diamonds mined all over the world. And I'm just thinking about when it becomes widely not, uh, you know, knowledgeable to the world. You know, when this, uh, like, hey, the Burmese oh, trust me, jade it's, mine. It's, the forget price. the world. The, the, only, the only place that needs to know is China. Yeah. China knows. This material is they priceless. Already know. It doesn't matter about the GIA or the GIT, or the yeah. SSEF, or Goobling. We never get jade anyway. That's true. China will not let this material leave. They know. That's why I'm telling you, I can't get your Taipei jade going forward. This is your opportunity right now to secure a legacy piece for every single one of you. Amazing, amazing. Dave, firstly, thank you so much, thank for, you so for, much for keeping us so informed. Absolutely. And like I, like I said, you know, you bring us the most amazing opportunities and I think each and every single one of us are eternally grateful for, oh, absolutely. for, for doing that. But also with the for keeping us so in the know. Uh, look, that is, that is my job more than anything. You know, I'm extremely passionate. My, my collection has grown thanks to, you know, Jewelry Maker and Gemporia. And if I hear anything, then I want to, my immediate reaction is to want to share it with you guys. And that's exactly what we've done today. Um, thank you for joining us. I know, Al, you still have some incredible yeah. jadeite coming your way, which is going to be sensational. Um, thank you for having me. No, and thank, thank you. you to you guys as well. And I'll see you very soon. In fact, I'll see you on Wednesday at 10 a.m. So uh -huh. look forward to that exciting show coming up with Dave on Wednesday. Isn't he amazing? And there you go. News has been announced to the world that the mine is now closed. So every single piece that you may own, every single piece that you may still potentially own, just recognise, recognise 
it's, or we always have done, it's an incredible value. Now, I still have a couple more opportunities to bring you. Maybe, maybe something that you could suspend your, your, high, your Piksu or your Haigu if you wanted to. This strand is nothing short of breathtaking. Um, they are eight millimeters. That aqua color, it's a one meter strand and you're getting five. Look at that color from here. Can you see it's like that spearmint bluey green? Look at that beautiful quality. Can I, Adam, can I lay it on the board and we can visualize this? knotted with silk, as we would see maybe in your Sotheby's or your uh, Christie's. Imagine that. And imagine the price tag that would go alongside it. What do we think? Especially now, given the news that Dave has just shared with us and Sally Hewer has just shared with us. Imagine maybe one of your beautiful pixus suspended from the bottom. Whichever you choose, maybe this one, suspended from the bottom. Imagine that now in Christie's or in Bonhams, especially given the news that we have just learnt. How many do I have of these? 50. Dave has authorised... A particular price point that you won't believe. A full meter long strand. Look at these colors. You've got your apple blossom. You've got some of your beautiful blue, like a, 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 almost a spearmint bluey green. Beautiful, beautiful color. Certified natural. I know it doesn't say that on your graphics. Your certificate of authenticity will absolutely say uh, that these are type A grade. Type A grade. I'm going to show you the, the pre-live show price, yeah? The price you were given before Dave's special authority, okay? Okay. Which, by the way, is awesome. This is an awesome deal. Absolutely awesome. If it wasn't for Dave literally joining me on the show this morning, sharing that, you know, literally news hot off the press, direct from Sally Hewer. At £129, I think we would all agree, for 530 carats of certified natural type A, aqua jade in your 8 mil rounds, 129 is truly awesome. Now, there are 50 of these, and I can tell you the reaction on the web and the phone lines is already, already bubbling. Okay. Ross has asked Dave if he can take this today under a hundred pounds. Do you remember, do you remember when the Burmese mine was fully operational? Do you remember when, when uh, um, we first launched Jadeite here at Jewelry Maker all those years ago? Um, that would have been probably, I don't know, it was about eight years, probably about eight years ago. A 38 centimetre strand, and, and no disrespect to the quality that we had then, it was still lovely, it's still Jadeite. That was like 80, 90 pounds per strand for 38 centimetres. You've got double that and more, plus it's certified natural and now we know the mine's closed you're getting the entire meter long length strand let me hold it up to the neck look at that look at we're about what three meters apart right now look at that beautiful color it is simply simply stunning can you imagine this knotted maybe with like a powder blue, a powder blue silk? $79.99. And yes, I'm sort, of, I'm, I'm sort of reaching for sort of the history of jadeite throughout uh, on our channel here. Uh, not the 4,000 years, I'm talking about on our channel, that short eight, win, eight years where we've had this beautiful gemstone. It was more than the price that's on your screens for lesser grade and far shorter strands today we're getting a meter a meter so two and a half lengths of the usual strand and we've learned that the burmese mine is now closed is it is it is it wise to buy this gemstone with that knowledge under our belt 
or is it maybe wiser to wait for the price tag to increase? Well, obviously it's the former because you're not, we can't buy it and put us on your screens right now. We've had special authority from lovely Dave though to bring you this opportunity. Can you see that beautiful, what they describe as aqua? That almost sort of, I, I always describe it as like a spearmint because it's a fusion of, of blue and green put together. But certified type A, aqua, Burmese jadeite. There you go, the mine is closed. So many of you today have absolutely, absolutely uh, sort of taken that knowledge, done exactly what we should do with it. Um, expand our jadeite collections if that's possible if that's achievable and within your budget um, if not and hopefully you already have it within your um, within your uh, 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 your legacy then well very very exciting um, to see the worth well done Linda Maria Jenny hello to Cumbria Kim Virginia you've got yours Pauline Anna Lynette Helen Irene Fiona Sandra and Phyllis this is a brand new price tag out of the 50 that we first had when we opened this auction when the graphics appeared on your screens that's literally how many we have left it's not a 38 centimeter strand of Taipei Burmese jadeite it's a meter long length and it is absolutely beautiful in its color look at that I like it from a distance so can you imagine if you're wearing this I'd love to see it knotted with like a baby blue I think that would look absolutely amazing wouldn't it absolutely stunning so can you imagine this piece and then photographed and maybe in your, your Bonhams and your Sotheby's. Obviously not saying you would part with it if you want to. That's entirely up to you. But it's that level of grade, that level of quality. Down to the final five. Oh, down to the final four. Do check out those baskets and well done to each and every single one of you. Not just with this beautiful strand, but also with the Pixus, um, uh, with the Talisman and also with uh, your Haigu or any of the carvings actually that we have brought you over the years now this is my i have this strand and it's my favorite strand i love it love it love it love it love it how many of you i know we won't have many of these though ross what i bought this strand there's 94 sorry i was only expecting there to be about 10. <laughs> okay oh my goodness me can i just show you something quite un un yeah it's, we've, we've had the authority to bring you another deal. Can I just show you the ends of this strand? Because that speaks volumes, doesn't it? Would we all agree that's as close to imperial green that I've ever seen, and you've got two red jadeites within. But let's see it up against the neckline. You've got your multiple colours, the colours of jadeite. It's graduated. I have this. Look how beautiful that is on the neckline. It's stunning. Certified natural. The fact that you have, look, look at that, that. That is as close to imperial green that I have ever seen. Ever, ever, ever seen. You've also got your aqua blues. You've also got your warm almost like a deep terracotta like red all natural there are 94 of these available firstly we don't bring you the 14 millimeter size very often and when they do they always sell out but you haven't got to buy the separate strands to recreate this design you've got it all it's done for you i'm going to show you the launch price the only thing i would do with this necklace personally restrand it but i would move the reds I would move the red so they're visible at the front, so they're not hidden under the hair or back of the neck. That's our launch price, which is absolutely amazing at £199. There is no way on earth, no way on earth you would ever look at places like Christie's, Sotheby's, Bonner's, which, let's be honest, is where the only places really that we're likely, likely to see your type A jadeite moving forward. Because, look, you've heard from Sally Hewer herself, and, and I agree, the first thing that struck me about her message, you could see in her face, couldn't you, in her expression, how concerned, I guess. I mean, you would be concerned if it's your livelihood, your bread and butter. This gemstone's no longer coming from the mine, and it's too expensive to purchase directly. I, I can't say close out. Out of respect. I can't say close out. Not... 
out of respect, out of respect for, for, for Jadeite, but also out of respect for Sally Hewer. We launched it at 199 pounds. I don't know what he's doing either. Look, at, look, look how beautiful that is against the skin. Stop it. We've just saved you 100 pounds on the back of the news that was only shared live on air on our sister channel a couple of days ago that this, this location, the Burmese Jadeite mine, is now closed. And yet here we'll go, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll, 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 we'll share that news and then we'll drop the prices even more. It makes no sense whatsoever, but it does mean that th that's the whole ethos of the company, though. Look, if we got a great deal, we can pass that deal on to you. Um, Steve Bennett, when he started this amazing company, it was all about people bringing accessibility to your high end gemstones. I certainly wouldn't own Jadeite if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker. I certainly wouldn't have half the gemstones that I have within my collection if it wasn't for Jewelry Maker and Gemporium. We've half that price tag on the back of this amazing launch. Congratulations. You can get it on your split pay as well over four monthly. Oh, so, no, 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 not four monthly. Beg your pardon. That's what it would have been. Two monthly payments. Two monthly payments of £49.50. and pence. Now, I've got one more auction to bring you before the break. Um, and then we're going to be bringing you the Aquamarine from the coveted collection, which is just amazing. Is uh, it's, the, it's this, isn't it? Okay, at the beginning of the show, at the beginning of the show, uh, and I know I've done this in the past, I, I, I've actually shown you a beautiful carved bu uh, Buddha um, that on pillar, and, uh, on pillar and Stone over in Tucson at the beginning of the year, um, they had one type A Buddha carving in a little white box, you know, like the little white boxes that we bring you as well. And it was, I forget, how much was the, wasn't it? The, no, but the Buddha in, in, in Pillar and Stone, how much did he say? 1,200? I want to say it was 1,200 pounds, or dollars, rather. Um, but we've brought you, let's not, never mind Pillar and Stone in Tucson, and there was only one of him, you're actually getting two. Um, so we've actually brought you the little, uh, the, this little Buddha, and he's the Buddha of happiness, I understand. I'm no expert on that, but um, brings you uh, a, a, an amount of happiness. So we've brought you this Buddha in the past, at what price? £129? 99 on his own? That's amazing. But you don't just get the one, you're getting two. And I'm going to hold the two of them together so you can see that these are absolute master carvings because there are differences between them. Can you see? Very slight little differences. The folds are different. His tummy shape is slightly different. His little cheekbones, the definition of his cheekbones are slightly different. I'm just going to pop one down for a second, and now I'm going to show you the translucency. Now, we've brought you a single Buddha on our screens for £129 before. We've also done closeout deals on the Happiness Buddha for a crazy £50. Remember, today you are getting a pair, the Buddha of Happiness. Imagine the, him suspended... I'm drawing the, by the way, I'm just moving the torch backwards so you can see that carving. If I move it forward, you can see the amazing clarity. When I draw it backwards, you can see the definition of the carving. So how about at £49.99, pence? we are, that's a closeout deal. It's a type A, certified type A, genuine, oh, sorry, genuine jadeite. 75 carats. They are drilled, so again, you could suspend this maybe from that meter-long length strand or maybe the graduated strand. They could be the most beautiful earrings because you're already getting two. Here he is. This was in Tucson, beginning of the year. Ah, I was close, wasn't I? $1,280 for one type A, same as yours. So look at the measure about the same size actually yours is maybe a little wait yours there yours is actually bigger and that was at the beginning of this year remember that's for one and then somebody bought that buddha a jeweler's effectively and almost tripled the price by setting it into gold 
Do you think it was the gold that pushed that price? Or do you think it's the Buddha? Now, we've done a closeout deal on one carved, master carved, hand carved Buddha at $49.99. That would make this a closeout deal at £100. Yeah, absolutely. Over the moon at £100 for two beautiful hand carved type A natural uh, Burmese jadeite carvings, knowing today, knowledge that I didn't have yesterday, that I didn't have um, until Dave literally stepped into the studio. This mine, what? This mine is closed now. So we've done a closeout deal singularly for one Burmese jadeite carving at £49.99. You're getting two, 25 pounds each. Why is there a clock ticking? We've got a hundred opportunities. There has never, ever been a better opportunity to get hold of the little Buddha, never. And he's my favorite. You know, I've got a real fondness for this little Buddha. Who doesn't want happiness? Recognizable of all the shapes, I think most people yeah. know about the Buddha. Already. Absolutely, because yeah. not everybody will know what the Pixu is. Of course, not everybody yeah. will know what nine dragons course, symbolizes. Yeah. Not everybody will know what the um, will know what the high goo symbol exactly. is. You know, and the lotus yep. flower. Yep. He doesn't really take much explanation. No. You know that Buddha is all things good. Yeah. Um, we know there's different types of Buddhas, I guess. Yeah. Yet he's the Buddha of happiness, and you can kind of see it in his lovely little jovial face. Yeah. I should say faces. <laughs> Because there's two of them. Monica, we're at £25 per Buddha. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. It is, do, you, yeah. do you know what? I'm, I've got a Buddha already, but I'm joining you on this opportunity. Because for me, that with some little seed pearls and four millimetre oh, jadeites yes. going around the neck, that's, uh, there's gifts there straight away. And immediately I'm thinking about my niece and my, and my sister-in-law. Yeah. How beautiful that would be. Yeah. And again, if you're giving it as a gift... <laughs> Oh dear. Who's that squeaking? Wayne. Oh, the, I, I, I was saying there has never been a better opportunity for you to get hold of the Buddhas than today at 49.99. At 29.99, simple maths, that's 15 quid. Wow. 15 pounds. Do you know, I don't have them here, but if you had, if you had uh, six mil, four millimeter, eight millimeters if you want to, yeah. just literally alternate those with some nice little pearls, maybe oh, the pearls yeah. that you had in your kits earlier on. Yes. An over the head necklace. How yes. stunning would that again, be? If you're giving it as a gift, you don't have to give it with a lot of explanation because again, the person who's getting they the know gift what it is. most likely already know about They'll it. They'll know what it yeah. is. And I, and I think, I'm not Buddhist, but I'm so interested by Buddhism. Yeah. Because, you know, it takes you down that rabbit hole, if you like, and you're reading all these wonderful uh, sort of, uh, I don't know, mantras, the right word, philosophies. There we go, philosophies. Um, and it's just about being a good person, if yeah. you like. Yeah. So who, do, who wouldn't want to gift that? Of course, yeah. And we're saying gifting. Make sure you gift to yourself at the same time, you know, to get to, to have your Buddha happiness as well. Twi I'm happy. I'm, I'm doubly happy. I'm ecstatic <laughs> that we're giving you an opportunity a, a type A, it's not type B or type C, certified type A, natural, genuine jadeite, carved. Remember the words that I shared from Sotheby's, you know, the, 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 was it the jadeite expert that said this gemstone formed by mother nature and shaped with human hands. It should have that wow yeah. factor. I'm wowed uh, you know, over and over and over again by our master carvings. And the fact now that we're bringing it to you at basically under £30, crazy. We had just under 100 um, opportunities. Keep on dialing through. I can see you there on those phone lines. Don't abandon those calls and you will be successful. Um, well, I tell you what, the perfect gemstones to go alongside your jade eye is coming up. Uh, can you imagine the most gloriously harmonious palette of type A jadeite with supreme aquamarine. It's our coveted collection. And I love this, by the way. I think that's absolutely... Whoever came up with this idea, one of our team... Who? Who? Coveted, greatly desired or envied. 
this It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Make sure you go to our website, www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow, see you there. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Okay, my first ever opportunity to see the coveted collection in person. I've heard from our wonderful Wayne, who is our gemstone buyer and sales manager. He's been talking about this collection, and that's basically what the, I think the aim was. It's like, right, let's bring a collection. We know that we have connoisseurs. We know that we have uh, um, high-end retailers. We know that we have people who aspire to the best of all your gemstones. So let's put together a collection of maybe a selection of gems, um, bring you a grade that has never been on our screens before. Now it was launched, uh, I think on the weekend, I saw those tanzanites and oh my goodness me, they're unreal, literally unreal. 
Um, today, I have aquamarine. This grade is nothing short of magical. Oh my goodness me. Look at the perfection of that beautiful Santa Maria blue. Now, before I even bring graphics to, the, to our screens, I've got two separate strands. We have your ovals and we have rounds. But let's, let's read about aquamarine because let's be honest as well, we don't often see aquamarine anymore. So never of this grade before. So what is this beautiful gemstone? And, and whilst we're reading these wonderful, very poetic words written by the jewellery editor, take almost like a, a photograph in your mind of the quality of the aquamarines that are within this article. So the first piece, for example, that you're about to see, look at that beautiful eye-clean glacial blue. Stunning. The jewellery editor writes, from talisman to star of high jewellery, a short history on aquamarine. Legend has it that aquamarine jewellery, one of the precious four gems, was once a talisman for mariners stored by mermaids in their treasure chests. Aquamarine is a hard stone with a vitreous luster. Its colour can change from a deep blue to nearly translucent. Because of its unique glitter, many people prefer the lighter stones to those that are more saturated with blue. Its hardness makes it a favourite amongst gem cutters, allowing them to experiment with innovative cuts they wouldn't dare try with softer stones. Also, I need to say that with the, the nature of aquamarine's colour, they often showcase brilliance way more than maybe or than the many other blue gemstones out there. Because you have got that really beautiful sort of soft like pastel blue, it showcases that brilliance. We saw it in Adam's recording earlier on way more than if it were, say, a sapphire or maybe, uh, I, I don't know, a kyanite or a tanzanite. Can you see that glitter? That's the perfect word, isn't it? The glitter that is within the gemstone. Tiffany's & Co. designed an elegant 1920s-inspired necklace featuring a 49.5 carat emerald-cut aquamarine with diamonds and platinum and matching platinum drop earrings for the 2013 Great Gatsby film. And earliest, earlier this year, a Bulgari necklace featuring a prominent 13.5 carat aquamarine uh, protected by a coiled diamond-encrusted snake was sold to singer Justin Bieber during the Cannes Film Festival annual. Um, um, he outbid actor Leonardo DiCaprio and paid $545,000 for the serpentine necklace, which he gave as a very generous gift to his mother. How lovely is that? And here it is. Here is that necklace. Look at that. Remember what we were saying? Take almost like a memory snapshot, a photograph in your mind of the quality of the aquamarine. Or if you like, I can show you the two together. Do you see why the coveted collection is the coveted collection? It is the best that we have ever brought. I love this underneath. It says, greatly desired or envied. This is aquamarine that is absolutely enviable. Absolutely. Here's that uh, Tiffany's necklace that we were describing in that article as well. Look how beautiful that blue is. Uh, minimal facets within your emerald cut, really showcasing the quality of the colour worn in the Great Gatsby film. But there have been countless, uh, countless celebrities, uh, royals that have been photographed wearing this beautiful gemstone. And this is certainly, I think, one of the most famous aquamarine pieces of jewellery. Princess Diana wearing her aquamarine ring on the, uh, um, to an auction preview at Christie's of her own clothes in 1997. Of course, that photograph now has been, um, uh, has been uh, inherited, hasn't it? Uh, and Meghan actually wears that gemstone now. Uh, moving on, Kate Hudson, look at the size of this aquamarine, beautiful aquamarine ring. It is huge in its size, but you can see that really, really amazing, amazing uh, uh, sort of glacial blue. Uh, then you have, it's 
Justin Timberlake's wife. No, not Blake Lively. I've gone blank anyway. Um, a beautiful, she's a Hollywood actress and she's, she's lovely, isn't she? But there she is wearing um, a gorgeous uh, suite of jewellery. Look at the blue. And this is what we're focusing on. Sorry, Jessica, Jessica Beale, that's it. Sorry, Jessica Beale. Um, amazing high cheekbones as well, doesn't she? Um, but look at that beautiful, distinctive, glacial blue. And it's a full suite of jewellery that she's wearing in this wonderful gemstone. Moving on. Of course, of course, of course. Um, and by the way, you know, of, 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 of the Queen's jewellery uh, that she had, it was often actually written about that this was her very favourite. And that's because, you know, many, much of the, royals, uh, uh, the royal jewellery is actually uh, um, historic and sort of passed on or redesigned, if you like. This was something, this, the, the crown, the necklace, the earrings was all something that the Queen actually designed herself. So how amazing. So this is one of her, her very own, very personal, personal collection to her. Okay, well, the coveted collection launched this weekend. It has been incredibly popular, but with the nature of something that is as, as luxurious as supreme grade. You know, you've got to remember, if we were to, to make a comparison, and I always use diamonds because it's fairly straightforward and easy, but this is like a decolorless diamond in our world of gemstones. Does that make sense? We have never, never, never brought aquamarine of this grade before. It is the best that we have ever seen, and there are only 20 in the world. They come, as you would imagine, with something of this grade within your luxury box. 20 successful collectors will own this quality of aquamarine. And it will literally blow your mind how beautiful the blue is. Just taking my time to show you this round. Now I learned, uh, Wayne said to me earlier on, L, the, the coveted collections, the previous strands that we've done have been sort of the five centimetre strands. So this is thus far the longest strand that we have brought you out of the cover coveted strand uh, so far. You're not just getting one or two stones, you have an entire length. I will count them for you in a few moments' time. Um, but don't hesitate, there are 20 of these available. Did you take that memories photograph? Did you take that snapshot? Have you got that vision in your mind of what supreme grade aquamarine uh, should look like? And, it, and would you all agree that is exactly what we're seeing, even on a soft focus? What I'm referring to is that the gemstones which are just at the distance can you see that glacial blue? Often aquamarine, when it's teamed with, when it has clarity like this, when it has clarity like this, that's true. Sorry, five of these have already gone, Ross is just saying. That might not sound like a lot. That's 25% of the entire quantity that we have. Um, but aquamarine, when it actually has pristine, almost liquid-like clarity like this, often you will uh, substitute it for the color. You haven't got any substitutions. You've got that wonderful Santa Maria blue with pristine, that glitter effect that that article wrote about. Just using their beautiful words to describe this amazing historic gemstone. Absolutely, if we were to stop here, that's an amazing deal. Absolutely. Through drilled. I don't want to take this out of the box because they're that... They're that beautiful, I'm almost quite nervous. <laughs> I've seen countless aquamarine strands, countless gemstone strands. But this grade, what's that? Imagine, imagine in a bracelet, yeah. Imagine one of these on top of your Edison pearl that we had earlier on. Just one on top of the Edison. And if you, do, if you weren't with me this morning, they may still be available. It was crazy, 9.99 for an Edison pearl. Nine have gone, 50% of the stock, almost. We are not stopping at £349. Certified natural, one of 20 collectors. 20 collectors will, get it, will be lucky enough to get hold of these. 
a genuine aquamarine opportunity full of glitter that was so perfectly described by the jewellery editor, exquisitely faceted. Look at that dance of luster on the exterior of each and every single one of those stones. The, the focus one, 10 by 7 millimetres. Let's be honest, £149 for a 10 by 7 millimetre aquamarine of that size is amazing. I have nine left. The split pay is available and we are going lower. Lower. I will take this out the box. 30 carats. The best aquamarine that we have ever seen, hence why it is part of your coveted collection. Never done anything, anything, anywhere near this beautiful quality before. Look at this. Look at it against the skin. You can see that beautiful glitter effect. Imagine, I mean, are you gonna just, are you gonna reconfigure this? Are you gonna put this with some of your most luxurious jadeite or maybe some of your um, natural pearls, whether it's the Edison, whether it's the Akoya, or are you literally going to restrand it exactly as is? In 20 seconds though, we are dropping that price tag. The only, only challenge right now for you guys is to be one of those 20. In 10 seconds, have you ever seen anything like it? Hello to you, Jill. Wow, these aquamarine strands are on another level. So beautiful. My birthstone, and I love it. Lucky people who get this home. Absolutely. And by the way, Jill, I'm saying the same. I'm envious of those people that are lucky enough to get this, because I'm going to miss out for sure. There's only 20. Oh, wow. <laughs> 30 carats. 30 carats of the best aquamarine that we have ever brought to air and we're a double figure price tag. The phone lines, oh, we're hugely over allocated. It's first come, first serve. If you don't check out, listen, don't let that put you off dialing because at the end of the day, if it's in a basket and not yet checked out, it's not theirs. So first come, first serve, whoever makes that confirmation it is yours, and I would not be leaving this to chance. In 12 years of broadcasting here at Jewelry Maker, and I've been lucky enough to be a part of the bulk of that, so 10 years I've been here, I've never seen an aquamarine of this grade, um, of this quality, hence why it is the coveted collection. Manchester, Surrey, Hampshire, Lincolnshire, you've done it. I've got Merseyside, Warwickshire, Essex, Lincolnshire, Lancashire, Cambridgeshire, Hampshire, Essex, Abiola, West Midlands, and you do disappear off the bottom of the screen. I can't, I'm, I'm, I was reading uh, sort of counties there more than names just in case this was like a special, a special gift or a secret purchase. You can get this home. Well, yeah, it might be a, an amazing Christmas present if you're buying it for a loved one. There are eight left. Roscoe, no, no but Ross, are you allowed? We've, these have only just launched last week. You can't go doing things, silly things now, can you? A sensible head now. Okay, he says I can. I can do it. If we can do it, we'll do it. I was just a bit worried there. My genuine concern there, talking to Ross, that was like, Ross, we only actually launched this this weekend. Shouldn't be, we shouldn't be going lower, but we are. The worry now is... Some, uh, uh, well, a big proportion of you are going to miss out on this opportunity. Wow. And the, the colour of that is so there. beautiful. All the way across the studio from here, I can see... I can tell that it's aquamarine because the colour is, the colour. is amazing. But actually, I would set those stones vertically. So I would put them on head pins yeah. and then space them out on a strand of pearls or something, because that way you'd have the movement so you can see the, the sparkle and the clarity in them as well. That would be absolutely beautiful, wouldn't it? Like, like, like we said earlier on, Monica, we had the perfect Edison pearls earlier yes. that were half drilled. Yes. Can you imagine just gluing sort of a head pin with one of these aquamarines? Yes. And then directly onto your luxury earring findings. Oh, super. I mean, there's, there's, they're high-end pieces. 89.99, absolute madness for the quality that you see. Look, you know, I'm, I'm probably what you say, two meters away from the TV, from the TV screen before me. 
Look at that beautiful, beautiful glacial blue. It's that glacial blue teamed with the pristine clarity, which is making this so exciting. We have never, ever, ever done a grade like this before. The rounds are coming up immediately after this. Angela, Janice, Heather, Warwickshire, Linda, Blessing, Virginia, Lisa, Margaret, Moy, Janice, Mary, uh, another Virginia, Susan, Abiola, West Yorkshire, and I, there's another name that I can't see. Um, that's it, that's all we have. We've got two of them left. Two of them left. There was only ever 20 of these opportunities ever actually purchased. I'll leave the last two with you just because we have one more strands. Do you think I've got more of the rounds? No, I've got 20 of these as well. That's it. That's the thing. If you go into a jeweler and you say, I, I don't know, um, I'm looking for the best, the best possible aquamarine that you can offer me. But I also want a big carrot weight of it as well. Chances are, if they are able to bring you, show, show, show you a selection, it's going to be limited. The reality is 20 of you are getting a parcel. These are on another level. Oh, my goodness me, I want to buy these. Oh, I, there's something about a faceted round in aquamarine. It's that dance of luster. It's that glitter effect, which just seems to be only multiplied uh, by each and every single one of those facets. It is that gorgeous, almost princess blue, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's you know, you can, see, you can see your Cinderella blue. You can see your, your Elsa princess blue. You've got that beautiful, flawless, eye-clean clarity. I don't think oh, wow. I know these will sell out. Yeah. <laughs> I know it. Wow. Look at them. Wow. And then with every breath, you're going to see that beautiful brilliance all the more. Can you imagine one just in the centre of some Akoya pearls? Or What would you do, Monica, with something like this? Because they are so special. Well, if I'm going to put it with something, it's got to go with pearls, I think. Maybe white, white pearls. Yeah, like a crisp yeah. white. Because then it will sort of reflect, the pearls will reflect the colour. So you'd actually be using the pearls of the background. <laughs> yeah, basically. Don't, we don't do often, do no, we? No, no, no. We don't, we don't talk about, say, your South Sea pearls and say, yeah. tell you what, we'll use the South Sea pearls just to showcase the quality of another. Exactly. We don't. But that's exactly <laughs> what we would be doing right yeah. now. There are 20 opportunities and straight away we have confirmations. We're going to give you a minute on the, fo um, on the phone lines. There are 20 available. And then, are you all with me on this next sentence? That clock is ticking away. Once that clock hits zero, we're going to match that price. There are 20 opportunities, and straight away there are confirmations huge congratulations to the collectors who've got involved i have been completely and utterly blown away by the examples of the coveted collection that i have seen that tanzanite that we had um, that carol had the other day i saw that one on our social media team absolutely this aquamarine can you imagine if you're lucky enough to get yourself just a few of these different gemstones can you imagine? It's creme de la creme. It's the best that we've ever, ever, ever sourced in our 12 years of broadcasting. I've said it out loud. The faceted round. Every single one of us here, I'm really surprised because the ovals have more of a reaction than the rounds. I love them both, don't get me wrong, but I thought it was going to be these were the ones that were going to sell out the fastest. Wow. £89. If they don't sell out, then this is going to be my first coveted purchase. They're incredible, aren't they? Uh, uh, you know, uh, Director Adam, he's a man, of, a man of few words, aren't you, Adam? You know, you don't, you, it's not often I hear you sort of chirp up and go, oh, yeah, you know, talk about different gemstones, if you like, throughout the course of the show. You are blown away by these, aren't you? 
Yeah, they, he says they're phenomenal. That was his words. £89. Uh, £89. You can get hold of this for uh, on your split paper. Just £44.50. That's 30 carats from our coveted collection. Look at that beautiful glitter effect. There's so, such a perfect words that the uh, a jewellery editor to used to describe. Warwickshire, Linda, Angela, Janice, you've done it. Well done. I've also got Marie, Lynette, Susan, Mary, Margaret and Maker. You can add my name to the bottom of that list as well because um, I'm blown away by these beautiful rounds. They're absolutely stunning, aren't they? And the fact that these are, it's high end, you know, but for example, like the uh, Princess Diana Aquamarine or yeah. um, some of the pieces that we saw on the red carpet. This is, this is top quality that we can work with as jewellery makers though as well. I mean, I, I can't believe these prices, to be honest with you. I remember four years ago, way back before I was a guest designer, and I came to a workshop at Ivy House, and Mark's favourite gemstone at the time was Aquamarine. Aquamarine. So he brought in this strand, which was uh, about the, the, the size, but they were rondelles, so they weren't perfectly mm -hmm. shaped rondelles. They were kind of a little bit, not rough nuggets, they were faceted, but yep. um, not perfect shapes like this. And he said, that's his favourite strand, and he showed it to us. And then it went on air, and it was £300. Yeah, I know that what was the final about. price. Yeah, £300. £300, £89. Pounds. Uh, we've never done... We, look, at, look at that recording. We have never done grade like this before. Never. It's amazing. And, and genuinely, I can't find any, anything that I could critique this strand on. It's stunning quality. I'll leave the last couple with you. Absolutely beautiful. Well done. Um, my first experience of your coveted collection. Now, there is still so much to bring you this morning. We have got an amazing masterclass, one very on trend, very wearable. Um, and I can't wait to see the actual technique of how you actually make them. So join Monica and I after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Make sure you go to our website www.jewelrymaker.com. We have got over a thousand lines going into a huge online exclusive clearance with up to 95% off prices. Wow. See you there. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. 
You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. chuckling because I found something out that I should have known but I didn't know but I do now <laughs> this which is part of your kit is it launching today then it is yes guess who designed it well I had a bit of input from Debbie Bulford she makes them up but amazing with the original idea yeah <laughs> you are a genius um, well, obviously, we've got the, the as, as long as you need Super. to talk us through. So this amazing bit of kit, never been on our screens before. No. You get the loom. And you won't get it anywhere else either. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. There is, ah, oh, look, you have to come on and just literally rain on our parade, don't you, Ross? <laughs> Here's us, literally on cloud nine, talking about how exciting Monica's designed it, never exclusive. Ross comes on in there going, yeah, but there's only 70 there, well. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh dear. Ross. To be, <laughs> to be fair, I'm only joking, Ross. You know I'm joking, <laughs> don't you? Um, if he doesn't tell me that, then I'm not going to tell you and then people will miss out. So you've got to dial in nice and early if you want to guarantee, if you want to get hold of these. So, well, Monica, talk us through right. this kit. Um, well, I'll show, do you want to show the kit first or should I talk about the loom first? Let's go with the loom. Right, so if I just move these out of the way. So yeah, you can see they can come to me. So when we came up with this loom, um, Georgia said to me, is there a loom that isn't out there? So basically she said to me, can I design a loom that you, you that is sort of missing? Is there a gap in the market? Exactly. So at that time, I was looking, if you can see this, I was looking uh, online. Everybody was making hat bands. Love hands. it. On holiday, I wanted to make hat bands. I remember you making that. Yes, I put it on Facebook. Yes, I remember. <laughs> um, anyway, and then I thought, well, I always struggle with making long, straight pieces because obviously the band goes all the way around. Yeah. So I always struggle with making long pieces uh, with a loom because you get all sorts of looms. You get bigger looms, you get smaller looms. But if you have to make a longer piece, you normally what you would do is you would wind it around the mandrel at the end. But then you have, uh, because you usually have a little, um, let me just unti undo this. Get your wing nuts. Yeah. So usually you have something poking out at the end, which you need on there. So you're going to use that. But that gets in the way of whatever you're winding around it. So, and then you have to also take it almost take it off the loom to be able to wind it onto the ends. So it's a struggle, basically, if you want okay. to make something long. So I said, well, what we need is a long loom. It doesn't have to be wide because you're not going to make a tapestry, most likely. Um, uh, but it needs to be long. It needs to have so, length. Yes. Okay. So what we've done is we've made an adjustable loom. So if you take this middle section out, mm -hmm. and it comes with full instructions in the, in the box as well, really straightforward instructions. Um, so what you're going to do is you've got to take, actually, I only need to take one of the wing nuts. Oh, look. So this middle bit comes out. So this is how it comes, basically. It comes disassembled, so you have to put it together. Yeah, but I don't think I need a, a degree, do no, I? To put no, this you together? don't. Right. 
because you've got, so it comes flat, so these pieces come flat, and then you get the little bits on the end, and yeah. then you just have the wing that's, so you just assemble it like that. Uh -huh. These bits come out, which Ooh. I will explain more about in a little bit. So once you've assembled it like that, you can make it as long as <gasps> that. Oh, hang on a minute. So this is a little bit like the paracord one that's adjustable. Exactly, yeah. Cool. So then you put your little wing nut onto one end of your little... This is... I, I didn't put this one together. But somebody else put it together and they used the wrong ends. Let me just fix that. Oh, dear. <laughs> because you'll notice when you get your kit, or when you get your, your box with a loom in, so you've got three of these... Um, Spools. The spools, I suppose. Two of them have got the little uh, eye, eyelet in there. Yeah. One of them doesn't. So the one that doesn't have the eyelet is the one that goes in the middle of your loop. Right. Okay. The one that does have, or the ones that do have the eyelet, go in the end of your loop. And they go into this bottom hole here. Okay. Sorry, not like that. Uh, what am I doing? You have to take your wing nut off. Uh, no. <laughs> Just need to take the spool oh, off. Oh, yes. That's it. And then you put it in the middle. I'm not looking at it in the right direction. Do you want me to there do it? Go. Here you go. There we go. There we, go. there we are. I can get it through there. I can do that. She says confidently. <laughs> it's twisted now. Why is it twisted? Hang on. Wait a minute. There you go. There you go. And now put your wing nut on. Put your wing nut on. Yeah, exactly. So you do the same here as well in the middle. Okay. Oh. I'm doing it left-handed. That's the thing. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it in front of the camera without whipping it away. You know, I totally sim I, 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 I've got nothing but respect for you designers. I've got to do it right-handed. I can't do it left. Um, because to do this everything at arm's length, yeah. it, it's just such a talent, such an amazing talent. There you go. There you go. Do you want me to tighten it all the way? Yeah, it's fine. You can tighten it. Okay. Up. And that one. There you go. Okay. And then you put the two together. It doesn't matter really if you put one, both of them inside or if you put one outside and the other one outside. It doesn't matter. It works either way. And so you put your middle spool in. In there. In there. Out the other side. Do a clever egg putting this there. together. So, so you have, basically you have an extra long loom. Now this will be long enough. Um, I made that hat band on this hat. I made it uh, on the prototype of this loom. So it's long enough to make a hat band. It's also long enough to make one of the three wrap uh, bracelets. Okay. So if you pass that over to me, I can show sure. you. Sure. That that's beautiful, by we'll the way. We'll talk about the fastening in a minute as well, because that's also brilliant. But if you have a look, so this will fit <gasps> onto there. Amazing. That's a three wrap bracelet. Uh, that will fit, fit, so fit beautiful, on. love that. Okay. Yeah. And then of course, when you pack it away, you can either flatten it. But even if you, whether you flatten it or not, obviously it's much smaller. So that's the, the shorter version. That's okay. The shorter so you can go. literally customize so, it then yeah. to, 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 to to whatever to, length, to whatever length, length so you, you want. If you want to do a two wrap bracelet, you can make it a little bit shorter. Um, so that that's how it works. Now on the end pieces here, you've got these plates which come out. Okay, mm -hmm. and you've got three different types. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, so this comb, well, I'm going to call it a comb, really. This comb here works for your size 11 and your size 8 seed beads. Okay. Okay, and then you've got a larger one, yeah. which will work for, if you want to use, uh, let's say, some 4 millimeter gemstones, or you want to use uh, size 6 seed beads, or anything like that. And then you've got the really big one, which will work for thicker, really thick, uh, maybe le thicker leather cords. And you've also got the holes in, in there. So if you want to use it for paracord or if you want to use it for macrame even, uh, then you've got the holes to use for attaching your um, thicker cords. You have literally there. thought of everything. Well, <laughs> this bit actually, I have to say, this was uh, Debbie, Bul Debbie Bulford's idea to have the different... Amazing. So, that so it, was, it was a bit of a collaboration, yeah. Well, two two very experienced jewelry makers. Yeah, that, exactly. that, You know that know, exactly. and that's the best. The best designs come from those people, yeah. don't they? The ones that literally because make jewelry. you know jewelry. what you need it for. You know, you know how to how you want to use it. So absolutely. You know. So these just slot into the end. Amazing. And then you just pick whichever one you want to. Um. Well, I tell you what. Let's open the graphics 
Um, we're going to, well, 60 second clock. We'll make it fair for absolutely everybody. We don't want you to miss out on this. So it's different to any other loom that we've done before. And I agree, Monica, when you said, you know, if you want to do a tapestry, there's looms for that. Yeah. With the, with the sort of the width. Um, but there hasn't been a loom that, uh, with, the, with the length, yeah. that extra length. Exactly. So genius. Let me show you everything that you, well, it's on the, on the screens right now. So you're getting two spools of your leather cord. Yeah. Um, as well in black and in tan you're getting all of your lovely tubes are these delicas now these are extra special delicas are they what makes they're them not extra actually special called delicas they're called i think they're called cut cut seed beads because okay. they're basically faceted delicas so it's it's like an octagonal shape so that gives them so much extra sparkle. Oh, they're beautiful colours. Um, I've never used them before, to be honest with you. This is the first time, and I love them. I they do. Them. Do you know, it struck that... Look at the sparkle. Yeah, the, I was going to say, they do sparkle so much more. Yeah. Oh. It's the same as with gemstones, you know, when you when you have the faceted gemstones, they're much more sparkly oh than, my the, goodness. than the round gemstones. Are you ready? The graphics are live. You do also get your fastenings. So which I'll show you um, in, in Monica's beautiful bracelets. I love this bracelet, Monica. It's absolutely gorgeous. So there you go. You also have the fastening just there. Monica, stunning, absolutely stunning. And this is like a wraparound design, yep. but there's different versions, which I'll show in a yep. few moments. The, uh, again, this kit will absolutely sell out. You get uh, this so premiere. Yeah. Has never been seen before. No. Exclusive. Yep. <laughs> Monica Design, yes. collaboration with Mon wonderful Debbie. Yes. Only, only negative is that we've only got 70. Yeah. We need more. Okay. It's called a hex cut. A hex cut. So it's a hexagonal shape, a uh, delicate bead. It's it. gorgeous. It's absolutely the same, gorgeous. the same size as your size 11 delicate beads, really. And they're stunning. They create that fabric, don't they? They do. And I mean, I can't get over the sparkle, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Monica, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. This is right up my street, this design. And if you're going to show something that I can maybe achieve. Yeah, it's really easy. Saying that, I'm going to miss out. There's going to be loads of people and it's going to miss out. Absolutely beautiful. Love it, love it, love your, it. Your leather cords as well, which are really great as well. There's 10 metres on each of those. So you so can... 20 metres... Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of jewellery so that, there. That will be enough for, um, I don't have a tape measure, so I don't know how long this is. I would guess it's probably about uh, 60 centimetres, 60, let's say 70 centimetres. No, I'm going to say, pro yeah, 60 was probably about right. 60. In and terms of length to length. Extra on the ends, so yeah. let's say maximum 1.4 metres is what you would use yeah. to, for one of those bracelets. Yeah. So from one spool, you'd be able to get, oh, my maths, two, four, six. So you'd get, you'd get at least 12 bracelets out of those two spools of, um, of leather. Amazing. So they're going to go, they're gonna go um, a long way. Oh, well, wait, that's not our price. Oh. No way near, says Roscoe. Oh. <gasps> Everybody pays that final low. Oh, you that can create. <laughs> Oh, really? Is this what you've been briefed at? Thought, well, I, that's what I thought, yeah. Because I, I thought that was reasonable. Wow. Oh. And that's a tool that's reusable, right? Of course, yeah. And I mean, here you've got three, six, seven tubes of, of beads as well. And for one of those wraparound bracelets, you'd probably need less than a full tube. Wow, so you can make seven out of the at tubes? Least, yeah, probably at least. Eight. Eight. Amazing. I love them. I absolutely love them. And you've got, what is it, five clasps? Five clasps, yeah. Five clasps. We have got another colourway to bring you as well. Um, this one obviously includes the loom, this extra long loom. And I can remember you start, there's various different looms. We had yeah. the one that's kind of like a boat shape. We yes. had one that's really wide. Yes. Um, uh, there's yeah. another wooden one which you kind of like sl slot together and it had like a wedge. Uh, that's the, the endless loom. Endless loom. Endless loom, yeah. But, but you're of, right, none, none with which have long, this length. Straight long piece, yeah. Genius. Monica <laughs> spotting the gap in the market and she's straight on in there. 30 have gone and we've got 40 left. We will take every single pound and penny that we can. You won't find this anywhere else. It is exclusive. Designed by lovely Monica, first time to air, shouldn't go any lower than this, but shall we bring you a launch deal? I hope we do these again. I hope we are ordering so. these again. Well, if they, if they sell out today, we probably will. Good. Okay, <laughs> that would be good. 
Well, I'm going to be honoured to do it again, to be honest. <laughs> I love the fact that it's both you and Debbie that have uh, collaborated yeah. with this amazing. It's genius. It's absolutely genius. And the fact also, it's not a scary tool to put together. No. Because no. there are some looms, Monica, that I go, all right, you've already lost me. <laughs> the inter you've already lost me. I don't want to start looming because you've already lost me in the, pu in, in the putting together. And of course, it's all MDF, so you can decorate it yourself as well. Oh, you could bling up your loom. Yes, I was really tempted or to what, or, or what did you? What were, what were people actually uh, suggesting that this was called? Oh, I don't want to say. Go on. <laughs> For a minute, that was going to be called the Lumica. <laughs> Lumica. The Lumica. <laughs> I think we should have stuck with that personally. But no, it's not. It's called the adjustable loom, isn't adjustable. it? Mm -hmm. Adjustable <laughs> loom designed by yours truly, the lovely Monica. There were only 70 of these. This is a launch deal. I don't know if we, get, we shouldn't be doing it. And moving forward, it probably will be the previous price point. The fact that you've got leather in there as well, two yeah. spools of leather. So what and did you say in terms of meterage? There's 10 metres on each of those. 10 metres on each. Meters, yeah. So you've got 20 metres of your leather. You've got the adjustable different... I don't know what to describe them as. Combs, I suppose. Cones, combs, okay. yeah. combs. You've got five of your lovely uh, class that you can see. You've got what seven, seven of your hex beads, which I don't know tubes. if we've had these on before. I don't. They They're lovely. Be, might be new. They're gorgeous colours as well. I don't know if we can uh, um, think and just look. Can you see? It's like a tanzanite like blue just here. Beautiful, beautiful colours within these as well. Super duper sparkly. Then you've got like a specify orange, yeah. gorgeous, very crimson red. Looks much darker on your screens than it actually is in light. Uh, then you've got a lovely dusky pink. You've got like a chartreuse. And is that black? Mm, it's kind of like a oh. black, like black AB type. Yes, yeah. like an AB colour. So you've got like oil and water. You're getting all of those colours as well. There were only 70. Caroline, Angela, Jeanette, Mary and Jerry, Deborah, Alison, Jacqueline. Keep on dialing through. There's loads of you there. And any questions that you have for Monica, do message us. We have got another kit, kit to bring you. Um, but Monica, you prompt me when you want to do that. Okay. And take it away. Well, I was going to say that obviously you can make normal length, well, I say normal length, single length bracelets with it as well when you put it on the shorter length. So like that one, it's just a, a single wrap bracelet. And then the buttons that you get with it, I mean, they're called buttons. Um, I'll show you what they look like. So they're just like that with the two big holes mm -hmm. in, okay? And all I've done is I've put the leather through the end and then I've put a crimp bead on the end and then cut it oh. off. So that's just two crimp beads on the end of the leather. Now, if your leather is thicker, because this is the, uh, the leather that's in this kit is the same as the leather that I've used, but in the other kit, we've got thicker leather. If your leather is too thick to put a crimp bead on, you can just tie a knot in it. Yeah. Uh, so that'll work as well. So, but it makes for a really nice um, closure, and it's a closure that you can do up with one hand. So you can quite easily put this uh, put this bracelet on one-handed. I know because I tried it out. Because <laughs> you've done it. Yeah. Now I'm making a proper mess. Of it. <laughs> Show it's live it. TV. It's live TV, that's the thing. Yeah. But you can, so you just put it through the loop at the end. Look at that, they're so professional, they're so they, neat. They look so neat, that's, that's the thing, yeah. So I love these, I love these uh, buttons as well that come in the kits. Amazing. And they, um, right. yeah, the only way we can bring you any of these components is part of this one kit, and it is a special launch saving for you all. Um, okay, so I'm going to use this loom yes. here because my loom is uh, busy with another piece, which I'm going to show you how to finish off. Okay. <laughs> So let me just make this shorter because I don't want to um, have to use the whole desk for my demo. <laughs> okay. So that's good put that it you on can the literally short. do it that long. So that's even like uh, shoulder straps and things like that. Yeah. For your, for your handbags. Exactly, yeah, and belts. Wow. I mean, it wouldn't be long enough to do a belt, so you would still have to wind it onto the end if you wanted to do a belt. But for the hat band and for a triple wrap, and I mean, the triple wrap bracelets at the moment are really popular, so... Yeah. Um, it works superbly well for that. Okay. Give me a second to just get this wing nut on here. <laughs> no, don't you worry. There we go. Right, so you just assemble it like that. Now, when you assemble it, what you want to do is... Oh, how can I show this here? So you've got the, the little eyelet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so loosen the end. And turn, put, assemble it so that the eyelet is kind of pointing downwards, not directly down, a little bit forward but sort of um, almost downwards, okay? And I'll explain why you need that later. And you tighten up your ends, and you do the same thing on the other side as well. So you've got your little eyelet in there, and you just tighten that up. 
Right. So now, um, for the bracelets with the leather, what you want to do, let me just, actually, I think I'm going to move this over for a second so I can show you the actual loom. Okay. Yeah. We can put do you want me to hold that one? Yeah. Yeah. I can be right. your assistant. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, it's connected. <laughs> it's fine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, obviously, you want to put uh, your leather on there and you want to put your thread. Now, I want to talk about the threads as well, actually, that we're going to have in a minute. So we've got a pack of the Mayuki threads, which are, if you're not using Fireline or Wildfire, if you want a softer thread, these are probably the best ones that you can get. I mean, they're, they're called Mayuki because they're designed for, this, for Mayuki beads, for the best seed beads. So these are probably the, this is probably the best thread that you can get if you're looking for a softer thread. Okay. These are great also for uh, fringed earrings, for tassels, all that sort of thing, because they're really, really soft threads. So I've got them here. As you've mentioned yeah, them, they're just in front of me yeah, right now. Can we do those quickly? Yeah, of course. How many have we got of these? Because I don't think we've... 90. I don't think we've actually ever, ever, it's, ever done it's this before. 50 metres on each ball. So wow, go so they go a, a long, long way. way. Go a long way. Look at those beautiful colours. So if I just tilt one forward, you can see the Mayuki beading thread. So what is softer than wildfire? It's a then? soft thread. It's, it's basically a nylon thread. Um, so it's really uh, flowy. So as I say, for things like fringed earrings and for people struggle to find the right thread for fringes and for tassels and that mm -hmm. sort of thing, which is softer than, uh, uh, than something you would use Fireline or Wildfire for, mm -hmm. then um, these are great for that. And they're still really, really strong. I mean, you would struggle to break that with your fingers. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, and I say there's 50 metres on this. You've got 350 metres in that, in that bundle there. That's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, so you get all seven of them. Really simple descriptions of colours, which is quite unlike my Yuki, to be fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, blue, gold, green, pink, purple, red and yellow. There we go. There go. Very straightforward. <laughs> Very unlike my Yuki there. Um, never done this thread before. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. And it's a really sort of a shiny colour and really strong colour as well. So, so this is what you've kind of woven the beads onto. Exactly. I mean, oh, you can you just can see it there. Because you can use a contrasting thread or you can use a matching thread. Wow, thirty nine um, ninety nine for all of those. Yeah, you've got seven of those, so that's that's just over five pounds each. Yeah, that's brilliant. I know it's fifty meters on there. So, know. like I said, it's going to keep you well stocked for a good time. Exactly, exactly. So, um, what you would you use? And uh, there's another good thing about this thread, which I will show you, is how to join two pieces together because sometimes people also struggle to join an extra thread, and this thread makes it really easy. Okay. So, when you take it off the spool, obviously it's a little bit sort of curly, like that. If you can see that. So what you want to do is you want to take that curl out. So you just want to take off sort of a meter from the spool and you just want to give it a bit of a stretch. Okay. okay. And then that's how you're going to use it because that does two things. It takes the curl out of the thread, but it also, um, uh, it also stretches it a bit because this thread does have a bit of stretch in it. Mm -hmm. So for something solid like a brace, like a loom bracelet, you want to take that stretch out so that it doesn't stretch afterwards. Um, if, you do, if you're using it for uh, peyote stitch or something like that, you don't need to take that stretch out. But it still helps to stretch it a little bit because, uh, as I say, it takes the curl out of it as well and it makes it less sort of tangly. It doesn't tangle very much, but um, it's difficult to work with if it's got yeah. the little waves in. Um, uh, before, I don't want to interrupt you through your, your demonstrations, but um, I've just heard that we're going to drop that price. Oh, really? We're going to go lower. How many do we have? 90. 40 you've already gone. But that was never your price, apparently. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Didn't realise that. Dorothy, Susan, Nicolette, London, Linda. Can I use this in a, in, not just in looming? With the, you I, I know you said fringing and things like yeah, that. Yeah, you can use it for any sort of um, seed beading. Okay. Um, as I say, I mean, yeah. it's a Mayuki thread, so it's made to be used with, with beading. Beads, yeah. So we're talking about seven spools, $24.99. What's that? Four, just under four pounds? Well, well. <laughs> and there's the same amount on here as there actually there's more on here than there is on the spool of fire line wow because that's 50 yards so that's 45 meters this is 50 meters each wow so it's going to go a long way so don't be fooled by these little little tiny yeah. sizes <laughs> actually they go they, they, there's a lot on there, there is. sorry monica okay. okay just wanted to drop that price so everybody could, uh, knows where it was back to you right so obviously for a leather brace that you're going to use the leather on either side of it and you're going to use this thread in the middle for your beading. Mm -hmm. So you want to put the, um, the thread onto your loom first. Okay, so now this is why you have this little um, 
eyelet at the bottom here because what you want to do first is you want to take your thread. Now this is a piece I haven't cut off the spool, so leave it on the spool for now. And you want to put this thread through the little eyelet on the end. Mm -hmm. And you just want to tie a knot. You can tie two or three knots just to make sure that it stays there. It doesn't really matter how many knots you tie. You can do a surgeon's knot. You just give it a tug afterwards, make sure it's secure. That's all you're doing here. It doesn't really matter how you tie it on there. Just knot it well onto there so it doesn't come off. Okay. So when you've got it on the eyelet, then you want to take some off the spool and stretch it out, as I said earlier. Okay. And then what you're going to do, so if you're doing, let's say, this bracelet, I'm just going to bring it over here. So you'll see, actually, now I'm going to use the blue one, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're doing this bracelet, so I've got five Bs going across this bracelet here. Uh -huh. So what you need to remember with looming is if is your long threads, obviously, sit on either side of the beads. Okay, now, when I say long threads, I mean the leather on either side and okay. the threads in between. Okay, so because you've got five beads, you're going to need six long, long ways. Uh, what are they called? They're called the, the warp threads. So you're going to need six of the warp threads because obviously if you have six beads, then you've got five spaces in between them. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So if you have five beads, you need one extra warp thread. So you're going to need six threads in this case. Now, two of those are going to be the leather on either side, like so. Okay. Okay. So take the two off the six, so you've got four left. So you need four lengths, four warp threads of your Mayuki thread. Okay. So you're going to put it into one of the little grooves. This is the smallest comb that I'm using here because I'm using size 11 seed beads. And you're going to put it through the comb. You're going to take it to the other side. Okay. And then on the other side, this is why you need your eyelet to be pointing downwards because you're going to wrap it around the eyelet. Mm -hmm. Okay. If, you're, if your eyelet is pointing upwards, I mean, it shouldn't slip off because the eyelet is, is bigger on the end, um, obviously. So it would still catch on, but it's more secure if it's pointing downwards. So you want to add your thread on there. Keep a fairly tight tension on there. Um, not so tight that it's going to, I mean, it's not going to break, but you just need it tight enough to be uh, sort of um, taut, basically. And you're going to bring it back again. And you're going to go into the next groove on this end and around the eyelet again, and then back into the next groove to the other end. And you would do it exactly the same as this, whatever length your loom was set to. Um, okay, so this is my fourth thread. So, oh, I didn't have my um, comb pushed in properly. Let me just tighten it up a little bit. You want to make sure that your threads are properly tight at this point. You don't want any loose threads. Yeah, and you want to make sure that your combs are pushed properly in because if you push it in later, like I did now, then it's all going to loosen up. Right. So this is the hardest part. As with all beading, really, the hardest part is getting started. <laughs> so you've got your four, I've got my four strands there. You can see that quite well. Okay, and then after the last one, you're going to wrap it around the eyelet a few times. Okay, then you can cut it off your spool. So leave a little bit extra on there. Cut it off the spool. And then what I like to do on the end to secure the end is I take this thread, this, this is the end of my thread, and I put it under these threads here. So the easiest way to do that, just stick your finger behind and pull it through. Because then your thread will come under these threads which are quite taut and then you pull it down it gets caught under your threads here by the eyelet and just do that a couple of times maybe even three times just to make sure that it's nice and secure right so that's got your four threads attached to your loom there so now you want to attach the leather now there's two ways you can do the leather if you have a full long piece of leather I have a, a small piece left here but if you have the full spool then what I did with the leather is I put it through this hole here. You have a hole on the side there, okay? And then what I did was I undid this um, uh, wing nut and I wrapped it around. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to attach it in a different way in a second. I wrapped it around the, nut, the screw and then I tightened ah, back my clever. wing nut. So that held onto my, th uh, my leather there. But if you only have a smaller piece to do, then the other way that you can do it is you just tie a knot on the end, like that, okay? And you hook it into one of the grooves. Now, the good thing about this um, comb being made out of MDF is that it's not slippery. So things don't slip in and out of it very easily. So you can quite easily just hook it onto there, like that. Then I'm going to the other end. 
All right. And then I put that into the next groove, then bring it around and into the next groove that's empty, like that. And that holds it onto there quite nicely. Okay, and then you want to bring it into this one. So you want to put a knot here to secure the other end. So just tie a knot and then you can move it over if it's not quite in the right spot. Just try to get it more or less in the right place. I need to pull that a bit tighter. Right, so that holds onto there quite nicely. I'm just going to tighten it a little bit more. There we go, right? So that's your leather attached and all your threads attached there. Uh, and I mean, you can see this other one that I did. I brought it from home uh, just like that, and it hasn't come undone, even though I lugged it along with me. I will admit as well, I did put my hand down on it, and I still didn't move. Oh, well, there you go. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. Right, so that's your, that's your um, loom set up for a long brace. So now that wasn't so bad. Uh, no, I mean, that's the hardest part, to be honest. Wow. With <laughs> okay, so then you want to start with your beading. So I have this piece of thread here that I cut off earlier. So how do you start? So this end here, where you've got your loop um, of, your, of your leather, that's going to be, um, the, well, it's going to be the loop end of your bracelet, obviously, <laughs> like that, okay? So you want to start at that end, and you want to start fairly close. You don't have to start, it doesn't really matter how close um, you start, because you're going to adjust it later to fit your, um, you, to fit your button. But start sort of um, half an inch from, from the end of the loom there, okay? So what you're going to do with your thread, you're going to take a piece of thread, and you're going to tie it, you're going to knot it onto the leather on the left-hand side, okay? So just do, you can do a surgeon's knot again here, just to make sure it's really nice and tight, and about half an inch from the end there. So do, wrap it around twice. Okay, so that's now really secure there. Okay? Now, for your needle that you're gonna use, uh, I like to use the big eye needles. Um, if you're doing a narrow bracelet like this, you can use an ordinary beading needle. I like to use the big eye needles only because, first of all, they're easy, easier to thread because they just open out like that. And the whole, a whole needle is basically an eye, so it's very easy to get your thread in there. Um, I think we recently had some of these on the website, so we might still have some. So you just put your thread through the middle like that. The other reason I like to use these for looming is because they're not as sharp, not as pointy as your uh, beading needles, right? Um, so when, you, when you're doing your, your weaving, you don't want to go through the threads. Um, I mean, with this kind of looming, it doesn't really matter if you do go through the threads, so don't worry about it too much, but um, it's still easier to get through the beads if you're not going through the thread. So a needle that's not quite as sharp is always better to use, okay? Or you, you get the looming needles as well. You can use those as well. Just, you just need to make sure your needle is uh, thin enough to go through the beads that you're using. And then these, uh, as I said, were size 11 delicate beads, so you need quite a small needle. So you can use a size 10 beading needle if, if that's what you have at home. So you're gonna thread your needle onto your, onto your thread. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thread and you're gonna take it under your work, okay? So your thread is going underneath, okay? Then you're gonna pick up your sequence of five beads. Now I've got the beads on the wrong side here, but never mind. I would have them on the right-hand side normally but just for purposes of this demo, it's fine. So I'm just gonna pick up, so I've got a sequence of five beads there. Right, I don't know if you can see it better, maybe on the board. Yeah, probably a little bit better here. So I'm gonna shift everything over for a second. There we go, I think that's probably better. Right, so I've picked up my five beads here. Now my thread is underneath my warp threads. I'm gonna bring my beads down, okay? Mm -hmm. And then what you, what you do is you pull your thread. I like to hold my thread in my hand like that. Okay, put your needle down. And then you're gonna, you can push your beads along. And then what you want to do is you want to position your beads so that you've got one bead in each of the gaps between your threads. So again, the first row is usually the hardest. So can you see I've got one bead in each gap? Like they're about to run a race. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to take your needle and you're gonna go through those beads in the opposite direction. So my thread is coming out here on the right-hand side. So I wanna start here on the right-hand side and go back in the other direction. And I'm gonna go into the beads above the warp threads. So if you imagine my thread currently that's coming through is under all my warp threads. Now I want to go back over the top of the warp threads. Yeah. 
which means the warp threads are going to be caught between two, your two uh, working threads. Right, so this is why it's good to have a needle that's not so sharp because it's easier to go through the beads without poking the thread. Right, so you'll see if I let go, those beads are staying there because yeah. I've got one thread going underneath and I've got one thread going above. Okay, and I'm going to pull the thread through. Okay, and then now the first row at first is going to be quite loose. Okay, because uh, obviously you've got the threads pulling them apart because your five beads are a little bit narrower than the spaces that you have. Don't worry about that, just leave it like that for now. So now what you wanna do is you, you got your, you've got your thread on the left again. So you wanna go under all your work again to bring your thread over to the right hand side. Then you're gonna pick up your next combination of beads. So I'm gonna pick up my five beads again. Okay. And again, I'm gonna bring all my beads down to, down to my loom. Sorry, my hands are in the way there. Right, and push them down to the work there. And then again, put your finger underneath. So I put my, my pointing finger on my left hand underneath and I put my thumb over the top, uh, which works really well, especially in this case, because obviously your leather is standing a little bit higher than your, than your Mayuki thread. So if you hold it kind of like that, and then you can take your, your index finger and you can push your beads up through the threads using your index finger. And again, you want to put one bead between each of the threads, okay? And again, you're gonna go from in the opposite direction, right to left. I mean, if you're left-handed, you probably do it the other way. So I'm just gonna say in the opposite direction. So you wanna go through the beads above all your warp threads, okay? And then again, you're gonna pull it tight. Now this is the second row. So now if you pull it tight, it's gonna start holding its position a bit better, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm just gonna do a third row quickly. So again, make sure you go under first, then you pick up your beads. And you use these uh, delicates just the same way as you use your normal delicates, they just have the, the extra sparkle, okay? So the third time, so can you see now the threads are spaced out a bit more uh, the same size as your as your beads. So now it becomes easier to push them into position. They kind of sort of sit in the right place on their own. So it's only the first two rows that are uh, that are a bit more sort of tricky. And then again, you want to go through all the beads. I'm trying not to lean very close here, <laughs> especially with the light color beads. Right. Make sure you've gone through all the beads. I missed the last one there. Okay. So I've gone through all the beads again. And then again, when you pull it tight, so now here, can you see that it's now holding the width and you're going to work on this end afterwards anyway. What I forgot to mention actually, when I tied on the starting thread here, leave a tail of about uh, 30 centimeters. If you forget, that's okay too, because I'm gonna show you how to uh, join in thread, but um, you want to leave a bit of a tail thread so you can finish this end afterwards, okay? So now I'm gonna switch to my, pre-prepared pre one. So here's one I made earlier. <laughs> so I just need my needle back. I'm gonna give this back to Al. Okay. Right. So I carried on with this one in exactly the same way as what I've just shown you. Right, so you can see that's where I started. Now I've finished off this end, but I'm gonna show you how to finish off the other end in the same way. Right, so that's my bracelet length. So that would be like a single wrap, wouldn't it? This is a single wrap, yeah. Okay, let me just put my needle onto this end. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna show you how to join in the thread because I think that's quite important because you do use quite a lot of thread. So I'm gonna cut this thread off here. So what you're gonna do if you need to join in thread is you take your new piece of thread and you're going to make a loop with it, right? Just like that. So I've got the, the short end going over the top, okay? And then I'm gonna take the long end and I'm gonna put it through that loop. It's basically a slip knot that you're creating. So take that middle bit. So you've done a slip knot, right? Okay, so when you pull that tight, you've got a little loop here where you can pull on the long end of your thread and that makes your loop smaller. Okay, so I'll show you again. So if you pull that out, your knot will come out. So put your shorter end over the long thread, okay, then take your long thread over the top and through that loop that you've made there, 
Oh, scouts will be thinking, yeah, I know how to do this. Right, so you've got a basic, basic slip knot. Okay. Okay. Then you want to pull that loop so it's a little bit smaller. Okay. Then you take your old thread, which is nearly finished, and you just put it through that loop. Okay. Just put it, uh, I don't know how best you can see that. So I've just put my old thread, threaded it through the loop. doesn't matter which yeah, direction, you just put it through there. And then you're going to pull the long end of your new thread to make that loop smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, until it disappears. And then you're going to take both ends of your new thread. Okay, so you imagine you've got that little slip knot loop in the middle, which is holding your old thread. And you're going to pull that until you feel a click. Okay. So you want to feel a click. You need to pull it quite tight. But as I say, it's a strong thread, so it's not going to break. Once you feel that click, it's kind of secured itself in place. So now, if I pull on the two threads, it's completely secured with a new thread. So now I've attached a new piece of thread. And then these two loose ends, I like to cut them a bit shorter. So cut them to sort of an inch long. Okay, so now you've got your new thread attached. And then all you would do is you would carry on with your, with your beading, which I'm going to do now actually anyway. And you're not going to cut those uh, ends off. You're going to leave them on there. And as you're working through your work, these little, end, these little tail bits are going to work themselves into the beads. Uh, so you don't need to cut them off. Okay. And also it makes a really small knot because it's a really thin thread, so you won't have any trouble going through the beads even a couple of times. Okay. So to finish it off, the only thing you do differently to the rest of it is, again, you go under your work. Okay. And now I'm only going to pick up the middle three beads. So I've got my five beads here, so I've got two yellows, a red, and two yellows. And to carry on with my zigzag, I will pick up a yellow, another yellow and a red. So pick up my three beads. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is bring my beads down again. Okay. And I'm going to position them only in the middle three gaps. All right. So like that. So I've got the, the side gap empty and I've got that side gap empty. And then I'm going to go back through them just like I've been doing before. Okay, and then pull it tight. And what that will do is it's going to start pulling in the leather cord a little bit on either side. Okay, I'm going to do another two or three rows just with the three beads in the middle. So you can see on this one, uh, where's the blue one? You can see it better on the blue one probably. So can you see how it starts to pull in your beads? Uh, your leather cord on either side. The only reason you need to do that is when you do your clasp, obviously your clasp is more secure if, you're, if your leather cord is pulled in a little bit. Mm. Um, so it, it's less likely to come undone when you're wearing it. Okay. And then uh, when that's done, all I did to finish off the warp threads um, is I cut it off the loom. So I, cut, I take it off or I cut it off this end and the other end. And then I just tied knots in pairs of my warp threads because, again, this is a very thin thread. It's not very visible. So I just tied a pair of those into, into double knots. I tied the working thread end also in a knot to one of those threads. Then the other pair of threads, I tied those to each other as well. So I just tied everything into knots. And then what I did was I put a tiny little dot of glue mm -hmm. uh, on the knots glue or you can use clear nail varnish and then cut off your threads. So you don't have to weave them all in and all of that because it's a really fine thread. So you, you barely see the knots that you've made in your threads um, on the ends there. Okay. So that's how you would finish it off. And then obviously on this end, you would have your two loose ends of your, of your leather and you just thread them through your, your button and either tie a knot on the end. Or if you want to put crimp beads, then just use your flat nose pliers. Um, I haven't got a loose piece here. Just use your flat nose pliers to flatten down your, your leather as much as you can uh, because that makes it easier to slip a crimp bead on there and then just cut off the length. Also, another quick tip is it's much easier to cut the leather with your pliers, with your cutting pliers, than it is with scissors. So don't try to use your scissors because it won't work. Ah, so they, they <laughs> use your flush cutters? Use your flush cutters, yeah. Amazing. I, mean, I, can, I can show you if I still have another 12 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got time, don't worry. Um, yeah, and we have actually got different leathers to bring you as well, which I'll show you in a few moments' yeah, time. So, I mean, you can cut it with your scissors, but it might damage your scissors, and it's, it's not easy to cut Yeah, with yeah, you, there was resistance there, There wasn't was, it? yeah, but with your flush cutters, I mean, it's really, it just... Oh. 
Oh, you know. <laughs> Look at that, like a hot knife through butter. Yeah. And that's, that's it, really. I mean, uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> love it, Monica. This is absolutely amazing. I love your bracelets. I love your new tool. Yes, so do I. <laughs> it's just, it's just it, it, yeah, it's just, just all wicked. And the fact that you, this is a project that you can have on the go. Yeah. Literally put it down, come back to it. Yeah. I like that a lot about looming. you can pack it away flat in quite a small box as well, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Amazing. So, and put it and together. And those bracelets are absolutely beautiful. They are, and they're very popular at the moment. Right? Yeah, really absolutely popular. beautiful. Well, make sure you check out your baskets, lovely jewellery makers, and any questions you have. We just still do have time uh, to message us here in the studio. Shall we bring you another bundle yes. for your kits? Because yes. hopefully if you've got your first kit, you're already well stocked. You've got 20 metres of leather and you've got all your lovely hex beads and you've got five of those class um, and you've got the tool itself. But maybe moving forward, I think you're going to get one and truly, you're going get, to get the bug for this, aren't you? Um, and then you're going to need more. Well, look, we've got a different variety of your leather. This is um, like the thicker. It's three millimetres in its thickness. Yes. So you probably wouldn't be able to get a crimp bead around that one, but then you just no. tie a knot. No, yeah. just tie a knot. Yeah. Um, and in terms of the length, let me just see. Uh, ten metres. Ten metres wow. on each of those spools. Gosh, they're beautiful, aren't they? And then in terms of your Mayuki Delicas, you've got uh, crystal dark hex topaz and silver. Some really pretty colours. Um, <clears throat> am I right in saying, are they all the same size? Yes. No? no? The, um, the top, is it the topaz one, is actually a size, I think it's an 8-0. It looks like an 8 -o. Yeah, it does look bigger. Yeah, because it's bigger. So for that one, if you, I don't know if we can show this one overhead. So the way that I use the 8 so you can see I've got five beads across again, two of the 11s and an 8-0 and two yeah. of the 11s. So when you add in, add in a row where you pick up your two 11s, your 8 and your two 11s again, and you go, come underneath, and then you go back through them just as I've, I did with the, with the size 11s. But on your second row, what you would do is you would add your two 11 O's, and instead of picking up another 8 O, you would go underneath, you would go through, and it's quite easy because um, the 8 O is quite big and it's got a large hole. So when you're passing from the left to right, you pass through the existing 8 O, mm -hmm. then you pick up your two 11 O's because the two 11 O's are the same size as one of your 8 O. So you kind of need to share the 8 o between two rows of your 11 o's. Okay. And then you go back through them again, and that's how you would use the 8 o's. But it really stands out in the middle lovely. of the Lovely. It's really so. lovely. Um, plus, then you're also getting your end, your, the, 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 oh, the end, the buttons. The ends, again. buttons. What do we describe them? The fastenings. Buttons. I think they're called buttons. Are they? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so you're getting uh, yeah, five of those. Called metal buttons, really. So 20 meters of your leather and your silver and gold, three tubes of your beautiful hex beads, and then five of your silver plated uh, buttons. There we go. How many do we have in this kit? 50. Wow. Oh gosh, it's a limited. It's a limited launch, then, isn't it? Really, and I think people again, are going to get both. Again, with those hex cut beads. I mean, I love that. I they love are pretty. They They're are. absolutely beautiful. And the buttons are a game changer, I think. Yeah, yeah. I definitely think we need to revisit those. Yes. <laughs> and bring them in the gold colour yes. and in the in, yes. in the rose gold colour, maybe your antique bronze and yes. your titanium. I think they'd all look absolutely amazing with your hex beads. Um, Monica, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Again, make sure you do check out your baskets. We had just 50 of this kit. Uh, 50 of this kit. The first kit is still available only just. I can see it's not quite sold out, but um, a lot of you still with it in your baskets. Um, this one again, make sure you check out those baskets uh, uh, because it, they're limited. 50 is never, never going to be a huge or big enough quantity for us here at Jewel Maker, especially when what is effectively a launch. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Brand it's new, it. brand new. Uh, um, brand new pro and, and to be honest, I mean, I'm not just saying this because I had a hand in designing this loom. I'm saying it because it's actually the loom that I'm going to be using the most often. <laughs> I get it. I totally get that. But the fact that this is, uh, the fact that it's not, it's not an intimidating tool. And exactly. that might sound really strange. Yeah. I get quite intimidated by certain jewelry making tools. Yeah. And also, I mean, even if you're making shorter bracelets, it's, it's quick and easy to take out. Uh, and you've got holes on it all over that you can use for attaching all sorts of cords and threads. So it's a really versatile loom and it's really sturdy being made of MDF as well. So yeah, it's a really, a really uh, handy piece of kit.
Love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. You're such a talent, Monica. You really, really are. Um, and if anybody has any questions, then they can give of you course. a message, can't they, course, on your yeah. Facebook page. Yeah. Um, amazing. Wow. What an incredible, incredible m Monday morning show it has been. It's been good fun. It has. <laughs> and we've learned so much, haven't we? Of course, it, Looming, your brand new tool, your amazing masterclass this morning as well with those beautiful kits. And also groundbreaking news in the world of jadeite that mine is now closed so well done to every single one of you that managed to get hold uh get hold of your jadeite carvings absolutely amazing do you know when you're back with us yes i do on the 16th of november 16th of november anything exciting up your sleeve well we've got a new gemstone <gasps> oh yes That'll be lovely. Yes, I'm not telling you what it is. No, I can't <laughs> wait to see it. Um, I'm back with you bright and early tomorrow morning as well, where I know we've got an absolutely jam-packed show. Um, yeah, an, an amazing day. Make sure you do check out your baskets, especially on your masterclass kits, because they are getting very, 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 very limited. Um, absolutely beautiful. And make sure you send those photos into the Wall of Fame. Have a good afternoon. We'll see you soon.